What's up, everybody? Mm. Getting a little snack. Time to start painting. I need to get this shit done. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Painting, painting, painting. I think I'm going to fix the eye a little bit. I don't really like it. Also, I realized I probably should have gone pee before starting the stream, but oh well. Okay, so yeah, I'm not too big a fan the way that the eyelashes look. I think they're a little too much. But, um... Yeah. It's a little too dry. I'm trying to pull up the reference photo. Let's see. So basically what I was doing is I was trying to build up all of this. But yeah, I don't really like the way I did the eye lashes. Let me see. Can I even blend it? No, it's completely dry. So I'm going to go over it and redo that section. Because I don't like it. And I'm picky. So... And plus, I think a lot of it has to be darker. So, even though I'm about to create more work for myself, I'm not going to be happy until it's fixed. Because that's just the way that I am. I like to give myself more work a lot, apparently. A lot of more work. But, yeah. Hope everyone had a good day. Uh, the last stream, because I was playing the audiobook, got uh, partially blocked. So I'm assuming all the part with the audiobook is. So basically, that was my test to see if I can even listen to audiobooks. Uh, verdict is no. No, you cannot listen to audiobooks. So we're just going to basically erase these eyelashes because I don't like them. I'm going to make this whole section darker. And yeah, you're going to get to see me redo something. Not redo of healer, but we're going to be redoing sections of this. So because I used a lot of gesso, that's why a lot of this is already uh, dry. Like the purple part isn't dry, but the rest of it is pretty dry. What's wrong with this paintbrush? So I can, this is uh, what you would call dry brushing. So this is why a lot of people like painting and oils is because you can really layer things up and then sections of it stay wet. Yeah, I just wasn't too uh, happy with the way that it was looking. It looks okay in person, but it will really will tell you if something's working is how it looks in photos. And I was just not feeling it in the photos. So we're going to fix up a few things. But to be fair, I really wasn't feeling it yesterday either. It was uh, like drying too fast and I wasn't liking the way things were looking. So I'm fine with uh, going and covering and like redoing sections. See, already I think it looks much better. I also probably should have given this eye like a little bit of makeup. And if anyone was wondering whose eye this is, this is roughly based on Brittany's eye. Uh, Brittany had this like, she sent me a couple photos of her eye for like the eye project. The one that I'm going to be using for the actual eye project is like there's a little bit more of dramatic lighting. This one, like you could really see the color. Now I have changed up the color just to make it match in my composition. But uh, yeah, this is Brittany Venti's eye. 
or roughly based on it because I didn't draw it exactly like hers. I made um, I made this part more wide on the bottom just because I wanted it to be a little bit more open, but I really like uh, the shape and the color of Brittany's eye. And she sent me a really good reference and I, I knew I wasn't going to use both of them. So I was like, let me use another one. Also, it'll just be like a fun little Easter egg. And before anyone yells at me, yes, guys, I already sent the guys the link. I doubt any of them are awake. But, uh... Just, I like this intensity already so much more. I think it makes the, the blue stand out. See, I already like that. You guys might not like it, but I like it better already. Oh shit, I'm not even recording this. <laughs> Fuck my life. I had it set up and everything.
Hey, Chris, thank you for the super chat. I'll stumble over there and read it in a moment. Hi, Anna. Can you please wish Vinatra a happy birthday? It's really his birthday. Thanks. Oh, happy birthday, Lord Vinatra. Happy, happy birthday. If Cecil was here, I'd get him to sing for you. Happy birthday. So it's your birth month. Happy happy birthday from all of us to you. We wish it was our birthday so we could party too. Shit. Try and add in more black. Yeah, already I think this looks significantly better. I'll wait to add uh, the details for that, though. This part is just annoying me, though.
Should I put on like a true crime documentary again? <laughs> just listen to that. So you guys aren't just sitting in silence. Uh, Drain's Lunatic, thanks for Yeah, Saturday was my birthday as well. Happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Oh, wow, 79 people are in here. Wow, hi. Uh, please smash that like button, guys. What did I just step on? Oh, shit. I forgot. My varnish fell. Mm. Happy birthday to everyone whose birthday it is. What's that? What zodiac sign is it this month? What are you guys' signs? Hopefully it's a good one. I'm really, it's really bothering me. What what month is it? Are you guys Virgos? Yeah. Lots of Virgos.
trying to think if there's anything I can talk about right now. Shield's gotten pretty bad, but I mean, it was very bad to begin with. <laughs> so it's not like it could have gotten any better. Now that uh, I know about the Martha's Vineyard thing, I cannot stop laughing about it. I think that's so funny that all the rich people got stuck with that kind of problem. Like, I just think it's so funny. They know what it's like to be a border city now. It's funny, though, because when I went to, um, well, I didn't go in, but, like, Peaches went to Tijuana a couple times recently because he got his car painted there. And, like, just, like, right there, like, next to the border because I had to hang out like there on the other side and like wait for him. It's a, uh, I mean, a lot of people are just going back and forth and like shopping, which I thought was funny. you guys to be able to see it better. Let's see. 87 people here. Please smash that like button. Please and thank you. Uh, this is like the part that I always hate because it's like you get like about 80% done and you're just like, fuck this. What did I knock over? I knocked over something. You get like 80% done and it's like, ugh. And the last 20% is just like hell. That's where I'm at right now. So the next couple that I can paint is like a potion bottle. And I, my concept for that was just like kind of like a lab specimen and like have like a dead fairy in it and paint it kind of like Salvador Dali-esque and like make it all weird and whatnot. But I honestly don't think I'll have time. So I have like a... It's like a crescent moon. And so I was like, maybe I'll just do like a portrait of like a woman and give her like glowing eyes and make her kind of like a werewolf. Because I feel like everyone always does vampires. And I'm like, well, if it's a moon, that that should be a werewolf, right? So I think I might do that. I just, both of them are going to take me forever. So I kind of have to finish this one tonight. And possibly even start on the next one tonight as well. Because this 
this thing is due. Like I have to drop it off at the, the art place on Tuesday. So yeah, but those are kind of my concepts. I'm kind of mad that I didn't get to the, uh, the coffins because those ones I was looking forward to do, but they're so big that it, it would take me a week. Like if I worked on it every single day, just a minimum a week to get something like that done, especially with the way that like how, how fast the gesso dries out the paint on this. It really frustrates me because I'm so used to just painting wet on wet. It's like one of the reasons why I don't like doing it. acrylic paintings. It's because it just dries so fast in the way that I do. This is like, I like to blend it. Maybe it's just me. I just like that smooth, seamless kind of look like I have right here. I like that. Not everyone does, but I do. Just a matter of personal taste, I guess. But I don't know. I feel like I get the results that I want. But I guess like this is one of those getting out of my comfort zone things. Still already like the way that this is like this whole like misty glowiness of the the crystal ball. That's already way out of my comfort zone. I like structure. I like organic structure. Which this has none of. It's funny because I like painting clouds, but I hate painting smoke. But when, if I were to do this like with watercolor, this would have been done like in an hour. That's one thing. Watercolor, it's so freaking easy to do like fog and mist and clouds. I really enjoy working in watercolors in that sense, but it's been so long. And this is definitely calls for oil painting. I need to mute myself real fast. I have a, something just popped up. One second, guys.
Okay. That was not worth it. One of my friends sent me a video and they're like, you need to watch this right now. It's like, that was very anticlimactic. Um, <laughs> it just had copyright music and I don't want my channel getting a strike. Okay. Very, very anticlimactic. Did Ethan just go live? All right. I'm probably doing a drawing stream. I mean, you guys are obviously here, so you guys do like art streams. I feel like there's a better way to do them than the way I've been doing them. I just don't know how. It's definitely better when I have uh, someone to talk to on stream with me because then it's like I don't really have to think about what to talk to. What to talk about. I'm just glad I got so much of this done the other night. Makes my life right now so much easier.
All right, so now one of the things I need to do is I need to paint this base. I just have to mix paint for that. So let's look at the base of a crystal ball. I haven't done that yet. Oh, that nice. Crystal ball base. So a lot of it is metal. Some of them are wood. I feel like I have something similar in my house. Okay, here we go. So let's look at this real fast. So this is a reference I just found. Mm, are there any better ones? I kind of want to make it simple. I'm not finding too many. Thank you for the uh, super chat, Steve. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, let's see. So I'll just share my screen. So this is the reference that I just found. I don't know if I like it too much, but you see how it's like, it's like a metal, metal base. I kind of want a wooden base for it, but that's that's okay for right now. Let me see. Let's see, crystal ball wood base. Let's see. Mm. Oh, this is. This is kind of a good one. The lighting is really weird on it, though. Like, see, here's like another one. Not sure how I feel about it, though. Oh, here we go. I found one. Kind of doesn't have the little legs. I guess I can kind of make it up. Okay. John is actually Peaches trolling. What's going on? Is there fighting in the chat? Ah. Uh. Let's see. I think I might just do something like that. Like make it kind of like mahogany-esque. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I make it like have a wood base or a metal base? What do you guys think? Wood base or metal base? Is there a pick of a wooden base? This would kind of be the idea. Something like that. Or metal, I don't know. Heavy metal. Cherry wood for the win. Is there a pick? Metal looks better. Metal is just going to be a pain in the ass to paint. Let me show you guys the base so you guys can kind of see what I'm working with. So it's literally just, I'm going to turn it upside down. It's literally just like legs. So it would be super easy just to do wood. And I need to kind of finish this quickly. 
so I might just do that just so I can finish it quicker. I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to put this off to the side because I have to mix the paint. I think after I'm done mixing the paint, I'm going to have to go inside and pee and get something to eat because I didn't on Simpcast. So look at this is everything that I had. Um, Let me get my screen back to full screen. No, on my... There we go. To clean this up. Anna's annoyingly talented. What kind of insult is that? Here's the thing, guys. It's not talent. It's called skill. So I spent a lot of time and a lot of money perfecting a skill. If I didn't go to art school and learn how to paint, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now. So that's why, like, when everyone's or if people say talented, it really annoys me because I'm like, I'm not talented at all. I just spent a lot of time perfecting this skill. So Ethan's on. What is Ethan talking about? Should I have Ethan stream up in the background? What is he? He's talking about a hat. At least now I have the chat up. Yeah, I don't know what Ethan's talking about, but I can't hear his stream too well. Well, I had it playing on my phone. I'm not going to watch it. I just pulled up uh, your guys' chat here. I have the chat up so I can see what you guys are saying now. Matt G, thank you for that. Uh, Barge and Devious's stream, LL, and Duel's stream on here. You're invoking Queen of Fandom Menace and overriding him. Um, Queen of the Fandom Menace, give me a break. Those. I feel like the Fandom Menace fell apart a long time ago. I don't want to be a queen of something that fell apart. <laughs> But, um, what was I going to say? I was streaming first. I was streaming first. Hit the like. Yes, hit the like. What do you guys like better so far? Do you guys like the skull better or do you guys like the crystal ball better? Let me know. You know what else I need to grab when I'm inside? I need to grab paper towels. So I have to pee to grab some food. And what else do I have to do? I think I had paintbrushes on the table. Wasn't Anna before all of them? Uh, no. I, well, I mean, I was around before the Fandom Menace was formed. Actually, I was watching that stream when they named it. But, uh, you know, there was people that were on YouTube a lot longer than me. I only made it like a Last Jedi video, then I accidentally got into this whole YouTube thing because people liked it and it blew up. But, uh, it was just, I guess, fate. That is what we call fate, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't see the skull, but that crystal was dope. Oh, okay. I'll, once I'm done mixing this paint, I'll show you guys the skull, and you guys can let me know which one you guys think is better, or which one you guys like better.
Okay. Which oils do I use? I use Gamblin. I'm using Gamblin. So much paint. Anna needs to make a film. 
about what? <laughs> What do I need to make a film about? Okay, I don't need very many colors for this one. I might do one, it's like slightly lighter. I'm trying to go for like a, a reddish wood kind of thing. Hmm. Oh, like a Bob Ross type of show. And I'm not as chill as that man. That man was a... Oh yeah, you guys wanted to see the skeleton? Okay. Here's the the skeleton. Which one do you guys like better so far? The skeleton or the crystal? Skeleton or crystal? They're not comparable. I'm just asking which one you guys like better. I don't think I'm really like, not comparison, like just preference. You know, like which one are you more inclined to, I guess I should say. I'm just going to go in and like put a base color down. I can touch it up just by the time I get to it, it'll have been dried. So let's even see if I like this.
<laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking of that episode of Friends where Phoebe's having the babies and like the doctor's obsessed with Fonzie. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I went with the wood. Because you know what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to... Is I'm going to add... Uh, like, I have leafing, like metal, metallic paint that I'll paint, like, the details on. So I can paint a little on. Much more clear. Right, let's just get down the base color. Ugh, super thirsty. <laughs> okay. Have my reference. You guys fighting something about me not having thoughts and my dog? Well, I don't know what was said, but I do have a dog that is alive. Her name is Tulip. The dog that they were making fun of was my family pug. Her name was Rosie, but her nickname was Stinky because she farted a lot. Uh, I do have plenty of thoughts, but when I'm painting, I kind of go into autopilot. Thoughts or thoughts? The first one. I don't know. Give me a topic to talk about. <laughs> Oh, 
She-Hulk. Fuck that. I'm going to talk about She-Hulk. Let's talk about something fun. Chainsaw Man, talk about soda. <laughs> Let me talk about soda, really. Um, I haven't gone to the store recently, so I am running out of my Code Red Mountain Dew because I've been rationing it as much as I can. I don't want to run out of the precious. Damn it, Ella. What, did you not expect me to read that? Talk about the wall you're about to hit in here. Oh, dude. So I was thinking about you guys the other night because I was watching this one show that my friend was on and there's a girl on the show and oh my God, she is currently in the process of hitting the wall. I'm like, she must have gained. Oh my God, she's getting big. And like last time I saw her, she wasn't that big. Like I know she's like a taller woman. But, oof, she's, she's gaining some weight, guys. And I was like, oh, no. She's on, like, oh, I don't want to say who it is because reasons. But, uh, yeah, she's getting big. How do you see things in the chat? What is an appropriate Star Wars landscape? What do you mean by, like, appropriate, like, to paint? I mean, they're all appropriate. There's nothing in Star Wars that's, like, rated R. Not even, like, the killing of the children was rated R. Because it doesn't show it. But, yeah, there's no... I wouldn't say there's any that are inappropriate. Or... Uh, just say she looks different. No, she's gained a lot of fucking weight. Uh... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I do not want that to happen to me. I will fight that. She means Lizzo, no. Lizzo already is, you know, bigger. I don't think she can blow up too much more. <laughs> no, this girl was small. I mean, she's tall, but I mean, she was smaller. And now she's not.
so this one I can't really do much more. Oh, you know what I can do? I can paint the eyelashes. There's nothing much more I can do until the section dries because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to, let me show you guys. So when you need to make like perfect lines like this, so this is an, you know, obviously for, um, for cooking, it's pot top. So this actually makes like the perfect circle on here. This is like the perfect size. And so I'm going to have to use it to make the, the circles for that. Well, I mean, not here. I'm not going to be able to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with, uh, this is like metallic paint. And this is what I use to uh, paint the, let me show you guys, is to paint the eyes, like the, the base for the eyes. Let me shake it a bit. Uh, what makes an earthen landscape look out? Um, little things here and there, like you can change the, you just put two suns in the sky. That changes it dramatically. Okay, let me show you guys. So this is, I'll paint it on uh, right here so you guys can see. So it's metallic paint. See that? So that's going to go can try to show you guys. I'll put it on the, the side. So see, metallic paint gives it a nice shine. So I think I'm going to go with silver on this one. It's stinky. But uh, just so that way, like, there's a defined rim around it, I'm going to put it on the bottom of the crystal. And then I'll have to do, like, the details with it. Let me paint these eyelashes. She means Ashton. Who's talking about Ashton? You guys be nice. So I uploaded a video and it sucks. I uploaded it a few times. One of them got age restricted. The other one got like limited. But I just think it's funny how one gets age restricted, the other one only gets limited ads. It's the same exact video. Oh, shit.
There we go. Okay, I think that that looks so much better than before. All right, I have the chat back up. What are you guys talking about?
Why are you guys talking about Ashton? What happened with Ashton? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's just fun. Ashton needs to cover culture wars. Again, why are you guys talking about Ashton? <laughs> if you guys are bothering Ashton, I'll be mad. You guys be nice to her.
Look at how much better it is now that I fix these eyelashes. Okay. I feel bad I keep taking the chat down so I can't see it. Patrick, I don't refuse to watch Time Bandits. I just keep forgetting. You even sent it to me. <laughs> oh, I'll watch it on my PC when I get a chance to. Mm, okay. I think that's about as good as it's going to get for right now. Take a photo. Oh my gosh, I actually am starting to like it. Okay, we're going to have to do something right now. Let's move this. Put this down. Okay, it's about as dry. What's gonna get? super gritty because it's on a it's on wood
I'll do this so you guys can see it better. Look at all the varnish. Look at that. I think it looks good if I do say so myself. I think I did a pretty good job. As much as I don't like it. my little thing drying. Now, what I'm going to do. So, the next two that I have, let me show you guys, I sand it. I don't think I sanded it down. So I have these two. I have a moon and I have a potion. So the moon I might paint next just because it's smaller. I just have to sand it down a little bit. And then these are work. Your opinions on art and movies are as bad as Lofty and Zach's. What? Why would you say that? What did I do? What's wrong with my opinions on art? No pumpkins. They had a jack lantern, but I didn't buy it. I wasn't feeling it. Where are my sanders? Oh, there they are. Okay. I thought I sanded this, but I don't think I did. Sorry, this is going to get very annoying. I probably shouldn't sand it in here, but don't worry. This one I was planning on painting like a werewolf or like a, a woman's face in the moon, but she's like a werewolf. I'm giving her like the eyes of like a werewolf. big brush I was using to wipe off all the dust. Ah! Okay. So that's when I sanded it with 80 grit. Now I go in with a smoother grit. So this is what you have to do whenever you gesso something. You have to sand it. that I was using. It's like my big gigantic brush. I just get everything off of it. What happens if you don't sand it? It's just not a good idea. Then your paint's going to dry like immediately. 
and you just want to sand it down, especially when you're painting on wood. You always want to have it sanded down. That's what she said. Excuse me, that's what I said. Let me get my concept art up here. I'll send it to myself. This is going to be kind of a smaller painting. All I want to do is listen to Halo. Yeah, so I'm going with Werewolf because I feel like everyone always does vampires. And so I want to do a Werewolf. Werewolf for the win. So let me grab the concept art right here. So this is kind of what I was thinking. Let me pull it up so I can show you guys on. We're also going to be a girl, by the way. Okay, so this is kind of what I was thinking. Like, I'm going to make her eyes, like, wolf-like, and then I'm going to make them glow. But I was kind of thinking something like that. Okay, so let me mix the colors for this one. The photo. Actually, you know what? I'm going to sketch it out first. Let's... to sketch it kind of thin.
Here's my very, very rough sketch. It does not look very good. <laughs> Anna literally drew that in minutes. Oh, thank you. Uh, you could have drawn Sailor Moon. I don't want to draw anything that's like copyright infringement. Uh, I just want to do like my own kind of thing. Is Ethan still streaming? I might put that in the world. I thought it was going to be a world. It is. She's going to have like wolf-like eyes. Okay.
guess I should talk, huh? Let's see.
هست I need to look up glowing eyes because I don't think I've ever painted glowing eyes before. Is Ethan still alive? I might put his stream up on the background. Mm. All these references kind of suck. It just makes everything dark, but I don't want it to be dark. Let's see. I'll see if Ethan's still alive, and I'll put that live stream up in the background. Because I need something to listen to. It's like... Let me see. Uh, was he up in the club? He, all he's doing is going. <laughs> he's like Hunter took the Jersey lifestyle. Like he, like he adopted it. He took it on like you wouldn't believe. Like he's like, Dad, check out my new tracksuit. He's like, I went to Gas. I got this new tracksuit. I'm just looking at it like he's like me and my friends. We're going, we're going clubbing this weekend. We got my new tracksuit on. Are you kidding me? An apple girl is nothing but trouble for the PC. You think so? Well, I mean, if this one isn't it, then... But I'm just saying, like, it, it made me believe again. Because I was just like, I don't know what kind of, like... Oh, just the, the idea of dating is so depressing. And, like, going to nightclubs to try to meet the right girl. Oh, my God, dude. Just to meet the right girl at church or something like that. Stop rushing things. Let, let them fall in love and don't employ her if you had to. Look. Uh, no, I'm going to employ her immediately. I'm not rushing anything. Come over here and help out. Uh, Ethan, can we get a desk in black light? Guys, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go grab something to drink. And I think my paint brushes are inside. My small ones. So I'm going to get something to drink, pee, and I'll be right back. Uh, no corn bars. And no help for this young man to size the fuck. Evil one. Uh, you give that poor girl some cement boots? No, no, no. I saw awful for it. Well, terrible for it. It's horrible. Uh, Ethan will employ uh, anyone to PC. It's not true. I won't. That's the problem. You know, if you're already here and you want to make some money, we'll put you to work. But yeah, we won't employ anyone. That's the uh, that's the main problem because everybody wants to work here, but we're like we can't let people or you know it's like anybody who wants to work for us that's a problem. Why do you want to work for us? Can't 
can't trust you. I want to work here. Uh, Jeremy Stoltz is here with that black flag logo. Hail CG. Hello, Jeremy. How are you? Uh, EVS Church of Chicken, says the sniper. Oh, uh, I wanted to. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, Jetto Jag, Jag Eye says, uh, EVS, go buy some Smiller original art on the Shadowversity campaign. Help a brother out. <laughs> Is he selling his original art there? That's great. Yeah, Smiller's got a new campaign out. Good for him. Back to work. All right, hold on a second here. Speaking of back to work, Kyle Ritter, back to work. I sent my message last night. I said, what are you doing exactly? I have not seen a page from you in like three, four weeks. What are you doing? I'm sick. When are you going to feel better? And uh, this morning, well, I just woke up this afternoon, actually. He said, I- I'm feeling better now. He sent over a bait. Yes, Kyle, get back to work. Uh, this is a deleted scene from Cyberpunk Rec Planet. There are four pages of deleted scenes, and I need them colored because they're like bonus material for uh, Second Chance Rec Planet backers. So I was happy to see... Uh, Happy to see him back. Now, Kyle beat COVID. Kyle had COVID. Kyle Ritter had COVID like before anybody else even knew what it was. Kyle has been sick about 80% of the time that I've known him. I was really getting worried. I got to be honest with you. I was like sitting there, like I was like, Kyle has not turned in pages in like, Kyle has not turned in pages in like three weeks, at least three weeks. And I'm just like, uh, I'm gonna have to replace Kyle. I don't like how do I replace Kyle? I don't I don't like the only person I can really think of offhand that could replace Kyle maybe is Kelsey Shannon. And Kelsey Shannon, you know, he like he doesn't want to be a colorist, he wants to be an artist, so I get him to color a few things, but I can't get him to color everything. So I was actually like panicking and then boom, I wake up and Kyle is sent on the page. Uh, 201 City says tracksuits are fine. Tracksuit and lawn chair, no. Yeah. Trevor White says, where do you find another deaf colors? I'm worried about him. I'm worried about his health. Well, you know, I'm, I'm really worried about the guy, but most of all, I'm worried about Cyber Frog. And, uh, he needs to color Cyberfrog and Rainbow the Brute. He's got to color Rainbow the Brute. He's got to he's got to do these things. He can't just not do it. A cool Rumblebee is. Adrian get well soon and finish my book. Seriously, I look, I send them messages like I'm worried about your health, but like get back to work, dude. Because it's like here's the thing. Hey, I'm know, back. Um, I need to pay you. I'm gonna pay you, dude. What are you gonna do? If you sit there and you're back. sick all the time. Uh, and you uh you know, you're not making any money. Hold on, Bob's willing to help you. He says, I have some crayon. Thank you, Bob. Bob. I had bought a bunch of paintbrushes the other day. I knew I, knew, I, knew I could count on you. Second chance for Cyberfrog Rex Planet. Uh, doing very well. We're one backer away from, uh, I think, 2,300 backers. Uh, so that's great. 2,100, $221,503. For the second chance uh, opportunity, and also, of course, Hearts of Car is now available to back individually on this campaign for ten dollars. And this was the whole thing. Like this was my whole struggle. This was my income, my struggle uh, today, trying to finish Hearts of Car, trying to wrap it all up. That last page. I will tell you this: Eric Weathers gets stuff done immediately. Weathers well, is phenomenal. I send him stuff to do, and he does it. He does just kind of turn away, and when I look again, it's finished. 
This is fun. This is fun. Uh, entire book, Hearts of Car, took one month to script. That's shocking to me. It took an entire month of like me just walking away and coming back. So it's like, uh, here's where it started, August 15th, and it ended okay. September 17th. I'm going to put down like a wash. Like, this is how I wrote it. And I would just sit down and I would write it like two or three pages and I would turn them over to uh, to Eric and he would, you know. But I, this was like, look at this. This is eight days, eight days of me figuring out between the second to last page and the last page how I wanted it to end. Struggling with it, just being like, writing is hard. Canaan White, the great Canaan White, his contribution to the book. Not, never to be forgotten. You know, like did a great, a great job. And the incredible E.J. Morgis. Now, Traumadeus is back in this book. Uh, E.J. Morgis, utterly kicking ass. Look at E.J. Morgis' version of Traumadeus. Look at his fingers all bent. It's Cyberpro jumping with glee on his face. This face here, this, uh, this expression right here, this looks like the Matt Barr drawing. Matt Barr drew Cyberfrog with a similarly gleeful expression. Patrick T says, uh, your title says you're right about something. Again, is this possible? It's possible. I'm about to get to it. He hasn't gotten to it yet. He's been streaming for like an hour. Uh, Mark Walters is here. He says, I just got here. What was Ethan supposedly right about? Hold on a second, Mark. Mark, you have to wait just like everyone else. Uh, Porkon says, time for a second, my struggle sketchbook, EBS. Trauma day is. I, here's uh, Heather. I loved my adventures with you back in the 90s. And so I wake up in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I skip the top of my lungs. Of what's going on? Can you imagine Trauma day is singing that? That song sucks. That song might be the worst song of the 1990s. I don't know, like, why was that song popular? That was fucking horrible. And it was on all the time. It was discordant. Uh, she played it live all the time and she, like, she sang off key. Horrible, dude. Trauma day is. I was like, I didn't think this song could possibly sound worse. I was like, stop tickling your purple organ for a minute and talk to me. What's going on? EJ does a great trauma day, is man. I like him getting his head bombed, too. Oh, Trevor writes says that's on the Proclaimers 500 miles. And all I would walk 500. Oh. Like that whole period of time, like after grunge, like, like 1995 to 1998 the music was absolutely terrible because it was trying to figure out what it was trying to be like regular pop rock bands were trying to be pearl jam uh, they were trying to be like the, the breeders you know they were trying to sound like they're trying to be the pixies and it, it just shit the worst shit imaginable uh, no 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 says love you ethan trump at rainbow the brute at 24. trump in 24. And rainbow the brute too Spoke to George Takei in Japanese at a film screening years ago. Wow, he is not a deep thinker, says Boomer Watt Studios. Most gay men are not. Eight percent. This is true. Dead air. You stop the music. The music must continue. No, it shouldn't. You're hurting everyone. I like Cyberfrog's new heroic simplicity. Like, I started making Cyberfrog talk a little bit more. Like the things that he says to supervillains, he talks like Superman. He just expresses, like, you're a villain. You're doing something wrong. I'm here to stop you from doing something wrong. No, it shouldn't. You're hurting everyone. But you know that. You're creating more noise pollution on purpose. This is great. This is great artwork. EJ Moore just, I, I'm going to do something else with him, but, like, i got to get him revved up, like, have to give him something real good to do and he's got to be like uh 
he's got to believe in himself. Like, I got to go, dude. Well, you know what's going to happen is when this comes out, everybody is going to praise him. And the, the fact that he's going to be getting all kinds of positive feedback for this is really going to help him. Uh, it's going to make him believe in himself. Get naked Heather Swain. <laughs> is this too much? Is naked Heather Swain too much? The Rashford says, I'm going to be 500 miles over until it came out in 88. Did it? Hey, Comics is here for $10. Hey, I hey, hope you're doing well. Uh, sorry, I haven't been on stream lately. I've been working hard getting CJ CG vacation to the printer. And we did it. Also, this week, uh, all of the CG Beach towels are shipping out. CG vacation, everyone. Make sure that you back CG vacation. Not enough nudity. Hold on a second. Let me just. Yeah, when I saw this at first, I was like, I don't know. Like, this is like, is this too sexy for like Heather Swain for like Cyberfrog? But then I just went, nah. It's like for honeymoon. You know, beautiful. It's like a renewal, it's a baptism. And I didn't tell EJ to do this. This was EJ's idea. Look at the fact that it's a honeymoon and look at the moon shaped beehive spin honey. I didn't tell EJ to do that. When this comes out, like I want everyone to kiss EJ's ass and just tell him how great he is. When people receive this from you, and I'd be like, you know, I'd be like, yes, you are the man. Here's another script. Get to work. Stop downing yourself. Veronica Foot says, what's Heather's ab routine? You know, for real. Look at this. It's so good. It's so good. And so we'll wake up in the morning and us the bounce side. All right, so what was I right about? I was right about wait, where is it? Oh, here it is. David Zaslav, the great David Zaslav, his strategy shift, licensing out Warner's IP treasure. Oh, no. Hey, how about if, how about if we, uh, how about if we stop incurring costs by producing this shit ourselves and let other people pay us and they can incur the cost of producing it themselves. I said this from the very start. I said this is exactly what's going to happen. And my prediction is, my thought is, my suspicion is that Todd McFarland is going to be publishing DC Comics. Seems weird. But it also makes sense. If you look at the timeline, you look at what's going on. You got Todd McFarland in bed with DC Comics in a very special way right now. He's doing the toys, right? He's, they licensed the DC Direct used to be something. I mean, you know, the toy line used to be something that they did in-house. They did that in-house, but it became too expensive. And they decided to allow somebody else to do it. Somebody who had proven themselves to be capable of making toys. They let Todd McFarlane become DC Direct. Eric Winberg for $2, license IP and make money scandalous. Now, I say, I say things like this, and everybody reacts, and they go, Ethan's crazy. Ethan, I'm, I have to be the only adult in the room. Even though I look like this, and I act like this, uh, I, I, you can't, why am I the only one? Like, I, I really feel sometimes like everyone in mainstream comics is like a goofball clown, though, desperately, childishly hanging onto the past and not thinking into the future. I mean, you know, the, to the degree that most mainstream people think into the future. It's like, wow, we got to get more women to read comics. Uh, we got to make more of these characters women and lesbians and black people. And we just have to open up. Listen, 
none of that's relevant. You know, it's like it's like comics are going in one direction. The whole future of sales is going in one direction. It's clear. It's obvious. So you see this stuff happen, and you kind of go, okay, like you can pretty much predict what's going on, and then you can read between the lines. Uh, you've got Todd McFarlane already working with them on the toys. Then you've got Todd McFarlane taking extensive two years ago, Todd McFarlane deciding that he needed to prove somewhere out of the blue. Back when AT&T had first acquired DC Comics, back when I was telling you that DC Comics, according to lawyers at uh, AT&T and Warner Brothers, that DC Comics was already being looked at to be optioned off. Two years ago, when I was telling you, I got I heard from a lawyer within Warner Brothers that they are thinking about divesting themselves of the publishing of DC Comics, AT&T is. And at that same moment, Todd McFarlane is putting out the Spawn universe and ruling the charts. I mean, he got his Spawn, he got into the top five with his Spawn books. Why? How do you do that? Like, there's no money in comics. There's no reason for Todd McFarlane to do that. Todd McFarlane was proving that he can make comics sell. Why was he doing that? Who was he proving that to? Pretty clear he was trying to prove that to Warner Brothers and whoever the new corporate overlords, the parent company of Warner Brothers, uh, was going to be. I can do comics just the same way as I can do your toys. And then they, well, okay, that's great. Why don't we, uh, why don't we, uh, we don't need to jump into bed together. Let's just do a little foreplay. How about a uh, Spawn Batman? Okay, let's do that. Let's do Spawn Batman. So we've got Todd McFarlane being seen with DC Comics, Spawn Batman, Greg will pull up. It's already tied together. All this stuff is already tied together. And then suddenly you've got Todd McFarlane doing these things called uh, page punchers, uh, which are comic books packaged with miniature action figures. And they start to become original comics. It's no longer like, hey, we're reprinting, you know, Flashpoint number one. They're original comics that Todd is making. I, you know, I mean, I is this any more clear? You, you see where this is going? It doesn't make sense. It, there, it doesn't make sense for... DC Comics to still be published. DC Comics, not DC, EU, not any of that. Just the comic books. It doesn't make sense for them to be published in-house anymore. There's just no reason for it. There was no reason for them to continue to incur the cost of being their own toy company. There's no reason for Discovery Warner to be a publisher, a published comic magazine. We still want to make them, okay? but we don't want to make them. Let's make somebody else who has proven that they can do it. Let's let them do it. This is this is coming right around the corner. I'm pretty sure now. Right now I'm about, I'd say I'm about 80% sure that I'm right. You're gonna to see Todd McFarlane as the publisher of DC Comics. And you know what's gonna happen when this happens? Let me, let me look at you right in the eye for a minute. When this happens, and I of course gloat and talk about how I've been right all along, and I have been right. All along, people who say I'm wrong are wrong. I'm right always. They're gonna say, "You said DC Comics was gonna disappear, and it's still here." Uh, okay. Ryan Blue Thunder. I'm not, by the way, it might still disappear. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, it's like it could last for one year with Todd McFarlane and then completely go under. Comic strips are not selling. Uh, Mark Walter says, "But still speculation." Yes, yes, still speculation, but with great evidence mark you got to see that how everything is kind of coming together and pointing towards one single direction uh it hasn't been confirmed nobody said it but it's becoming more and more clear and more of these articles are coming out which indicate that a direction is being chosen and it's being signaled rambling thunder 25 plus years of ebs's life is still trying to get up that great big hill great big frog of hope for destination he realized quickly when he knew he should that this world was made of this brotherhood of man. Or whatever that means. It's the worst fucking every single lyric is horrible. Everything was horrible. 
you listen to that song and you go, what is it about? Angry women bleeding through their tampons and wanting, being dissatisfied and wanting something, but being too stupid to elucidate what exactly it is they want. I want a revolution towards what? What do you want? And don't borrow some man's revolution. I want Castro's revolution. Why don't you come up with something? Lilith Fair. All right, let me see here. Let me get back to this article. Let's just see what this article is saying. So I'm I'm trying to say this is what I am saying. I am trying to say, I'm trying to make it clear what I am saying over and over again. I don't want to be misunderstood. The comic book and let me let me just elucidate. Let me let me let me actually spell it out in a way that four non blondes never put. Comic book industries in severe decline. Say it is. It's heading downwards, downwards trajectory. There's still some businesses that could be profitable if they publish comics, but these big businesses, these big parent parent companies, they have no use for Marvel or DC. Disney has no use for Marvel comics. Warner Discovery has no use for DC comics, but uh, we could license them out the same way we license out the toys, t-shirts, socks, bat towels, whatever it is that we do. Somebody else can do it, not us. Comic book industry is not going to do better because of this. It's going to continue to decline. It just is. It's going to get smaller and smaller. And, you know, uh, Mark Miller and I talked, and his whole thing is, he's watching this. He's, you know, he's following what we're saying here. Uh, his whole thing is that he thinks it's going to shrink <laughs> to like a subatomic level, and then it's going to stabilize. And that's the way it should be. Comics will continue. Maybe DC's putting out 12 books a month. And that's fine. That's all the industry can sustain. And we'll see. Let's see if he's wrong. Uh, is McFarlane's first page puncher Flashpoint? So it's like the good. I, that I don't know. But no, he didn't. Flashpoint existed. I'm talk, I think it's the first one that he put out that is original. From what I hear is Black Adam. The Black Adam page puncher is an original comic. And then He's got a flash book that's flash number one. And it's like Scott Collins and uh, Tim Seeley, I think, wrote it. And that's just original. You know, he did that himself. But he's not like, of course, everybody's uh, showing me pictures of uh, the Green Lantern page puncher because why does he cry whenever I need I don't care. Like, I don't care about this. I think, like, SJWs get very upset about this because they think, like, uh, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do celebratory laughs. But uh, I am uh, I don't care if they do this or not. I mean, in a way, it's kind of nice. Uh, Todd McFarlane is doing the Green Lantern figure. And it's being packaged with uh, Green Lantern Rebirth number one, uh, which you know, to me, I honestly, there are better, it'd be better to do Green Lantern number one, which I'm also in. My name is also on that. But uh, here it is. Really wish they would have picked any other Green Lantern comic. The Hal figure looks great, but I will not buy any comic with that ass clown's name on it. Ass clown. Jeff Johns, Heath the Van Skyver. Which one, which ass clown do you think he's referring to? Probably me. And by the way, the Green Lantern figure doesn't look that great. His face is weird. Why is this eyeball way down here? It doesn't look that great. It's okay. I can't catch a break from these figures, no matter what greatness I achieve. And <laughs> they're so bad. Like anything, anything that's like current DC that has, like they want me obliterated from DC. They want me completely wiped out. Any memory or mention of me anything that I created or did. And if I did create something that they want to keep, they want to take my credit off of it. Like they're, they've got this whole thing about how I didn't really create Jessica Cruz. And I had to go into my emails and actually show them concrete proof that I did. And like I literally did. 
Uh, but they like they want to take my name off of things that they want to keep. They want to keep Jessica Cruz. They just don't want my name on it. I don't care. Like I, I, I don't care. Uh, you know, we don't want to. Like, what, what would I get paid for this? Ten bucks? Like, I'm not. I'm not going to get paid anything for this. Regular publishing royalties? It's just not going to be that much. They get so angry about it. And then something else happened that I heard them muttering about, too. Uh, just this morning. Uh, Flash number 790. Uh, the artist, Ibrahim Mustafa, which I believe, what does that mean? Uh, does that mean glory? God is king, I think that name means or something. What does Ibrahim Mustafa mean? Uh, but anyway, he's doing a tribute. I mean, he's doing a tribute to my cover from 2009. This is one of my Flash Rebirth covers. I drew it in two different ways. Like I drew it from the side, this image. I drew it from the side. That ended up being the real cover. And then I drew it from the front, just in case we wanted to go this way. This ended up being a variant cover. Everybody liked both images. Um. And they're tributing it, like, uh, I guess, for Flash number 790, which I believe is the return of Wally West and as the Flash. Like, Barry Allen is no longer going to be in the book, I guess. And, like, now it's Wally West as the Flash. But even as they do this, like, they're using my Wally West costume design. Like, they haven't updated it. Like, this is my Wally West costume design. And they're all like coping with this. First of all, they're like angry that a bigot is being tributed. You know, maybe he's doing it out of irony, like I did with uh, my sketchbook, uh, my struggle. Who knows? They're tributing each advanced dive run. Where's my, by the way, how come it doesn't say after EBS here? Shouldn't it? Like, you want to do that? Do you feel good about that? You don't want to, you don't want to put the. Let uh, me zoom in for you guys so you guys can see this better. That is a big argument about which one's better. Mm -hmm. This one looks like it was uh, like some sort of picture it's floating around. But, you know, it's so funny. I would like to see the, uh, the tip of the boot here. People are saying, uh, yeah, his head's too big. Well, that's because this is like a normal person. It's not a, like these are not super heroic proportions. This looks like it was a, somebody took a picture and then put it to, put it this way. Yeah. Uh, I have a controversial opinion. Neither of them is good. But I mean, yeah, it's like going back and tributing, tributing uh, my work for these sake. Horrendous. It, no, I mean, it really is. Imagine being someone who gets angry about this, gets angry about what I do. <laughs> P counts is not your best work, just saying. No, I don't think any of the stuff I did in DC is good. I just look back at it and I don't like it that much. This is the elitism that is at the core of my criticism of you. It denigrates and dismisses those of us who spent decades smashing our heads against it. You know what? If you spent decades smashing your heads against the ceiling, I want to denigrate and dismiss you. That said, you are not invited, no matter our skill level. Why do I have to invite you? Why Why do I have to invite you? I don't want to invite you. Go do something else. Go throw your own party and then fail to invite me. We supported you. You could return. Why? Why do I have to, why do I have to support you in this way? I don't want to. I know who you are. Uh, here's Gabe. It's not elitism, it's the adult world. No one owes you anything ever. You live in the West, you could make it if you work hard enough. God damn, Gabe. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god. Gabe, it's so insulting though. Here's my response. I broke that ceiling a dozen times on my own. If you belong next to us, do it even once. Stop complaining about the ceiling. Break the ceiling. How many times have I been told I couldn't do something and I did it anyway? You know. How many times? Dozens. You can do it once. I literally am elite. Ooh, they're not gonna like that. Ooh, they're not gonna like that. Ethan thinks he's better than us. Yes. If you truly understood that, you wouldn't be angry with me for not noticing you. You'd be working harder to make it impossible to miss you. How true is that? How true is that? Like, oh, you're not noticing me. Why don't you make it impossible to miss you? Why don't you be amazing? <laughs> this guy, literally Emily. What the fuck? He sounds like a dumbass supervillain. No, he's not like a hero. He's not a supervillain. <laughs> you guys are supervillains. SGWs are supervillains. This is correct. This is a true winner's attitude. Don't see much. Don't see this much these days. Win. Stop saying slow down so I can catch up. Run faster. Do better. Burn it. God, I don't want Comicscape to be filled with entitled pussies. I don't want it. I'm not entitled. Win. Fight harder. Push harder. Be better. And maybe there's a chance, by the way, there's a chance that you might not be good enough. Prepare yourself for the possibility that you are not as good as I am. Prepare yourself for that. Just make room for the possibility that I am amazing and you do not belong. You're not at my level and you never will be. It doesn't go for everyone because it goes for an awful lot of people because I'm human. Do your imagination is it possible? And if you are, if this is truly who you are, somebody who is like, uh, you've got this great skill level that you've, uh, you've tried so hard, but something is keeping you back. There's a ceiling that's stopping you from being noticed. Gabe Al Taib is exactly right. Like you, you live in the West. What are you talking about? You are in the West. Anything is possible here. Literally anything is possible. You can do it. Oh my God, please win, Comicscape. Please, please be winners. Please do it. EBS used to spend, uh, EBS, EBS used to promote more unknown indies, more than half of which got what they could, made money off his YouTube channel, and has spent years denigrating him on social media. Now he's more plugged in, it's no wonder. He spent years denigrating me. For what? For just telling me, telling them that I'm better than them? It doesn't make any sense at all. Not right. Here's Cecil. Can you warn me? I should let you know. I'll see the animal start. Hear my name. I just want these people to be great. I don't want them to whine that other people are too great and they can't keep up. Dan Fraga found this. Beautiful page from Cyberfrog number three. But I gave him back my mind. Amazing. That is all I've drawn. I want to say. By the way, Chris Pratt is Rosa Parks. This is racist. I ain't finna move. I ain't finna move. I think you could do it. I really think Chris Pratt is a capable actor. The only thing I have a problem with is that Rosa Parks is a woman. Chris Pratt is a man, but people tell me I'm the biologist for a woman. <laughs> true as well. Um, Happy birthday, Tony Soprano, today as well. Today was his birthday, great man. 
George C.K. is an idiot. He's a fucking idiot. Uh, he's a piece of shit. Scumbag, hateful idiot. Here he is in 2016. The CIA assessment concludes that Russians interfered with our election. With the margin so close, the result is illegitimate. Hashtag, hey, electors. Here he is in 2022. Here's a simple rule. Never elect any election deniers into positions that oversee our elections. It's hypocrisy. Hypocrisy, thy name is George Decay. By the way, you can't just put deniers after something. Like, everything is about deniers. You're a climate change denier. You're an election denier. You're an election denier. I, I truly hate these people. We, we have to destroy Thank God November is coming up. We have to destroy them in this election and make them cry. So what Suda says, I heard about the female period revolution. It's called, it was called Reds. <laughs> Life is good. Uh, is McFarland's first page? Oh, I read this one already. Let me catch up with you guys. I'm way behind. Are Todd's books overly woke or at all? I don't think they are at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, Darm asks, the big reason for MGTOW is the matter of wrong women, like Amber Heard, holding crap to screw over men in this day and age. Not that women should be sworn off. Yeah, I, I don't think women should have special privileges just for being women. Because most of them, uh, you know, well, they're all regular people, but these people will abuse power when they get it. I understand. I mean, the Amber Heard thing is, uh, is a disaster. Tug covering it is just rubbing salt in the wounds, but, you know, Tug's just going to laugh about it. And Gabe is so savage. Gabe spitting facts. Yeah. Uh, Ryan Blue Thunder says, I am tight as cool love. That show was so good. Uh, Evil One says, I think EBS is the only person that makes this Twitter twatter entertaining. Elite Man Skyver, EBS is the 1%. <laughs> yeah, I think my Twitter's entertaining. Huh. No. What are you gonna do? You got people going, you're an elitist, and it's I deserve to have what you have, and it's like based on what? You want to be nice to people, but you still want to let these bitches know. Mm. Mm. Robin says, is it full or just a few that you highlight? Is it full or is it just a few that you highlight? Uh, what do you refer to, Brie Robin? I'm not sure I understand. Chat, let's surpass Ethan. Let's go. Do it. Um, if you can finish a Peloton workout, you're better than Ethan. You can do most, there are a lot of things that you can do. Better than me. Oh, uh, here's Captain Chokat. Entitled people are insufferable. Uh, Yurashima Taru says, I painted in middle school art class. You owe me. So, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Uh, Jetto Jagai says, I'm a Vickyverse denier. Vickyverse is going after uh, Eric July big time. Galactic Emperor Shalorn says, who are the bigger dummies? Comic pros or actors? Uh... No, that's a hard one. Uh, I'm I'm more impressed by actors than I am comic pros. Like I am like oh actors like they're they're cool they're stars. Comic pros uh, are largely perverts and low lowlifes. Uh, stupid. Come on. They're dumb. 
Evil One says, are you launching the exclusive Cyberpunk figs today? Yes, I am. Launching them tonight, Thomas Gate Kings. Uh, oh. Orbital Hub says, Julius Caesar was going to conquer the Persians like his hero, Alexander the Great, did. Hopefully, someday we find Alexander's lost tomb. They keep saying that they're finding Cleopatra's tomb, but I don't think Cleopatra has a tomb. Oh, uh, 3D Robin says, when you said CG was full of the entitled. No, I didn't say that. I said, I don't want it to be full of the entitled. I don't want it to be that. 3D Robin. We go through this a lot, like, where, you know. Uh, let me see. Ethan is always a uh, nose ahead of the others. Something. I should be able to win any race if I know. Uh, if you can fit in a 36 waist, you're better than UBS. No, I have a, I do have a 36 inch waist. <laughs> Pretty Robin says, "Is it that?" Yes. I don't know what you mean. Pretty Robin, Ow. what are you saying? Spell it out. Uh, Vicky Burst just needs some good old D. Says so checkpoint. I'm going to show you some Vicky Burst stuff versus uh, Air July. Amateur Ant, wow, thanks for $20. My nuts hurt every time I hear your kings. When I hear kings, I think of Vic King's Comic Bay Award. Give uh, Vic some love. Yeah. Vic's Comic Bay Award. We looked at it. We looked at it the other day. Hmm. Marby Dog says, Cleopatra's body was dragged in, uh, through Rome. Yeah, I uh, I think so. Based on the based on the TV show Rome, which I think is likely, uh, there would be no no precious tomb for Cleopatra. She would have been, you know, her body just dragged and quartered, scattered to the winds. I don't think she has a tomb. Hmm. Oh, what's the percentage of the entitled lull? Says Thirty Robin. I don't know. I don't think it's that many, but they're they're noisy and poisonous. And don't forget war campaigns, whole thing like peasants, the peasants versus the lords. We're peasants down here. Uh, it, it's extremely annoying. It really is annoying. Yeah. Yeah, but I I am not sure. Uh, Vaughn's book looks really good. Says uh, Jetto uh, Jagay. Uh, yeah, Cleopatra was not given an honorable Egyptian burial or entombment, and yet they're still looking for her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cleo was hated, so so skull leader. Um, yeah, by some. Mm -hmm. You think they they ate her body? They actually, physically ate her body. I can't be sure about that. I don't know if they did. Yeah. You're seeing it now. I mean, you got... Uh... <laughs> I'm looking up Vicky Burst and I got, hey, Vicky Burst, get a job. Where's Vicky Burst at? If I look up Eric July, I'll, I'll find her. I have Vicky Burst blocked. I unblock her every now and then. Uh, but she is incredibly annoying. Probably one of the worst human beings. I'd say she's like almost as bad as Patrick S. Tomlinson on the internet. Um, <clears throat> so here's Vicky trying to scare away. So Eric's got a fan art contest. And Vicky Burst is trying to insinuate uh, that if you enter the Ripperverse contest, Eric is going to dox you. She's trying to create fear. So that, why would you do this? Why would you want to sabotage a Ripperverse fan art contest? Like, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? If you enter Eric D. July's Ripperverse fan art contest. All right, so what percentage, 3D Robin, what percentage... Uh, of Comicsgate 
is Vicky Verse and her weirdo orbiters that want to tear down achievers like Derek July. You tell me. Like, what percentage is this? Because I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, you have to give him your mailing address when you win. Why is everything misspelled? When you enter, not if you win. And you may want to actually read those terms and conditions. Dude. Shaking my head. <laughs> Wait, you hear about online order? Hold on, let's look at this. Not only do you have to give Eric July your address when you sign up for the contest, you're giving group of permission to use your name, face, and your city and state in promotional materials. Prepare to be doxxed for the privilege of drawing fan art. Remember when, like, uh, <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Uh, to use her entry name, voice, likeness, photograph, prize information, bio biographical data, and city state residents of programming, advertising, and her promotional material on a winner's list of applicable. Vicky, do you think that Eric July is doing this uh, because he wants to hurt? his backers do you i mean you, you think that that's why he's doing this and by the way you don't have to do this uh anybody who anybody who wants to be a part of this i'm guessing i don't know why he would want to use it but, but maybe he wants to use a picture of you i don't know your name does it say that likeness photo he probably wants to publish he probably wants to publish the winners and a little picture of their face and their name and their city like they used to do in Wizard Magazine. See, doxing is only a thing when somebody is... Doxing is only a thing when somebody is using their anonymity to uh, also, in conjunction with their first amendment rights. And you're saying some things that maybe... Uh, they feel it true, but they're controversial. They don't want to get in trouble with their employers. They don't want, or they don't want to be threatened for what they're saying. They don't want to be in danger. That's what doxing is a problem. Doxing is not a thing. When somebody is entering an art contest, and presumably is entering the art contest because they want the glory of having one, and they want the glory of having one to be associated with their name. Presumably, anybody who enters the art contest is assuming that they're going to win, and therefore, they want that. They, they want their face and their name or whatever it is. I don't know if you have to turn in a picture with your art, but if you do, they would know. Holy shit. I want to see this. says, comic book letters pages had names, city, and states of the letters writers. Well, of course. Vicky is insane vicky if you're watching right now you are legitimately insane you have lost your mind not everything is kiwi farms this is a, one of the most popular comic books published this year and i guess maybe they're going to be in the back well i guess they're not going to be in the back for this one but maybe the next one there's going to be on the winner's page. People want to be on the winner's page. They want this. Vicky. If you enter this contest, he's ruthlessly going to—he's ruthlessly going to strip you of your anonymity and leave you open to assholes like Vicky, I guess. The only reason why doxing would be a problem in this situation is because there are people like Vicky who would want to cause fans of uh, rip reverse trouble that's the only reason why this would be a problem they're gonna let me know who you are and then i'm gonna bust your balls Corcon says vicky verse uh has orbiters not even you have small enthusiasts thank you for that uh, uh, uh. 
Eric is going to give them $1,000 for commission on a future book. Oh, is that one of the prompts? Vicky, there you are. You're an idiot, Vicky. You want to come in here and explain yourself? Where is she here? Vicky, do you want to explain yourself? Like, what is what is the matter with you? And Vicky is vile. Why do you think this is a problem? What are you doing? Put the link in the chat for Vicky. Nobody else. Well, if anybody else comes in, I'll kick you out. Vicky, if you want to come in here and explain why you're harassing Eric July in this way and his fans. I mean, uh, you know. I don't get it. Now let us in, says Marcus C. You think you honestly think Eric is like up to no good and Eric wants to hurt his supporters? Vicky could care less about common she's just in it to harass creators. Yes. When's it going to stop? <laughs> At what point is Vicky going to stop and do something? Like, Vicky is Vicky's legitimately crazy. Vicky, Vicky must be crazy. She must be. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Vicky wants to live in Eric's warehouse? Just ask. Just ask Eric directly. See, most people, most people, the vast majority of people, have no problem turning over little picture of themselves, their name, their city, in exchange for, to, to somebody they admire, like Eric July, to be a winner, to win $1,000 perhaps, to be on his fan art page, whatever it is that they're doing. Most people don't have a problem with that. They do that all the time, like on the Amazon review page, for example. Most people aren't you. They're not hiding from other people. See, Vicky is hiding from people. So Vicky doesn't want people to know what her face looks like. Uh, Vicky doesn't want people to know where she lives, who she is, what her real name is. All of these things are terrifying to her because Vicky is somebody who uh, spends all of her time trying to make people miserable on the internet. She doesn't want the payback for that that she imagines is due to her. Uh, and that's why she's anonymous. Most normal people don't care because they're just like, I'm going to get my picture and my name and my city where I live in the next copy of uh, ISOM. I'm going to be I'm going to be an ISOM number two, and I might win a thousand dollars. That sounds great. And what would Eric July get out of this exactly? He's already got he's already got <laughs> he's already got an email list of how many people like twelve thousand people his email list. Like, what do you think he's getting out of this? What do you think he wants from this? He's doing it because it's fan service, essentially. Look out, guys. Be afraid. Eric July is going to dox you. You're the only one. Like, you and people like you are the only people who are worried about getting doxed. People who make it their mission to anonymously cause trouble on the Internet and make it hard for people like uh, Eric July uh, to make a decent living on the Internet. You, you're the only one who's afraid. Normal people aren't afraid. 
normal people don't care. I don't care. All my, I'm, here I am. You know what my name is? My face, my beautiful face is here. Everybody knows where I live, unfortunately. That's just fine with me. It's astonishing that you're giving him a hard time, like the way that you are, Vicky, over not. Oh, Cecil's here. You come in here and defend yourself. If you're right. Hey. How long have you been here? Oh, 10 minutes. Gave me a hard time 10 minutes? Yeah, I've been just listening to Ethan through here. Let me turn Ethan down a bit. What do people have to be afraid of? What do you think people need to be afraid of? What is your end game? What is his end game? What are you up to? What's the worst that's going to happen? I just woke up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got very drunk very early. For a minute. What's that? I said I'm muting Ethan for a minute. Oh yeah, I got uh I did a little celebrating early. Yeah, I bet you and all your friends were celebrating. We were celebrating and uh Oh no. And then I came back here to party. And then, I don't know. I just woke up on my couch. Place is a wreck. <laughs> Got lots of cleaning to do today, then. Uh, a little cleaning to do, but I was like, "Yeah." So I checked. Of course, there's fucking horror from you. Can <laughs> <laughs> invite for your stream. How long have you been painting? Um, a few hours, I think. But I finished. Well. I finished as much as I could of the orb, and now I'm painting the, the moon, painting like a werewolf chick. Oh, I thought this was like a crystal ball because it's, uh, it's the moon. I say okay. No, the other one's the crystal ball. Are you doing a fairy in the bottle? I would. I just don't think I have time because I have to take these to the art store where the contest is on Tuesday. Wow. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to have time. What's the prize? I don't know. I forgot to check. But I... Uh, you think you're going to win? I, I don't know. I don't know what... I never win anything, so I don't think I will. Wow. Shush up. No, but... um. I wanted to have like as many pieces in as possible and I knew the fairy would take me at least a couple days and I was like I might be able to get the moon done in a night and then so, are you going to auction these at some point it depends on if like somebody wants to buy it or not I guess I would but uh, I don't know if like they sell them at the, the store because like what if I get a call from the art store and somebody's like, oh, I want to buy the painting. Are you looking for an excuse not to sell anything again? Maybe. <laughs> See, I would auction it, but then they might want to sell it. So I need, I have to keep it forever. See? <laughs> I might have to keep it forever. See, my logic. Somebody there might want to buy it, and then somebody here, and then it's such confusing. It's better I keep it. <laughs> Basically. I just, uh, do you win, like, candy or money? I don't know. I forgot to check. What's, are, are you entering a child's contest? No, I'm not entering <laughs> a child's contest. No, it just said that you have to... Uh, you have to show the receipt that you bought the canvas from the store and you drop it off on the camera if it's the 19th or the 20th. So she's a werewolf, this chick? Yeah. So she's just like a self-portrait? No, she's a ginger. Oh. Or the person that I'm painting is a ginger. Is it from Ginger Snaps? No, I just found this, like, I was looking for a pose. And I found this model that had like the exact pose and expression I was looking for. And she was really pretty too. So I was like, oh, this will look pretty. 
So it's like if I'm painting a werewolf, I want to make sure that like it looks, I don't know, pretty. So is it like you could see part of her face as human, part of her face as werewolf? That's the. No, I'm just doing like the eyes kind of thing. Oh, just her eyes are going to be werewolf? Just her eyes are going to have like that wolf shine, but it's like in the moon, so you know that she's a werewolf. No fang? No, because like everyone always does vampires, you know? So I was like, I'll just do the, the eyes so you you know she's a werewolf, but... Did she throw a leg over her head and clean herself? Is that how you know? Yes. That's exactly. That's cool. Oh my God. I, you know what it was? My friend was like a big pothead and he pulled out like this high caliber shit. And I have no tolerance for that. Oh, you got stoned? Yeah. Are you still stoned? I don't know. You sound stoned. I don't know if I'm just waking up or I'm waking up stoned. Uh, what time is it? Okay, so almost five in the morning. You've been up fucking for a what? For days, haven't you? No, no, no. I slept today. Oh. I you slept during the day. I got out of bed at like three. Oh, you so confused, I, you confused me. It. You will wake up occasionally to send horror and then just what, go back to sleep. Do you do this in your sleep? <laughs> yeah. I'll <laughs> randomly wake. Well, when I have to pee, I wake up. And then when I'm lying in bed trying to go back to sleep, I open up Instagram. I'm like, how can I torture Cecil right now? Jesus. And I find the, the horrors to send you. Yeah, some of them are. The, do the dog ones. Come on, man. Stop. <laughs> Those are funny. Oh my god! It looks like the <laughs> thing. Like it, it's like the movie, the thing when the dogs get fucking mutated. It's like, look at this dog's face. It's got three mouths. Ugh. For those that don't know, uh, so I send Cecil deformed things or like <laughs> things that you wouldn't think people would post of themselves on the internet, but they do. So I send him to Cecil. That's like a carnival every time I a carnival show. <laughs> I liked one of your texts to me. You're like, why do I even open my phone when I see this from you? <laughs> Occasionally you say things that's that aren't that. Oh, you never even answered about the poster. Still. Oh, it never loaded. Oh. What is the I went poster? and saw the Bowie film the night, on Saturday night. Oh, they gave out posters? Was yeah, it good? Yeah. Well, I like this. Mm, no. No? I mean, I, I'm a huge Bowie fan, and it was it was a lot of rehashed. Uh, is it just like a documentary? Not at all. It's just showing images of stuff that I've seen, because, uh, like, you know, concert oh. Is it just like one of those artistic films? It's very artistic. You might like it because you're an artist. If you're not, that's the only reason I might say you might like it, but it's very much uh, uh, style over substance. It's just lots and lots of photos, images. If you, I mean, if you think David Bowie's pretty, you'll love it because it's just him in millions of costumes, you know. But there's no narration. There's no plot. There's no, doesn't talk about his life. It just has him talking over pictures and concert footage they have like him talk, speaking about his philosophy of life oh and that, like it's just that it's it's not like a meaty it's a moon age daydream yeah it's not a like a meaty documentary it never mentions his kids it never mentions it never mentions anything it's just showing footage you've probably seen before with him talking over it very stylistically but Uh, you, you don't like I saw it in IMAX. That you, I could have watched it on TV. Fine. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would tell you to do. So basically, Peaches will not be happy with me if I take him to this. No, no, no. You, is he a huge Bowie fan? No. Then no. <laughs> Let 
Yeah, I, w I wouldn't do that. You want to go by yourself. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Well, anyway, they gave out posters. I grabbed an extra one. Since you're a Bowie fan. Are you gonna Isn't give it crazy that the Queen outlived David Bowie? He outlived everybody. She really did. Except for Betty White. Betty White outlived her. Yeah. Well, I mean, Betty White died before her, but I think she got more years than... I think Elizabeth just gave up. She's like, fuck it. My husband's dead. My sister's dead. One of my kids is a pedophile. Epstein's dead. What did she have to give up for? She gets her fucking ass wiped for fucking a century. I know, but I'm sure she was just like over it. She's like, fuck this. No, I think just she's, how old was she? At 96? Mm -hmm. Taken too soon. I mean, how long does she want to go for? Shit starts falling apart. I thought she was going to try to go for 100. I mean, if you can't make it to 100 being pampered like that, how, who can make it to 100? Do you want to make it to 100? Fuck no. No? What age will you die at? 40. You've been 40 for a long time. 39 for a long time. Never been mm -hmm. 40. At that you? rate, John would have died already. Who? John would have died already. So would have Ethan. If what? If they would have died at 40. I don't know when I'm dying. When do you want to die? I don't know. I just want to make sure I die before people I love die, so that way I don't have to deal with them dying. All right. I think you're on track with your diet. You'll be good. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't think like my parents would able, be able to take like me dying after what happened to my sister, but I don't think I could handle them dying. So I'm like, I kind of want to go before them, but at the same time, I know that no, would like break them. You can't do that. I know. Maybe if we all die at the same time. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this is my. Like, this is know. making me so happy. As you're flying off a cliff in a car, we're all here together. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's not the best idea. Hmm. Now I gotta decide what year I'm gonna die in. What year? I don't want. I would not want to make it to ninety-six. What if they like advanced technology so much that they could put your brain, like they rejuvenize your brain and they put you in like an android body and you can still like feel the way that humans do? I would do that. Yeah. For a little while. <laughs> yeah. But then you like miss out on, you know, dying, finding out what that's all about. Do you want to die? I mean, I don't, I'm not suicidal. I just, but I do want to know what the next step is. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've already been to hell, so past <laughs> oh, couple <you> years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you watched my She Hulk video. Oh no! What happened? No, I just got very frustrated and was screaming the whole time. Oh yeah, why? 
it was it was so fucking painful it just so it was the, they i cannot believe that in modern storytelling modern disney did a tv show about a superhero with a trademark problem and oh who, yeah and who needed to buy a suit and thought that was a plot and fucking spent, <laughs> no, there's no story there's no plot there's no payoff there's not there there's nothing it's just for stupid people to stare at and yep there was no thought they're yep. like, oh, we need to get the suit made for her. And then the guy's like, I'll only make it if it's a super powered suit. It's got to be something special. And they're like, no, we just need a regular suit. So then why were you searching him out? You could have got a regular suit done fucking a thousand places. Why were you searching the guy who does super suits? Because suit? they're retarded. I'm like, and they had to show that the daredevil was going to be there. I know. Oh, my God. I just went nuts. I started screaming. I hate that show so much. That's the plot. Oh, a trademark battle. Okay. It's like, don't you think that would have happened with every single one of the fucking Avengers? Of course. It would have been fucking, everybody would have grabbed up everybody's name already and done this. Did, what, did Peter Parker have to go through this? Because I'm sure Spider-Man is marketable. So, like, this would have been some shit that people already dealt with. Here's the other thing. They hired her as the face of their company. Why didn't they trademark her? I know. I mean, it's all lawyers. The first thing when you speak to lawyers, they're like, trademark that, protect yourself with this. So they didn't protect themselves. She didn't have any protect. Like, it's just so stupid. Yep. Fucking hate it. <laughs> How many more are left? I don't know. Too many. And it's just that, and her smirking and trying to be the smartest, and but always the dumbest. And well, it's like you have a bunch of lawyers that have no idea how law works, and then they never explain why that one chick doesn't like her. She's like, "Oh, we're friends now," and then she gets mad at her and leaves. I'm like, she doesn't like her. She's a fucking loser. Yeah. It's like, bitch, I'm not your friend. I fucking lose my number. She's the hero of the show. She got to do, <laughs> she got to do what the whole audience is feeling. Like, we're friends now. Oh, fuck off. Who yells we're friends now? A tard. <laughs> Are you going to give her a dog snout? No. You know, like the old timey wolf man with the black nose? No. I was going to try to make her look pretty. Are you going to give her fleas? Yes, just for you. Thank you. Put a dog collar on her with her name. <laughs> what should I name her? Muffy. Muffy instead of Buffy? That's original. Well, she's, she, and she needed a dog name. Muffy's not a dog name. Lucy is a dog's name. Muffy is more of a dog's name than Lucy. Lucy's a person's name. I know no, more people, or more dogs named Lucy than I've ever met people named Lucy. My dog's name was Lucy. All right, so then name her Cinnamon. That's a dog's name. You do realize a werewolf isn't a dog. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a canine. She wasn't always a dog. She's a person most of the time. It just happens to turn into a werewolf. How did she mark her territory? She peeing all over the place? She's not a boy. That's what the boy dogs do. Do you have a crap on the front lawn? No. I'm trying to give a backstory to your character. 
You're naming her Lucy? No. The chat can name her. What does the chat want to name her? Name her Rex. She's a girl. People are saying name her Cecilia. Uh, she lives in a single wife. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? Name her Spot. Spot? Yeah. Put a uh, dog collar on her. It says Spot. And give her a good, um, like a, a nice uh, mole over her lip, like Cindy Crawford. Do you like Cindy Crawford? As a friend. Who do you think was hotter, Cindy Crawford or Brooke Shields? Hmm. Hmm. Like in their prime. That's a great question. Let me, let me uh Uh, Cindy Crawford. These are questions I've never had to ask. You know, uh, I'll never have to cho actually choose between. <laughs> Do you like that girl or that girl? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, Cindy Crawford was beautiful, huh? Um, let me see. All right, now let's go look at Brooke Shields. Take this very seriously. I think Cindy Crawford and Richard Gere should have had babies. They would have been so beautiful. And who? When she was dating Richard Gere. Oh. They should have had that. babies. They would have been so cute. Her kids are good looking anyway. Huh? Her daughter looks just like her. Oh, yeah? That's good. That ain't the worst. Hmm. Well, it makes me mad when these, like, beautiful celebrities don't have, like, children. Like, Hugh Jackman doesn't have any biological children. It's like, what a waste. Like, at least Tom has Siri or Suri, whatever the heck that kid's name is. Suri. Uh, I don't know. Like Brooke Shields in her prime looks like a kid to me. Like too much like a kid. Okay, then look when she's a little older. <laughs> I don't know. They keep showing like her prime modeling years, and it's kind of like. Okay, then just Google like her twenty-seven or something. Brooke Shields in her. Let's say 80s. 80s, okay. Uh, good looking girl. Um, I'll go with Cindy. Yeah. Neither is my type. Oh, yeah? Drop Dead Gorgeous isn't your type? Yeah. Sorry, ladies. That's because he's gay, Anna, <laughs> says Steve Gibbon. That's true. Good point, Steve. The real reason he was getting oh, divorced. Oh, after his streaming, and he named his stream "Watching Thana Paint." So you're being really? <laughs> that's his stream. He's watching me. Let me see if that's real. Ha <laughs> ha! I believe. It, is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, Jay. <laughs> What's up, Jay? 
And it's crazy. I would rather be, uh, I would, I would really rather be somebody that uh, did like anime or comic books or something rather than be one of these like artists like a uh, Rembrandt or somebody like that. I'd rather do that type of art. Uh, <coughs> And to me, that's sort of what Anna's doing. She's doing more of that, uh, that Rembrandt type of stuff. You know, she's doing that, 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 that real, real art. I would rather do the uh, more cartoony type things. Can you hear him? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, Rembrandt's one of my favorites, so I'm surprised to know that. I want to do that physical type building. But you know what? It is one physical thing that I would like to do that has something to do with artistry. I ain't gonna lie. So I do take some of what I said back. I would love to be able to make dolls, man. <laughs> I did. <laughs> that. I did. Sculpt. I need to I sculpt be Anna. Able to be able to put design oh, okay. the ground up and then be able to have the print, print thing. Where you can you add to make your own doll, put the skeleton together. Now, I, I really take like Anna's that. skeleton out now, and make a new Anna. I would love to at least know how to do that. Now, that, now that sounds intriguing. King of Blaze says, Wow, your dog really make you. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, man, my dogs make me happy in a whole. I keep telling people, man. People can't understand this one concept when I be trying to explain about my dog. I just get so jealous of his happiness. I have to turn it off. Yeah. I need a room full of dolls. Yeah, that'd be a great thing for your <laughs> recent new dating life. I am so happy. It's eyeball clean at night. Would you ever get a love doll? No. Like a robot if they made them really good? No. Like, remember an AI with uh, Jude Law? Is Jude Law the AI? Yeah, he was a sex bot. Oh, I remember that. That really, really fucking sad movie with Haley Joel Osment. Yeah. Would you get a Jude Law sex bot in your later years? You know what? It's Jude Law. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I might <laughs> not ever, ever want that, Cecil. So you and Jay are not so different. I think you have more in common with him than I do. Jude Law? No. <laughs> <laughs> why, why couldn't you invent that? No one meant. What? I said, I know who you meant. I know you were saying I had com <laughs> commented with Jay, but I was hoping. I think you're more likely to get a sex doll than I am. Oh, no, I'm too fucking lazy for that shit. <laughs> You're just too paranoid about dying and somebody finding yeah, it. Like, dude, that's I'm your not, one. I mean, when you're ordering crates of, like, dude, just jerk off. Just, just stop fucking making a big production out of everything. Maybe some people don't want to jerk off. Maybe some people want that synthetic companionship. I mean, obviously they do, but... I mean, it's easier for girls. They just they just sell the one part you guys care about. It's very fucking portable. They sell that for guys too, but you guys care about more parts than we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's just a hand, basically. They don't. It's I don't know. Chicks got it easy in that department. Just get a vibrator and fucking boom. Just rub some lotion on the skin. Like. You guys have just a degraded man. You just stripped us down to one part and then you sell that. It's so degrading. 
we have to make an entire torso. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love the torso ones. Like, how could you? How could you not catch yourself in a mirror humping that and be like, "I am a serial killer. I am out of my fucking mind." It's got no arms and legs. It's just, it's just, I um, remember, I was on the stream with a guy that has a goblin amputee. That's so. true. I wonder how Apparently many there's like a honeymoon phase when you first get a doll and all you do is like bang it for like days. Wow. I mean, that's exciting. It's like new, new, new love yeah. new romance. It's a whirlwind. <laughs> so pathetic. Uh, how dare you talk about Jay that way? No, not him. He's the bomb. Yeah. And he doesn't bang those girls. He's oh, no. Sex bot. Porn bot's here. Mm -hmm. I heard you talking about cum. What street did you pop on where you were porn bot? Oh, oh the, the Liam one. How was Flashcast last night? That was last night. Today is Sunday night going into Monday. Oh, um, it was right. good. I hopped on right after. Like, literally as you guys were saying goodbye. And I was That's waiting funny. in the back room, and then I, like, after a few minutes, I noticed where it says live, it said ended. So oh. I was sitting back there, but... And I was like, what? But they're still talking. Oh, was I there? Yeah. Oh. I don't remember talking for too long. Oh, no, no, no. Not, not after the show. I'm like, I must have been a few minutes behind on the show. Mm. So I was like, oh, you guys are still live. I see on YouTube. But then I'm in the back room and it's like ended. And I was like, oh. I was like three minutes behind. Yeah, everyone was saying they're like, "Oh, Cecil's gonna show up," and Flash is like, "No, it's like I won't go to bed." What's the uh, source material for this? Who are you painting? Is it someone I know? No, just some model chick that I found. That I was like, "Oh, she would make a good werewolf." EVS is stream sniping. Who? Me? I was stream snipe. Well, I wasn't. I didn't have his stream up on the screen, but I was listening to it while I painted. Hold on. And see stream sniping me. Hi, Ethan. Yeah, it's him and Jay are stream sniping you. That's so oh weird. Oh, my God. Tell them all to smash the like button. We were listening to you, Ethan. We were. What is that? Ethan has a question. Would you be happy for Cecil if he started dating Rini? When, Me? When it, or who? No, he has a pull up. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit yes. <laughs> I mean, it would be a huge disappointment for her but i mean it'd be a great opportunity for you thanks you're welcome nothing but support so we got j doll hefner do stream sniping you and ethan van skyver that's cool i know i woke up a little high uh, people are saying i look drunk i sound drunk and used i uh i had a, p a little celebration party tonight and uh, yeah, I saw Anna sent an invite, and she was I sent it on the Jack show, and only you ever show up. I don't know. I, I can't hear you. Want, 
Huh? I can't hear what they're saying. What who's saying? Ethan. Ethan? Yeah. I can't see who he's got somebody on just called S. S, is it? I know he was trying to get Vicky on. Is it Vicky? Mm -hmm. Remember when Cecil would stream with EVS? He didn't send any link. He didn't send anyone the link. Well, he posted it in his chat. He did? In like the, well, he's trying to get Vicky to come on his stream. So he posted it in his chat. EBS over. Uh, da, da, da. Who is S? Is it Sheila? Is it? Yeah. Is it Sheila? That's the only S I can think of. Can you think of anyone that has an S in their name? Just Sheila. Shane. Oh, Shane, yeah. I think it's Sheila. I'm pretty sure it is. Should I go over there? Why don't you just press play so we can hear them? It's because it's going to be us. Oh, no, that's, a, that's an old picture, the blonde one. That was like a... Yeah. Sure it is. That was on my StreamYard's account from years ago. Go over there? Why are they listening to us? Like, we can hear them. It's a good idea. Oh, no, that's a, that's a old thing. It's an echo. There you go. Now they can hear. Yeah. Why are they listening to us? They are. They are listening to us. <laughs> We're not saying anything interesting. <laughs> Get something, but I can't. Yeah, I don't know what to do either. You get this quick pause on the thing. They're listening to me, guys, because Jim has a theory that Cecil loves Anna. That's not why we're listening. And I, you know, so I checked in on you because I heard you were stream sniping me, Anna. They're listening to me, guys, this is so irritating. Okay, what is Ethan saying? I think so. I mean, she's not a redhead, but it kind of... It could easily look like her, for sure. They're looking at your painting. It looks like a really botched nose job right now, though. <laughs> I haven't painted this section yet. Yeah. So we think uh, so you guys are still listening, Anna and Cecil. Like we're just talking about Cecil's being single and Sheila's thirst for Cecil. And then we, we talked about how uh what did we talk about? I said, Oh yeah, maybe Rainy and Cecil could get together and Sheila said Cecil's in love already. And I I scanned my brain and said, I he is like with who? What do you mean? Like, I, I thought, like, Cecil started dating someone, and I just didn't know. And uh, Sheila implied that Cecil is madly in love with Anna. Uh, and I'm just like, let's check in on Anna and see how they're doing. And sure enough, it's Anna and Cecil. Cecil just showed up. That's gross. This <laughs> is very sweet. Um, and so we just, we wanted to, in a way it was weird. It was like listening in to like pillow talk. Like we, oh, we not that, but... <laughs> that was not pillow talk. Um, Ew. I'm just trying to see like the idea that, that Cecil and Anna are like a couple. Is, I mean, they're not I didn't, a couple. I didn't say that. I didn't no, I'm just saying that there's like, yeah, there's I don't know, whatever. But, no offense, Cecil, yeah, but not in a million years. I, I don't know if Cecil cares about Anna, but I don't think he's. I don't think Cecil's in love with Anna. I just don't. It, it might, it might not be. It's the sweetest like platonic love I've ever heard of, if, if that's the case. What I think is this, uh, and the chat has it right. Sheila is jealous of Anna. Yes, uh, that is what I think. If that's the route you guys want to go, I mean, I'm happy. No, it's not a route. I'm, I'm saying that I think that you're sitting there going, okay, who's on the field that I need to be competitive with? You're over here bugging me about who should get with Cecil and this and that. And I was like, well, you're, you're ignoring the fact that 
Yeah. You think he's in love with that? Yeah. I, I'd be the last to know. I really would. She'll but play in a I mind like game. Idea. Uh, I like the idea of comics get ending up in couples, but we've got all these impossible couples. We've got Mandy and Dale. <laughs> yeah, that's like a big one. Like Mandy and Dale is. That's so cute. Dale loves Mandy. So, like, really His good. chat just wrote, she just said, no offense, Hazel, but not in a million years. <laughs> Like that term hell freezing over <laughs> last people. All right, I got, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Even then, I'd have to say people. No offense. All right, all right. Yeah, I hope they don't take offense to it. <laughs> Your point is taken. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Anna's always said the same thing, like, you know, your mom, fuck you, Cecil, you know, like that kind of thing. But, yeah. you know, I think that it's true that um, Anna cares about Cecil. Oh, we're getting analyzed. Um, if Cecil were sick and needed Anna, I think Anna would <laughs> maybe be there. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm, not that, I'm not that sure, Ethan. <laughs> Cecil keeps doing that. He's asking the wrong thing. He's just like, please, when he, when Cecil says, "Would you commit a lesbian act?" Like Anna is not a lesbian. As fun as it is to call her, she's just but that not. Wasn't the, that's not the question. Would she commit a lesbian act? Right. He's asking. He's like, "How far would you?" I mean, the like, it's like, would you would you suck <laughs> a penis so and save somebody? It's like Jesus God. Like nobody wants to answer that question. It's an awful question. Yes or no. <laughs> You yeah, I know it's, it's it's a Jack show, but like I'm so, like, the entire Jack show would just die if that were Trevor Wright for ten dollars says Ethan Cecil started talking about Anna all the time when he started losing the weight. He flies across the country to hang out with her multiple times. No guy would do that for a guy friend. Yeah, every single time I've hung out with Anna, there have been guy friends there. I know. Cecil's getting mad at me over this conversation. I I argue. Yeah. Um, so every not, time we go somewhere, people. it's a group yeah. of people. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, right. I'm, I'm on YouTube. I, I talk nonstop. I mean, that's what we do. But, you know, Cecil asks Anna to do disgusting things, like to save his life. And really all he wants to do. That wasn't me. That's is, Russell Hall. I don't, I don't <laughs> ask. That's Russell Hall. Asking, he's, he's asking it in a, like, a really perverse way because... He's almost trying to make a joke out of it. Like, would you lick a bacon? Russell throat? Hall does that oh, every some fucking. Star Trek actress. Well, I agree with you. He probably doesn't appreciate us psychoanalyzing him in public like this. I don't mind. I don't mind. So, uh, he's doing. Yeah, he's doing that because it's like, please, like, you care about me and all this stuff. And Anna would just be like, go fuck yourself. You know, but yeah. it, it does Anna. Well, that's what she says. But does Anna really care about Cecil? I think in a way. Yeah. I think she would do it to save his life. Deep down. No. Yeah, like what okay, the question is this. Would Anna do something to save an injured dog that she saw on the side of the road? It depends if the dog is cute. Alright, so that's the question. And what kind of dog is I think Anna would. I think Anna would help a hurt animal. What and I think Cecil would hurt animal. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm a is hurt it, animal. Is it a cute radio dog? Has gotten good here. This is uh, finally we're doing. I'm doing my job. All right, I'm pulling away from them. I don't know if they're still stream sniping me, but Jimmy Christian so says, "Oh God, who cares?" Yeah, they're the chat like they're not here for Lol, Cecil is a hurt animal. <laughs> I know. Yes. Uh, no, it's not that Cecil is. I'm just saying, like, would Anna, like, the, the way that Anna cares for Cecil would be like, uh, you know, like a cat in a tree. <laughs> for a bird, for a bird, would, would Anna help that bird fly again? I'm sure she would. <laughs> if you put it that way, she'll say, yeah, I'll do that, but she's not going to, like, whoever's. Uh, 
It's weird hearing people like I mean, Cornwall do. A great comic book channel. I know it's way better than comic books. Oh, here's Cecil. Yeah. Uh, I think Cecil is our first animal. <laughs> I'd hold on, Cecil. You can come in here. Let me put the link in there in the chat. Only Cecil comes in here. No more, uh, please. Uh, no more uh, Middle Easterners with swords that are threatening Vicky's life. Appreciate that. You know, just Cecil. Was he Middle Eastern or was he just? He was just pretending. Going on both streams. Which was not a good sign. Probably more yeah. campaign. The knife was a bad sign too. Yeah. yeah. Vicky, I block. Sorry. <laughs> Can I go on two streams at the same time? Somebody could grab that link. I think so, because we'll hear like an echo. I'll just put it up and play, so you go over on that stream. Yeah. And I'm not saying terrorists, I'm not saying jihadi shouldn't uh, threaten Vicky. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying not on my channel. You yeah. Know? You don't want that kind of heat on your channel. No. If Muhammad Atta wants to threaten uh, Dean and Vicky, I mean, I just don't like it. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be here. I'm reading. I'm, sure. I'm just reading your chat now. What are they you saying? Hurtful. In pencil, simpsel, of course. Okay. Uh, some people have different points Simpsons of view. Uh, Ed Cecil says RBM Entertainment. Oh, a lot of guys are butthurt because he killed Q. and they found out. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got a fake girl here. I love you, Ethan, says Alyssa McCrilla. Thank you, Alyssa McCrilla. Yeah. Oh, God. Fake girls and oh, this might be the person. I wasn't going to threaten here, says Alyssa McCrilla. Well, who are you? Which war campaigner are you? Uh, let me see here. Pork Hunt says, uh, so maybe Cecil's question to Anna is, do you believe in cross-species breeding? Did he send the link? Oh, because she's a Lemurian? I think he posted it in his chat. No, we're because Cecil's a hurt animal. Oh, oh, I get it, I get it. No, <laughs> no we're just trying to figure out that I'm not even calling Cecil a hurt animal. I'm I'm trying to test the limits of Anna's empathy. You know, it's like <laughs> Good I'm, luck. I'm trying to figure out like <laughs> would Anna does Anna care for Cecil? And is it possible for Anna to care for Cecil? Yeah, I know I, I think she really did. But I don't think you do certain sex acts to save yourself. No. Uh, I am not a war campaigner for the Lisa She said, you do care about me, but you would not do certain sex acts to save my life. <laughs> Let's get that clear. Let's get that out. People want to deny that. Everybody thinks that I am war dash camp. See, I don't like it because you say war dash campaign. Like, that's weird. Like, if you were war campaign, you would never put war dash campaign. Yeah, yeah. I did my de detective work there. I think that's good. You did great. I found that person on LinkedIn because I reverse searched the image that she had. No. Oh, you found the uh, the actual person to the fake picture? Correct. And it's not Elisa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just this person who they stole the picture from. I don't see the link anywhere. I don't know. Cecil, the link. I put the link in the chat. Hold on. Oh, oh, in the ch in his chat. I got it. I got I it. Fucking told you that you retard. But in no, in his chat, like the fucking. I side. told you that. I might like it. yell at me though. I might like it. Wait, where is Anna? Large from Anna. That's the one. Stops as we're trying to sing. I think she's streaming on her own. Are you doing terrorism? There's the Cecil. Hold on. Oh, I gotta turn that off. Okay. How are you? Good man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. I had a party tonight. You did? Yeah, I was supposed to um I was supposed to have it tomorrow, but I'm doing a uh uh shit Chrissy show tomorrow night. I totally forgot that I was booked for that. I'm gonna... Chrissy, that's another uh you and Chrissy are good friends, right? Yeah. Right. Uh I'm going to st her studio tomorrow in the city and uh doing a wet spot it's called but i forgot all about it but i invited my buddies over to like celebrate my you know good news that happened the last week so one of them was, i was like i gotta cancel monday night he's like come to the yacht club man we'll fucking and then we went over there had a big party and then grabbed up people came back to my place and i just woke up on my couch a little while ago oh man congratulations <laughs> thank you so yeah. I saw Anna sent the link and I jumped in and then I got to hear you guys psychoanalyze me. Yeah. We're not psychoanalyzing you. We're, we're, we're looking at the, uh, Cecil, Anna. Here's what happened. Uh, 
talking to Sheila. Of course, Sheila has a professor of love for you. Uh, she's, a woman of, we, she's a woman of great taste and refinement. There's nothing wrong with that. She has nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, I agree with I agree with all that. Uh, I really do, except for the ashamed part. She should be ashamed over uh, something for you. I mean, that's a little weird. But what I what I said was, I'm not sure if Cecil is the perfect match for you because I don't think Cecil believes in ghosts or UFOs. And I think that, like, uh, you know, he would he would grow impatient with your uh, chasing UFOs and ghosts and all the conspiracy stuff. And uh, I said, but I don't know. I mean, maybe somebody mentioned Rainey. And I yeah, maybe Cecil and Rainey would do okay. And then Sheila said, uh, Sheila pointed out that Cecil's been in love this whole time. And I didn't know that. And I said, with who? And she implied that it was Anna that Star Wars girl that you're in love with. Yeah, well, I've been accused of that since we started streaming three years ago. Yeah, accused? You would say accused? Yeah, they're always like, oh, you're a simp. You know, that's... No, not a simp. A simp is different. You know, a simp isn't about feelings. It's, it's something else. There's some other phenomenon. You know, oh. Yeah. I don't think it's that. No. You, you spend time with Anna like you know Anna personally. You know, you fly out in the middle of nowhere to hang out with Anna. Yeah, but I also meet up with Flash and a bunch of other people. I, I meet up whoever goes. She goes. You guys are fucking couch potatoes. I want to get... That's true. You know what I mean? It's like, why do you hang out with Anna so much? Because she goes out. No, I was thinking like it's, it's, <laughs> it's having more fun than not going out. So that's yeah. where the alternative is. Not going out or hang out with Anna. You're going to hang out with Anna. Of course. No, it makes sense. I'm on Anna's show right now. We're, on, we're simulcasting. Say hi. Uh, Say hi, Anna. Just being not, you know, hanging out alone. So I totally get it. I don't, I don't know if I completely get it, though. I, I would say, like, uh, maybe it's none of our business. What are you talking about? It's none of our business. This is comic skate. Everything's I mean, our business. To the depth that we're going right now. Really? Uh, we're not even going nearly that deep. We're okay. just trying to figure out if Cecil has Fifi's for Anna, like special ones. That's gross. You can leave the baby making. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't want to vomit on my painting, Ethan. Can you hear? hear you, Anna. She's <laughs> Anna screaming in the background. No! <laughs> this isn't deep. I mean, this isn't intrusive. You know, we're not trying to figure out where they were, when, and, you know, anything for real. We're just trying to determine. Now, you know, the whole thing about it is, is that we do have this other scenario, which is similar, okay, of uh, Dale Keown and Mandy, very similar situation in some people's What opinion. are you talking about? Not in my opinion. <laughs> what? Yeah. You, Dale sits there being like, I love you, Mandy. What? Yeah, very fucking similar. <laughs> what? Out. No. You never passed out and said, I love you, Anna? No, no, no. Drink a that lot. would have been. And I do, and I do drink a lot. And no, no, I get wasted. And no, yeah, it's not a similar situation. You fucking People listening. It's identical. <laughs> <laughs> Stop shipping, uh, even says uh, Ryan Blue Thunder. Why it's funny. Uh, all right. So uh, okay. So anyway, there, there's a thought that Cecil has deep feelings for Anna. Now I even said my whole thing was. Uh, even if that were true, would Anna ever reciprocate those feelings? No. And She's only human, so I would have I would say <laughs> yes, but no. I see it, but yeah. I don't think she actually will. But I'm like, she's crazy if she doesn't. It should be insane uh, not to. I I agree with Sheila again. Again, a woman of <laughs> class, refinement, taste. <laughs> Never in a million years. She says that, but she she doesn't mean it, you know. Her eyes say something different. You're right. Oh my god. <laughs> no, but I mean, my thing is this: like uh, Cecil keeps doing this thing where it's like, you know, would you like to save my life? I don't do that. Russell Hall does that. Russell Hall sends in those fucking super chats over and over. I do not say, "Hey Anna, would you do this to save my life?" Ever. Russell Hall does it. So countless times, uh, you have said. Uh, would you... <laughs> He doesn't care. Ignoring me. With even somebody attractive, an attractive female. Wonder why Studio says, uh, 
uh, when the moon explodes, Anna about Cecil. It's crazy. Uh, and Anna has to, Anna goes, no, but see, this is Cecil's way of saying, how much do you care about me? Like, do you care about me? And Anna Not is really. like, uh, first of all, I ain't committing no lesbian act for anyone. She know? said she I would do it to me. save her dog, I think. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Would she do it to save peaches? This is a good question. She said no on that, too. Russell Hall's already gone down every question you could ask. <laughs> But I mean, what, what Cecil really wants to know is, you know, do you care about me at all? You know, do you care about me at all? Man? What and about you, Ethan? Do you, <laughs> what about you, Ethan? Do you care about me? No. <laughs> <laughs> no I do care about Cecil. Uh, but, uh, you know, my answer would be the same as Anna's. Like, no, I'm not doing nothing gay to save you. You're going to die. That's as simple as that. Die proud. And I will live proud. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you, but, uh, what, you wouldn't blow someone to save my life? No. <laughs> I don't have any friends, man. Anna, you, nobody wants it. Let them fucking die. To be die. fair, nobody has asked John yet. You die with honor. John said he would blow someone to save my life. John answered it. <laughs> John did say that. What a great yes. guy he is. Yeah. It's like, uh, he's like, you're going to die? Yeah, I'll give a bad one. <laughs> you blowing you? No, 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 it wasn't that. It was. No. This is not wash afterwards. You gotta live with that. There, there's no mouth out to the soul. You know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta wake up the next day and just have memories. That's why the answer is no. <laughs> like, like maybe if there were like uh, one of those men in black things that like it just erases your brain of it, you know, I'd be more likely to say yes, but it's the living with it that I couldn't do. What if what yeah. if you liked it and you were like, "Thanks, Cecil, you open up a whole world to me." Oh, well, that's a different story. You know, what, what, if, what if you didn't realize you were gay? Like, all right, cool. I'm, not, I'm not gay, but dick tastes awesome. It really does, though. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but anyway, the, the whole question was like, would Anna? The, would Anna help a, a, an animal that was wounded? And that's where that you got upset because we were comparing you to a sick or wounded animal. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, it's like trying to test the limits or the beginnings, the boundaries of Anna's empathy. Like, you know, she would not, maybe she wouldn't lick Gates McFadden's vagina <laughs> to save you. Uh, but what would uh, she do to save me? What no. would you do to She's save right here. You could animal? ask her. You could ask her. She could hear you. Go ahead. No, I don't think I, because I mean, that's, you know, what's the worst thing? And what's the worst thing that you would do to save Cecil? Um, I don't know what kind of worst thing. Well, some, like, I, you know, it's hard to say, like, I would have to give you examples. Like, would, would you drink a glass of sour milk? Uh. <laughs> yeah. That's, see, How that's, big is this glass? Like a shot glass or like a? A pint glass. No, no, like a like a regular eight ounce glass. Am I allowed to puke after? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. All right, yay. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you need to puke though? Like sour milk. Yeah, but who cares once it's down? I don't like down. the taste of milk, regardless. So then you have to taste it twice coming back up again. Go well, well, down, just keep it down. Well, I'd probably just puke at the thought or like the smell of it too. Uh, would you? I mean, ugh, I don't want. To We're just trying to figure out what I would do if <laughs> <and, like, laughs> like, Cecil die. There is something that would she would do to save Cecil. Yeah, she so just said it. Good. Yeah. It's not like she's saying I wouldn't do. I wouldn't go out of my way to save Cecil ever. Right. No, that would be a whole different thing. So there's hope for your uh, love, Cecil. Thanks, man. There's hope for it. There's a start. There's something to build on. <laughs> you would drink sour milk. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, it's a good basis. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I would like it, though. I mean, you know, the idea of you marrying Anna. What? It would be. Well, I mean, I need to want to get married. Not right away. Oh, okay. Thanks. You do realize Cecil's an old man, Ethan. That's the only oh, problem. I, I don't realize it. 39 is the new 38. 
You're not 39. You weren't 39 for a long time. But age loves no, or love knows no age. Yeah, what she said. Yeah. You know, I, I don't understand women because here's the thing, like, you know, how old is Anna? Like 23? Uh, you know, look, you, you marry an older guy. Why? I understand. Oh, I want to, I want to be with a younger guy. I want to be with a guy my own age. Fuck four. Here's the, here's the plan. Here's the plan that I want to set for 23 years old or whatever Anna is. Anna's probably closer to 30 than she is to 23. But um, you marry a guy who's old, he's already set up. Now, Cecil, he's already set up, okay? Cecil is a, a man of means, uh, and he can take care of Anna. What, what uh, makes also, you think I want to get married right now? <laughs> I'm talking about Anna. I'm not talking about you. Anna needs to nail you down, and this is why. No, no, thank you. Also, Did you realize I have a, a boyfriend that I, like, kind of live with? You know? So does Sheila. She doesn't care. Okay. She was mainly. She doesn't care. You know. I mean. Hypothetical. This, yeah, this is hypothetical. It means hypothetical. Very, Every man on earth died, and I'd have to date. Hypothetical Cecil. is great. That's a great <laughs> word. It means hypothetical, but crazy. You know. This is my celebrity crush. I'm allowed to one one celebrity. You know, what a good cat. choice you made, by the way. Yeah, you're my cat. My celebrity crush is Henry Cavill. I get demoted to Cecil. This is depressing. Do I have to live in this? I would, if, if I had to, I would take a blowjob from Naomi Watts to save Cecil. Oh, hero. Yeah. I didn't understand that. Why, why did my phone just say <laughs> <laughs> My phone just came alive and was like, I didn't understand that. Well, maybe right. Anna is like 30 then she'll change her mind about Cecil. No, she needs to marry him now. Now, Cecil's been drinking his whole life. Okay? His liver is going to give life. Uh, Cecil is going to marry Anna because he's a simp. He's going to ensure his life heavily. Anna, make sure that he does. No, thank Cecil's you. Cecil's going to take it. He's going to drop dead uh, at a very early age, probably like in the next five or six years. Mm -hmm. uh, Anna will inherit everything that he has. Okay? So, uh, nothing. Uh, if I can drunk and dead. Uh, and then Anna is going to be in her mid thirties, and then she can go back and date the young, the young guys. What? Uh, well, I mean, this is the thing. You, you, you'll have gone. Uh, and Cecil's like in his sixties; his penis doesn't work anymore. That's mm -hmm. fine. Live without that for a little while. Take Cecil's money when he dies, and then, as a thirty-five-year-old woman, you're dating these young twenty-four-year-old guys. No, uh, thank you. Still, He's got it all planned out. Guys yeah. under the age of 30 are completely worthless. I'm just going to say that. Just go to war. Like it's, think of it as serving your country <laughs> than serving yourself. Like you go to I would war, rather go to war. You marry Cecil. Uh, Tuna Watch City says, put a ring on him, Anna. Nail that ARP down. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has any faith in me if they really think that Cecil's the best I can do. I'm right here, by the way. I don't know if you... Nobody <laughs> cares. <laughs> uh, Cecil will die three years from now at age 66. <laughs> famous, famous author, Spider McGee. That's not too long. That's not too long, but wait. But I, I think my theory works for women because, uh, yeah, you just you date older guys. Young ladies date older guys. Life insurance. Marry them. Life insurance. It's a good move. Uh, wait for them to drop dead. If I have to marry an old man. It would be George Lucas. George Lucas. Yeah, he's not going to die, though. That's true. He's going to live a long time because he's a billionaire. He's gross. He's not as hot as Cecil. Not even close. Thank you. <laughs> Just want to put that out there. I'm, yeah, I'm getting, a, I'm getting it up put on my tombstone. Hotter than George Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> George invented Star Wars, which means he's the most handsome man on the planet. Perfect. By the way, Peach is going to be waiting in the wings. I'm not, I'm just saying. You know, you're like, you understand I got to do this for us. And he's like, I get it. I'm not worried about it, Cecil. And then you, you marry Cecil. You mean this is like all just an insurance scheme? It's a long game. 
Yeah. Hmm. Kind of a long game. I'm starting to feel used. <laughs> the funny part about this is Ethan thinks that Cecil would have insurance. <laughs> Stupid. Mark Walters goes, nice comic book channel you've got here. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about comics earlier. But, you know. It's a slow news day. Yeah, it is. Slow news day. So there's no Cecil, no Anna. That's not going to happen. Sorry. I have standards and self-respect. Nah, I can take care of that. You can get rid of those. Ugh. <laughs> you might use some of those when you get older. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Kind of, they wither away with time. The wall. Everybody talks about Anna's the wall. Now, now Perth is writing Cecil and Chrissy Mayer. I just went to Chrissy's engagement party. I'm friends with her, her fiance. By the way, do you notice how Cecil immediately came in here and was like, I'm going to go hang out with Chrissy Mayer? Like, pointing out that he doesn't just travel all over the place just for Anna. No, it's, it's pointing out that I had a no, it's pointing out I had a party tonight because I had to move it to tonight. E 52s are coming up, Cecil. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, okay. LeBrock Lobster, man. Here comes a dog fish. Oof, oof. Motion in the ocean. Is there a house? Be cool. How's that okay, but not the Four Non Blonde song? Oh my God. B 52 is so much better than Four Non Blonde. <laughs> not even, I was going to say word for word what Cecil just said. B 52s are incredible compared to Four Non Blondes. And I'm not saying they're that great. Like, most of the B-52s songs are horrible. Like they could have been written by Bastix. Like, I mean, their entire first album is like, it's, it's nearly retarded, but it, it really is. It's actually good. Like, there's the like, real uh, B-52s are way better for the Adrian Stone. Yeah. Way better. Give me back, give my, give me back my man is one of the best fucking songs. Um, it's about a shark attacking a boyfriend, and she's like, I'll give you fish. <laughs> give you candy. Is it about a shark? I'm pretty, you sure it's a, I'm pretty sure it's about a shark eating a girl's boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. I, didn't, I never would have thought. I don't think so. I, I think you're wrong. Let's look at the lyrics together here, Cecil. It's a really good theory, but I think they're just being arbitrary, like oh so random. Well, why she want to like, give a, give you fish to leave me my man alone? She cuts her hair and calls his name, wishing everything uh, could be the same. Cuts her hair, calls his name, like when she had him. I'll give you fish. I'll give you candy. Why would she give a fish or a shark candy? I'll give you everything I have in my hand. Walking out of Corvette's package in her hand, motions to all the seabirds, throws divinity on the scent, becoming more and more. Like, uh, you're right. I'll give you fish. Heads in a whirlpool, spinning around and around. If she don't get her man back, she's going to drown. I don't know. Um, that's a metaphor. You think this is about a shark? I think it's about a girl going down to the beach and asking for her boyfriend back to a shark that ate her. I think the shark represents another chicken. The shark might be another girl. Stint says, is Cecil actually Peaches? No, I've met Peaches. Yeah, I think I've seen a picture of him. In the same room? No, I mean, Cecil's clearly not Peaches. Like, I, I think I've seen a picture of Peaches. And he looks like, a, from what I saw, Peaches looks like a pretty boy. Kind of a, he looks like, the, he, like Cecil's seen some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> He just doesn't look like he has. Like, you know, he I'm looks like. About yeah, yeah, me too. But, but I mean, he just looks like he'd be in a boy band, or he'd be trying out what? for the boys. Oh, that's good. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Like I'm, I'm going on to try out for the boys. Okay, yeah, he's never seen Peaches then. What's up? And he's gonna go out there. So I wake up in the morning and I step outside and I <laughs> dance in there. And then everybody turns around in their chair, like, you know, oh my God. Anyway, he looks like, he looks like that. And he looks like, he, 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 he just looks nothing like a boy band guy. <laughs> he looks like he, well, I mean, 
Yeah, he does. He looks like he would stand in for. He looks like he would be on. A, I don't think you've ever pool. seen Peaches. Now that, I mean, I know I've shown you guys a picture, but I don't think you've ever seen him. Now that you're describing him this way. No, he's good looking. He's he's like a. I would say he's pretty. Stay the fuck away from him, Cecil. Yeah, he, he's like a. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't describe him as boy band, but he's definitely like a prettier guy. Yeah, like he'd be in the. He'd be like in the Jonas Brothers. How you deep? I mean? like, yeah, he looks like he's one of the Jonas Brothers. Hmm. That he's what? What do you think of that, Anna? I didn't hear you. Yeah, I said he. He looks like he's in the Jonas Brothers. No. He does. Hold on, let me show you the Jonas Brothers because there are people who don't know, and, and Anna doesn't know. I went to a Jonas Brothers concert. You went to the Jonas Brothers concert? Yeah, my friend had an extra cool. ticket, so I went with her. All right, so this, Ooh, is, this is what Peaches looks like for people who don't who don't know. And what Jonas Brother are you saying my boyfriend looks like? I'm telling everybody uh, this is what this is what they look like. Here, talk to you. Yeah. Here, like right here, like any one of these could be Peaches. Any no, one of these guys. He looks like Keanu Reeves if he was shorter and hairier. No, no, no. These guys think they look like Keanu Reeves too, but they don't. They look like the Jonas Brothers. And Peaches looks like he's in the Jonas Brothers. No, he doesn't. I see what you're saying, but he, he does look like uh, Keanu Reeves a little more. A little more than this? Yeah. And does he have a twin? So there's like two of them. Uh, his twin and him aren't identical. They're paternal. They look like I literally mean, nothing alike. He has diabetes. So what? Good. I know. That's right. He has somebody, diabetes. somebody wrote Cecil is Lou Pearlman and and Peaches is Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Blue Thunder for ten dollars. Little Angel go away. Come again some other day. The devil has me here today. I'll never hear a word you say. You promised I would find a little solace and some peace of mind. Whatever. You know those lyrics? No. It's not B-52s. It, it probably is the B-52s. No, it isn't. I know every B-52 song. That's not it. I know every single oh, B-52 song. A perfect circle, as someone said in the chat. Oh, that's there. Okay, that's the band, A Perfect Circle. I'll give you fish. I'll, I'll give, give you candy. I'm going to go see them. I hope they play that song. That song? You think they will? Oh, that's, that's from their first album, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I love the B-52s. When I was like a kid, and you know, it was great, man. I'm sad that they're going to go away, but they, they really do need to leave. <laughs> I mean, they haven't done anything. Uh, they haven't done anything good in a while. What was the last time? 90s, really, right? I mean, they had a kind of a comeback. Yeah. They, uh, Kate did that song with Iggy Pop. That was kind of a big hit. Yeah. Uh, she did yeah, a couple I, things I, with the with the REM, too, I remember. They're all from Georgia. They're just very, very gay. Like, I mean, very gay. I was I mean, very gay. You ever listen to uh, Fred Schneider? He had a channel on Sirius. No, I didn't know that. And uh, he was telling stories of, like, how he came out to his mother. How he came out to his mother? Yeah, and he's, like, he's like been was agonizing over it and like he's like finally he's like mom i have something to tell you and you know blah blah, blah i'm gay and she goes he goes she just looked at me and goes oh freddie we knew that <laughs> <laughs> like, I did not know this it's like yeah he's the guy like it's like they knew it's like we knew that when you were three yeah, he, he said, i'm gonna get going but thank you for having me on and uh, thank you you are welcome Sheila. thank you for being here it was fun and it congratulations, Cecil and Brian. What's going on? Sheila is saying goodbye. Bye, Sheila. Yeah. There's a monster in my pants, Santa and it does a nasty dance. When it sees the light of day, it can hear the people say, Go monster. away. 
See, so let's not go to this show. I don't think I can go. I'm going this weekend to see New Order and uh, Pet Shop Boys, though. So that's oh, I've seen them, but I've saw them <laughs> years ago. Yeah, I'm going to go. So I'm in the third row. It's going to be fun. You know. Uh, Stuck It says, uh, one fish, two fish, black men ain't Jewish. What? What are you talking about? Jewish. And the black Israelites, man. My favorite part of New York City. Yeah, yeah. They're out there. They're good, man. I like what they do on the streets. What? <laughs> Remember when they pushed that feminist? Yep. Well, <laughs> they got her arrested. That was funny. That video. Was they are literally funny. like, you know, the guy in the dunk booth that like, hey, you, you know what I mean? They insult you as you go by. So you try to hit them with the fucking ball in the dunk like, that's all they do is troll people on the street. They're dressed like fucking Klingons, and they're just screaming, like, the mo- the worst insults at everyone. New Yorkers know just they just smile and walk past them, but the tourists are just like, what did you say? You know, they get, like, in it, and then they're just like, yeah, the next thing you know, the tourist is being arrested because they start attacking the black Israelites. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Rag Blue Thunder, wow, thanks for $20. Uh, bales of cocaine falling from low-flying planes. Uh, I don't know who done dropped them, but I thank them just the same. Bales of cocaine falling like pouring rain. My life changed completely by the low flying plane. I don't know that song either, but I like it. Yeah. Sounds good, man. Imagine if cocaine just fell from the sky like that. You know, it would be, uh, I've never had any cocaine, I don't know, but I have a feeling if I did have cocaine, I'd really like it. You got a nose for it. Oh, <laughs> I have a real problem with it. Anna, would you would you try cocaine? Um, I would. I haven't though. You haven't? No, I haven't. Uh, but I would try it. I have. I heard it doesn't last very long though. It doesn't it last long. How long does a cocaine high last? I'm, 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 I thank God I never took for me. Like, I don't like it. Like, for me, it lasts too long. I just want it to wear off. I don't like being like jittery and buzzed up and amped up. I like to be mellowed out. So I always, I never, and I, but I have, but I would, I would also stay awake for days because I was an insomniac and just stay up drinking. But, uh, so I hung out with a lot of cokeheads who would stay up for days and they would just assume I was on coke, but I, I wasn't. Where's that video of them yelling at the woman? And uh, I know it's like the greatest moment ever. And I cannot find this video. Some of the best videos ever uh, on YouTube happened in 2016, 2017, like during Gamergate, uh, right after the election. I try to find them now, and I can't find them. Uh, damn it! I'll find it later. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make that part of my opening. I think. Oh, they are black Israelites. Yeah, yeah, yelling at the feminist tone, uh, whatever it was. It was just great. Uh, all right, I want to I wanna get up and uh, go have a morning. I'm going to make sure these kids go to school. I want to thank Cecil for being here. I want to thank Anna for being here. I want to thank Vicky for not being here. Vicky didn't show up. Vicky's harassing everyone again, like Eric July. Stupid. She's back at it? Yeah. Stop. Like it, it's like, for what? What are you doing? She has like, no life. That's like her only thing to do. Also, she gets some attention from it. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She, You pick your level of whatever celebrity you could get a reaction from. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is the high... Eric, Eric responds to all of them, too. Right. He really so he hasn't he, learned yet. He's pretty... Fa- he, you know, so he's a pretty high, you know, famous... Like, I mean, in, in a small world, but still, he's very, you know well-known, and she and she could get a personal reaction from him. That's a thrill. It is a thrill, I guess. Yeah. This guy just, yeah, this guy just sold three, you know, four million dollars worth of, oh, and, and he's responding to me. I must be special. <laughs> I must be amazing. All right, listen, everybody in the chat, have a great day. Later tonight, we're going to launch the Cyberfrog action figures campaign uh, for the variant action figures. It's going to be fantastic. I got to get that going. Uh, you guys are the best, and I will see you uh, for Comic Skate Kings tonight. Bye, Cecil. Bye.
Mm-mm-mm. What do I do here? It's six o'clock in the morning. Do I start my fucking day? Or do I go back to sleep? And ruin the day. I don't know. I'm gonna be here for another few hours, so you you don't have to finish this all today. I need to get as much done because I have to drop it off tomorrow. You mean Monday or Tuesday? Today is Monday, so I have to drop it off on Tuesday. Okay. I always feel like... Huh? I'm always like, the night is the night before. Yeah, but... Cecil has to drive a school bus. It's three o'clock, not six. For her, yeah, but for me, it's six. How do you think it looks so far? It looks like a girl. Like a girl. Looks good. Did you show this sort that you're uh, what you're painting? Yeah, earlier. I said I'm just going to paint her in the moon with uh, like wolf-like eyes. And so... You give her one little patch of fur. Like where does your hair on your face grow first when you... Shush up. Give her a five o'clock shadow. I want people to be smart enough to get it. Yeah, people say give her a goatee. That would be nice, yeah. No, I want her to be pretty. Ugly werewolf. I could easily do it. I just don't want to. Maybe I'll start sketching. Yeah, your Cecils? I gotta sketch my Cecils. How many of them are you gonna sketch? A few hundred. How many have you done? Three. How long does it take? <laughs> I've done, uh, I don't know, like 60. That's not bad. How long does it take you to do one, though? I'll start one right now. Well, I'm doing it in like stages, probably total five to ten minutes each. That's not bad. Uh, Anna is painting a Sheila Aliens portrait for Cecil. That's what this is, yes. Is Sheila Ginger? No, she didn't. Uh, someone in the chat said, you know, said that this looks like Sheila, your painting. Oh, it does? <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't really know what Sheila looks like. She always has the, um, the filters. Not the best side. <laughs> I mean, she's pretty. Like, even, like, with, like... Based on having the filters that she used, you can tell that she's still pretty underneath the filters. Was J Doll still stream sniping me? Let me see. Um, let's see. Yep. I'm still watching you. <laughs> I got my eyes on what the hell are you doing, woman. <laughs> it ain't a damn thing. Well, did you hear what he just said? No. 
He's like, yeah, I'm watching. I got my eyes on you, woman. <laughs> you can't get away, Thana. Who else is stream snap? Is it just him now since Ethan stopped? It's just him. Uh, Jay's the best. Him. What's up, Jay? Everyone say uh, happy birthday to Lord Finatra. Happy birthday, Lord Finatra. Everyone that's watching in this stream, the stream snipe. Lord Finatra is <laughs> the one that makes the music. Tell him happy birthday. Happy birthday to Lord Finatra. Ah, uh, his birthday. Uh, Everyone that's watching this. I said, it's crazy. I said, the, I said to shout out to him without even trying to earlier. I didn't know it was his birthday. Hey, I'm going to send a special shout out happy to him birthday. right there. I didn't know that, man. Oh, now he's getting it back. I gotta, I gotta turn off the song. Anna, you were getting stream sniped twice tonight. I know my little itty bitty painting streams are getting stream sniped. <laughs> All right, see, I finished one. Congratulations. You know, it would actually be cool to win this because I've never won a, like an art contest before. Well, you're I mean, just, I kind of, I you're just not very good. Huh? Well, you're just not very good. That's why. I know. Try better. I am. I'm interested to see what other people come up with. This part is always a pain in the butt. So how are you enjoying freedom? I'm very happy. I'm yeah. walking around very with a sense of relief. It went on for fucking ever. I just like I know. You should have done like a celebration stream. Like well, on your own channel. Uh, well maybe I'll do the Jack show will be a celebration this week. Will we even be there? Because aren't we? I asked the guys if everyone's saying like where we're all going to be, but I don't think any of them are. Except you already said it, so. I'm not really announcing it now. So. Oh, well, you already fucking announced it. No one knows what you're talking about. Okay. How long were you married, Cecil? Too long. Just say Cecil makes bad decisions. That's coming from me. <sighs> I got, I got, yeah. You know, I mean, I did get married in Vegas, so it's not really the best spot. A real human boy, someone can be cruel to the point of being Richie Dupe. You are correct. He said, Some women can be cruel to the point of being evil. No fucking shit. I just described your life almost to a T. Did I paint the other half of her face like a wolf? I mean, sketch it out first, see what it will look like. Okay. I'm sure I could do it just fine. I 
ask the chat, put a one. Do you guys want me to sketch the other half out like a werewolf? Or two, if you want me to just leave it where her eyes are the only wolf thing. Uh, she's will be married to a person of color. No. Uh, some Vegas marriages have outlived their healthy state within the day. <laughs> Uh, was she a hottie or not? She's good looking. Uh, is she leaving your real name? Yes. I know. Don't you think if you came up with like a fake name, you would have came up with something better than Cecil? <laughs> What's the answer? One or two? Did you ask them for a one or a two? Yeah, do you want, one would be uh, to make the other half of her face like a wolf and two to just leave it the way it is or like just paint it where her eyes are the only wolfy thing. His name is Cecil Jones. Can you put a peen on her forehead, says uh, Christopher? No, I want it to be pretty. Let's put the shadow, like. No, you degenerates. Oof, Cecil's noises. The noises are the marker on the uh, paper. That's what you're hearing. I can't even hear it. And it's that squeak of marker on paper. Oh, I hear it. I guess it's irritating some people. I'm good at irritating some people. Yeah, particularly your ex-wife. Uh, Improv, he said it would be better if half of her face was an alien. An alien? Ooh, I'm not yeah. painting an alien, I'm painting a werewolf. You could change. I want it to be a werewolf. Because it's in a moon, like the wolves and the change of the moon. Aliens come from outer space, like the moon. <sighs> I don't want to paint an alien. That's not Halloween-ish. I want to paint a werewolf. I'm just, I'm just reading the chat. Don't yell at me. I know. I'm yelling at the chat through you. My sketches aren't getting any better. That's because you're not good. I should, I want to fuck. I want to enter one of them into your art contest, and I want to win. I would laugh if you did, because I think it was a child, so they would pick you. Well, yeah, I, I think I've told this story before, but I have a friend who's like a like an avid golfer, like you know. A, He's a scratch golfer, a club, club player. And we were at a uh, fucking mini golf out in a Montauk. And, you know, I I've, don't I've play golf. So he's super competitive. And, like, just by, just by like, uh, dumb luck, I got, like, two or three hole-in-ones. So now he's, like, fucking panicking because – it's just mini golf. Like it's, I, I couldn't recreate any of the shots, but now he's taking all these chances to get to gain. And he's like having meltdowns and I like destroyed him in mini golf. And this guy's a golfer and he's like flipping out. He's like, next game, what, you know, uh, I'll play again. I'll play again. And I was like, I'm not on me. I'm not going to play you. I'm never going to play you again. I'm like, I won and you're never going to get a chance to fucking Ever, and I like to this day when I see this guy, it's the first thing he talks about. It's it's like when I was like super competitive. Okay, Just, so what's the point of the story? Did you see this guy again? Well, it was the point of the story. Yeah, why did I get there? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. no, it's it's if I won the art contest you were in. Like I just I don't know. I've never won an art contest, and always like the ones that they pick always piss me off because I'm like that's not even good. 
Like it always made me mad. The ones that won. What are you wearing when you're dropping off these things? Whatever is the hottest outfit I own. All right, do that. Yeah, but see, that will work against me if the person that collects it is a chick. Hmm. Then just have a child to have the munchkin drop it off. She's not with us right now. She's with her mom. That's not a bad idea, though. That isn't a bad idea, actually. My name is Anna. Here are my paintings. They always pick the kids. <laughs> she comes dressed in her Star Trek outfit. <laughs> 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 I put on my uniform. It'll probably be a chick knowing Anna's luck. Yep. I would say don't do the wolf now because you're you've already it's going to add hours to it, isn't it? If you start doing half her face as a wolf. Oh, what did the chat say? I guess I should have done a poll. They were all saying one to do it. Do half the face as a wolf. But I'm saying you just like dumping more work on yourself for no reason. Just like that Hannibal Lecter mask. You, instead you did Phantom of the Opera. People like it. It came out awesome. But I'm just saying it was so much more work. Well, painting fur actually isn't as much work as it is to paint skin. Because skin, you have to like be very, very subtle, whereas fur, you can kind of just make it up. Like, see this? I'm having to, like, because she's not, like, old and she's pretty, the prettier a person is, the more pain in the ass it is to paint them. Because everything's subtle, and everything has to be gentle and delicate, and it's like, oh, my God. Whereas, like, ugly people, they always have very defined features. And so, that's why I tell everyone. I was like, the worse you look, the better the painting's going to come out. Because you have more to work with. Is that why you said it, I'd be a good subject for painting? Yes. That's why somebody's already painted you. <laughs> I always thought it was a compliment until now. The uglier you are, the easier it is to paint. It really is. And honestly, the better the painting comes out because you have so much to work with on an ugly person. Or a pretty person, they're such a pain in the ass because their features are so precise. And if you do something, it like takes away from the prettiness. It's like, oh my God. So yeah. Hmm. It's like when girls are like, I don't want to send you a picture of my eye without makeup on. I'm like, the uglier you think you look in real life, the better the painting will be. And they're like, what? And I'm like, yes. And so they're like, okay, I'll send you my eye. And then they do. Yeah, I find it, even these drawings are pretty easy to do. Of my face. Maybe I'll go to the gym early. You gonna talk to the Brazilian chick? She they go around seven at night having a friend. I like how you know their gym schedule. Well, I'm on the same kind of schedule. I see them a lot. How many times a day do you go to the gym? Mostly just once. 
What kind of workouts do you do? Today is bench press. He uh, just won't do that if I'm there. He won't? No, because I'm such a fucking creep. <laughs> what, do you mount him? No, I just stand there and stare very awkwardly. And people are like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. I, you know, I did bench rest uh, on Sunday. No, I'm, today is shoulders. Today is shoulders. Did you see any of Flashcast? Oh, wait, no, maybe it was on a. Uh... It was on Jack, where the, the yeah, guy just. The guy with the shoulders. That, that was... shit was fucking funny. It is like the most dramatic thing you can do, though. Yeah. You could, yeah, it changes like the way clothes sits on you and stuff. Wait, that was funny. That guy, he had like no muscle tone at all except for two giant shoulders. And they showed him in a t shirt and he looked great. And without it, he was like, it's too late by then. The guy, I know, he figured it out, man. That was the great. Hack, the workout hack just do shoulders. How's your hobble? My house? Hobble. Like with your foot. Oh, I thought like I was saying hovel with like with a V. Uh it's getting better. I'm at the exactly at the six week point. It's, it's been it's, six weeks in Montsuri. Yep. Or does it feel sooner or longer? No, I know. I don't know. Just I, I just have it's 12 weeks before I can, you know, start using it again. Start using I'm not it. As, I'm not as gimpy as I was. The problem is it's not hurting as much, but that's when you re-injure it because you kind of forget that you have an injury. So the guy's like, whatever you do, just don't use your foot normally for 12 weeks. You got You have to just walk on your heel. Don't roll. So around. you're hobbling around. Much less. Like you couldn't, you don't notice it that much. I mean, you'll notice there's a limp, but it's not like it was last time you saw me. I bet that's a great chick magnet. Um it starts conversation. Some people are like, hey, what happened? I said, well. Do you lie and say that you were in the war? <laughs> I know. I say it. <laughs> The drunk idiot in Houston, and then you just laugh. It's like there's no cool story that go along with this. Yeah, there's no. I should have a cooler story. I had to run out and push a kid out of the way of a moving bus. I was live streaming like a jerk off and fucking stepped off of it. We should go back and watch that one day because I was in. We should watch it on the Jack show. I've never, I've never watched it back ever. I've but never I watched it. It was just kind of like how you said when I was high, and like everyone was texting you. I was walking around Montsuri trying to like find you, and everyone just like Cecil fell and broke his foot, and I was like, where? And I was like, I'm gonna have to text Biggins because there's no fucking way I can carry you. I was sure there was going to be bone sticking out of my ankle when I looked down. It was that much pain. It was only a matter of time. It sucks because I really want to like run. Like it's the best weather in New York right now. It's like low seventies, mm -hmm. like fall weather. High high sixties, low seventies. I just want to run now. Were you going to run to the crack hats? To where? The crack houses. Don't they have I'm crack in a, houses? I'm in, a, I'm in a very nice area of Long Island. <laughs> it's a crack house. But houses. it's New York City. Aren't there crack houses? 
Yeah, but that's like, you know, that's miles away. Where are the bad neighborhoods in New York? The boroughs are, are turned into shit, which would be... Aren't you in a borough? No, I'm on Long Island. I'm out of the. I'm out of New York City. Okay, so if you're in New York City, where's like the worst place that you don't want to be? Um, where's the worst crime? There's a lot of shit happening in Manhattan right now, which is crazy. Isn't Manhattan a nice one? Yeah, but I would say the entire, people are saying everybody's got a different answer. Queens, Brooklyn, the entire city. Yeah, it's really the entire city. Brooklyn South. Yeah. I, don't know, a, the, I don't know. The Bronx hasn't been making the news lately, but are you on locals, Anna? Yeah. Oh, okay. Someone put your link in. Yeah, I've had a locals. I have. I need to make an appointment with the guy that like runs it. He hit me up. I'm like banned on Patreon, so I'm like, I gotta do something. Yeah, start doing getting revenue streams. What? Increase your revenue streams. Yeah. Uh, how's Staten Island these days, Cecil? I haven't been to Staten Island in a long time. What's in Staten Island? It's just a neighborhood that's between Brooklyn and New Jersey. I had a lot of friends that moved out to Brooklyn. I don't know why. But they're like, we want to go to Brooklyn. I'm like... That's fun. What's fun about Brooklyn? No, it's like there's just a lot of going on. Like if there's, you know, restaurants, bars, nightclubs... Wouldn't that be like everywhere in New York? Yeah, which but which borough is the best one? Which what? Which borough is the best one? I'd rather live on Manhattan than Brooklyn, but it would probably be Manhattan, Brooklyn. Why would you rather live on Manhattan? Because I just like it's like everything's more like a neighborhood. Which one's uh, the most expensive? Manhattan. Because it's the fancier one? There's some nice places in, in Brooklyn, too. Really nice. I think one of my aunts but, lived but in Manhattan. Manhattan. Manhattan is definitely uh, more fancy. Yeah, one of my aunts lives there, I think. The one that died? Right. You should have went. I was going to, but it depended on my mom. I could introduce you to that cousin I told you about. What's your problem? No, remember he's the the one. Oh guy. yeah, 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 yeah. That would have been cool. I impressed Cecil, everyone, with some of my family connections. Anna's got like erudite family. In New York City, this this <laughs> hick, this hick from a ranch in California has some pretty like well known Manhattanite family members, like old school blue bloods. Cecil was thoroughly impressed. <laughs> I was absolutely amazed that you that <laughs> part of your family. I'm like, these are like famous New Yorkers, rich. It's all Cecil cares about in my rich family members. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I was like, yeah, come to New York. Let's in introduce me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to go party at their yacht clubs? Fuck yeah. Are you still in touch with any of them? Though? Would they know who you are at this point? I don't know who I am. Um, but it'd be more through like my mom 
they remember me from when I was little, little, like a baby. Because I was like the family baby because everyone else was old. And my mom decided to have babies in her 40s. So they remember my dirt uh, eating days. They remember me being a monkey. I The one that died apparently like really liked me. Like I guess she wrote like in one of her books the characters about me. Hmm. Uh, Pantheon said Annie should add two small fangs. It would change it, and it won't look like a vampire, but a werewolf changing. I think you see how, like, I'm going to add the fur, I think, on her oh, face. I think so. I think it'll look better. Because it's really fast as compared to... I was going for settle, but I'm like, people are very stupid, just like Cecil, and they won't get it, so. Huh? I don't get it. Exactly. I saw that Rini and uh, Eric both announced the art contest today. They both entered? No, they like announced. Oh, yeah. It's oh, they had an art contest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Rini's got like a fiendish one, and Eric's got a uh, isome one. Oh, so that's what Vicky was trying to say. Don't enter it because Eric's going to have your address. What the fuck do you think he's going to do with it? She says that they're going to get docs. And I'm like, if they want to do an art contest, they're they have, to. have the information. What, I mean, you don't have to give the real name. You can give like a pseudo name and then just have like a P.O. box. And I'm like, oh, how terrible Eric's going to pay you and credit you for your work. What a terrible thing he's doing. Think he's what do you think Eric's going to do? This guy's the, probably the busiest person. He has, has something that blew up beyond his wildest dreams. You think now he's going to fucking start going through people's addresses and find out who he's going to stalk? Like, he's got no fucking got time for that shit. It's so stupid. He's fucking like, yeah, uh, in the middle of this, I'm going to start stalking people. I'm going to start stalking the people that pay me. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of retarded. Pseudoname? Yes. Most people say pseudonym, but she says pseudoname. Did I say it wrong? Yes. Fuck you. Vicky versus big time retarded. Yes. I like it whenever Flash goes after her. I just sit back with a uh, popcorn because it's so funny. Like how they found out about like her living in like a fucking homeless people shelter. And it's like instead of getting a job, you fight with people on Twitter. And you have like the balls to like judge everyone else. Like what a loser. She's out of her fucking mind. I know. Like, it's it's like who obsesses over like indie comic like you know what I mean of all the things in the world to get obsessed over. It's like, oh, here's an indie comic creator. Let me let me just fucking I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand like all the detractors. I just don't get it. I know. Let me see. What color wolf should she be? Should I just stick with the red? A ginger wolf. Yeah, like reddish brown. Uh, uh, uh. I figured I could leave her as a redhead because they don't have a soul. And I figured if you became like a werewolf, you kind of lost your soul. 
Let's see. See, there's a thought process behind this. I hate that I ordered clothes and it's taking like weeks to come. Dude, same. I ordered like a new leather jacket and it's taking for fucking ever. Okay, I ordered something on August 31st that I wanted to wear this weekend. <laughs> it's still not here. And I what doubt it. Order? Just clothes. Like what kind of clothes? Uh, shirts. New mm -hmm. shirts. And I was like, now I'm pissed. I'm like, I doubt it's going to get here. I typed in werewolf face onto Pinterest. Ooh, that's a good eye. Maybe I'll paint the eye like that. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see. Should have painted this side of the face first. Oh well. It was funny. I was talking to someone about Star Trek. And yes, I'm talking about my dad. But um, so me and my dad are talking. And what should I call it? Because when I was in um, my hometown for the Festa, I was telling my dad about how we might be somewhere where William Shatner might be and whatnot. Because, well, first we were talking about cars and whatnot. And then, because every guy in my family is excited because I'm shopping for trucks right now. So everyone all of a sudden became extremely interested in my life. And I was like, oh, that's funny, cousin. I haven't talked to you in forever, but now you want to ask me about my truck purchases. But so I was telling my dad, I was like, oh, yeah, I might get to meet uh, someone from Star Trek soon. And we were talking about like the one episode with Khan because then it was like the 40th anniversary. And I was like, Dad, did you go see it? And he's like, no, the only person that would go with me is you. <laughs> and you weren't here. And then um, in that episode, like the chick that Khan marries or like likes, she paints. And my dad was like, I remember when you were younger and you were bitching about the way that she painted because she didn't paint it. Obviously, it was someone else that painted it, like the stagehand. But the person that did most of those paintings is left-handed. And you can tell by the way that, like, it's painted. I remember my dad, he's like, you were used to bitch about that. <laughs> and he's like, nobody would have noticed that but you. And I was like, yeah, and it still bothers me. Because she's very obviously right-handed. Oh, my God. What? Nothing like, yeah, you're driving your father insane, like over analyzing the painting that's just a background prop for the fucking. Other, other, wait, who finds that she's painting Khan? He does. He goes he to her like, room. He's like, bitch. And then he jumps her. He's like, yeah, man. Like, you're into me sitting around painting pictures of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he's just. He says something about how he's like, oh, you know, like, man, like, men like that take what they want, and then he kisses her. Yes. Which, I mean, yeah, he takes what he wants. But I just, my dad was like, because when I was a kid, I used to, if grown-ups, like, kissed and stuff, I'd be like, ew, and I'd make them turn off the TV so people would get irritated with me. But I remember or my dad's just like, He's like, you weren't even, like, annoyed at, like, the kissing like you usually were. He's like, you just, you were so mad that, like, that was a left-handed person that painted it. And they did it wrong. Oh, you want to know something super depressing? Sure. When I was at my mom's, 
she is like, oh, I found like some pictures of you and like your sister to take with you. And so I was like, okay. So I was looking through them already thoroughly depressed. So when my grandma found out that she had cancer again, she wrote all of us letters because I, I, she knew that she wasn't going to make it through it at the, that time. And so she wrote us all letters. And so I got to read my letter that she wrote me. And I'm like, oh, my God, because she knew she was going to die. And I was like, ugh. And then I read the one that she had wrote to Ellen and then the one she wrote to my other sister. And I was like, ah, because my other sister wasn't born yet. And they didn't know if it was going to be a boy or a girl. So she's like, just to the baby. And I was like, oh, my God. So it was very How sad. much crying did you do? A lot. That is so sad. But how long ago? Well, she died years ago, though, right? Yeah, but my mom just found these. She was, like, going through, like, a box that she never went through because she's just, like, my mom and her mom are really close. So. That's yeah, crazy. She really never saw those through. letters until recently. Somebody left death letters and never got to the people's hands. No. And she had them Well, that's you. the thing. I'm like, Ellen never got to read it. And, well, I always thought that Ellen remembered her. Because, I mean, I remembered her and Ellen was, but Ellen was a baby because I had asked her. I was like, do you remember grandma? And she's like, no. And I was like, I could have sworn you remembered grandma because you were there. And she's like, Anna, I was like less than a year old. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, that's awful. She never got to read the letter. No. So what grandma say? Um... Well, she just, she said that she liked getting to know me while she could and that she was sorry that she wasn't going to be there. And uh, she said that I always uh, had my dolls and that she liked playing with my dolls and that I always was good and that I always cleaned up. But then she said <laughs> one of the things I loved reading or I loved grownups reading to me because I couldn't read. And so my dad always talks about this. He's like, I would wait. Until, like, the second a grown-up sat down, I would run over to them and I'd shove a book in their lap and I'd, like, demand that they read to me. So all the grown-ups wouldn't sit down whenever they were around me. And But, like, my dad, he's like, you would wait until the perfect time when I was sitting down. And he's like, you would just shove it right into my gut and, like, be like, read. And so she wrote about that, how I always wanted her to read. And I was like, uh, Grandma. Because she used to watch me every single day. Like, my mom didn't work, but she would just go drop me off so that way I could spend time with my grandma. But, I mean, when I was a kid, I, rem I knew that she was, like, there was something wrong. Because she would give me, like, ice cream. But one day she gave me pure mayonnaise because she loved mayonnaise, but she got the ice cream and the mayonnaise confused. So she gave me a bowl of like pure mayonnaise. Oh and God. I remember like I sat there and I ate it because I didn't want her to be embarrassed. Oh, that's the sweetest story. <laughs> what? That's so. Well, she was like always really embarrassed because she had like breast cancer. So she, when she had to have like one of her like boobs removed, so she got like a fake boob so that way it didn't look like she was missing one. And she would wear um, like wigs because she was like super self conscious about her cancer. So I knew that if like I said, like, Grandma, you gave me mayonnaise instead of ice cream, like she was going to get like sad so i didn't want to make my grandma sad so i ate it oh yeah. that's really sweet i would never do that <laughs> i love my grandma <laughs> i'd be like grandma it's a fucking well you know what's funny is like she loved frogs and so she painted like I guess they were like randomly painting the kitchen and like my grandpa was like really mean. So he wouldn't usually do that kind of stuff, but he's like, well, my wife's dying of cancer and she wants to repaint the kitchen. I might as well like let her repaint the kitchen. And I remember like one day he just stormed in the house. Cause like we 
painted the kitchen like lime green because she loved frogs and she had like a huge frog collection. And I remember him like just storming in and he's just like, you painted it green because of the fucking frogs. <laughs> and then he walked out because I guess he randomly realized that's why his kitchen was like an ugly lime green. And I was like, I knew that. Like, why else would grandma want it to be like, I'm, I'm not even kidding, like literal bright lime green. Did he keep it after she died? Uh, yeah, for a while, and then he died too, so. Because then I, I mean, would feel. He was one of those guys that like, once it's like that, it's like that. Oh, it's going to stay green forever. Well, the house got like bought by like the school that it was connected to, and then they tore it down. So it's not there anymore, but. Retro Gamer says, you're making me sad because I miss my grandma now. Yeah. So let me get this straight. You would eat a bowl of mayonnaise to not insult your. My Red. beloved grandmother, no. <laughs> but the ice cream was right there. I know, but I, I just... You like mayo? No, I don't. I don't like any sauce. Oh, yeah. That's right. I know, but it was just... It would have... It would have really broken her if she knew that she gave me that instead of the ice cream. You know, she was already doing really bad already. Like, that was, I think she died, like, that month. Oh. Yeah, but no, I... My grandma died. She, like, yeah, she used to, like, answer the phone when the doorbell would ring, like, that's the end. Like the doorbell would ring and she'd like walk over and be like, hello? Well, there's no one here. Uh, what did she die of? Like just old age? or She died of emphysema. She was going a little bit, but she she made it to 90. and uh, But she was like a lifetime smoker. She would have lived to be like 110. Or, like she, she was still feisty, but she just her lungs gave out. Mm. You didn't want to donate one of yours? FPS. One of my what? Lungs? Yeah. I was young. I wasn't gonna. Oh. Uh, F F FP Sunny says, and I'm dying next month, and I don't know Star Trek. Cheer me up, please. <laughs> Good try. Uh, John, would you save? Would you eat a bowl of mayo to save Cecil? Yeah, save. <laughs> right. Hmm. I. <laughs> it wasn't to save my grandma. It was to not. Right her saying, she ate that just to not insult her. That's that's. <laughs> I was also like four years old. You'd eat a bowl of mayo to save my life, right? Right? That was the question on the table. I think it over. You know what, Cecil? Just for you, because I did it for my grandma. But that wasn't even to save her life. This would be a life saving one. <laughs> and still thinking it over. She was already dying, Cecil. That's why I did it. If she wasn't dying, I would have said something. But even like at four years old, I knew my grandma was going to die. Most monkeys like mayo, says Richie Duke. Most what? Monkeys. Well, I hate it. Uh, Pensive Damon says, did Anna turn mean when she turned five? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> She kind of looks like Mystique there. Because of the eye? Mm-hmm. I don't wear 
but now with the but now with the hairy face she kind of looks like you thank you Anna's seen a lot of death growing up on a farm. Yeah, no shit. She sat there in the fucking slaughterhouse drawing guts like a fucking <laughs> weirdo. I feel like my whole life's been surrounded by death. Uh, uh. Okay, Cecil, so this werewolf chick smash or pass. Uh, smash. Yeah, why? You like Plus, you get werewolf. Plus, you get werewolf powers. You want werewolf powers? If I can kind of control it. Uh, FP Sunny says, Anna, can you milk cows? I would guess yes. Yeah. If you grow up on a ranch and you don't know how to milk a cow, like, what a failure you are. You'd be absolutely useless if you didn't know how to. I'm going to go get a coffee. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, that's right. Like, when Melanie was talking about how she wanted to get like unpasteurized fresh milk. I'm like, just go to like a rancher and ask them. Uh, did you hear me? I'm, I'm going to get coffee. Yeah, I'm that. talking to the chat. Okay. Yeah, so right. Just go to a rancher. They'll sell it to you. You're just going to get like intense diarrhea for like the first, you know, week or two while you get used to it if you've never had unpasteurized milk. She kind of looks like a devil. I'm starting to feel like I should have done a black fur on her. I might do that. I think this is a little bit more striking, having it like this. Kind of like the eyebrow part, though. I like painting the, the hair. It's always fun. So this is going to be tripled, but I think. Hmm. When I go in and add the highlights, it's gonna look dope. As fuck. If I do say so.
when I was in uh, Washington, D.C. with my mom and my aunt and my cousin. Everyone was like, you need to go to the art place because they have a Leonardo da Vinci. But you guys told me the wrong fucking building, so I went in the wrong one. And they're like, it's in the other one. It's also about to close in like five minutes. So I didn't get to see it, but I got to see Salvador Dali's uh, Last Supper, which was incredible. And I also got to see, uh, whatchamacallit, John Singer Sargent. I can't remember the name of the piece, but if you like art at all, you'll know exactly who John Singer Sargent is. He's probably definitely one of the most skilled artists ever. And so I got to see that. And so that was really cool. It was beautiful. But like the exhibit was for some other artists. And I'm like, you have a little, you have a fucking John Singer Sargent here. And you're like worried about this other. And I'm like, are you stupid? And that's when you know the curator is biased. You have a whole exhibit about like the girl in the white dress. And I'm like, and you have John Singer Sargent here. Have you ever put butter in your coffee? Uh, no, I heard about that, though. Have you? No, I don't drink coffee, but no, uh, Melanie and uh, Nina and all the girls were talking about it. I need to turn this upside down so I can paint it. Oh, this looks better than I thought it was. It's come out good. Yeah, I'm glad I did this one. The fairy one, I'd be working on it forever. Wait, so you don't even know what the prize is? No, I just saw art contests. I mean, I could have asked them, but I didn't. So that's kind of on me. Do you want to say where it is or no? Yeah, yeah. So it's for the art... Um, art store kind of it's not by me but it's like one of the biggest ones in orange county it's called art supply warehouse and so they're having like a halloween i know they like put it up on the wall for all of october I just drink black coffee. I don't put butter in it. Why are we ta why are we guys talking about butter and coffee? Uh, cause Melanie's like obsessed with butter. Yeah, I can't believe you and Nick went for another two and a half hours after I left. I love Nick. That mofo doesn't shut up. <laughs> oh, he was he was going. He was so good that when I did my accidental face reveal. Like everybody freaked out, and he was just like, blah, blah, blah. I talked right over it. Like, he goes, It doesn't matter. Everybody was looking at me. That's what he said. I was like, This guy's. But then again, he's always met me. Like, for him, it's not a big deal because he's met me without my mask. Like, we didn't notice for like ever. I didn't either. I was, and I was like, Oh, fuck. I thought my camera was off because I was, I was tr trying to eat something. And I looked up, I'm like, ugh. People have already done, like, uh. Oh, I've seen it. I just haven't, like, promoted it. Because I'm like, you guys should, like, it was an accident. Respect his privacy a little bit. Somebody already started doing, like, uh, the face um, app things. Yeah.
Yeah, I was like, I'm fuck. <laughs> I'm really shocked. I did it so many times, blind drunk, blind drunk. And I can't believe. It. I mean, I was pretty drunk. Well, I think your inhibitions are a little bit down right now because, um, you know, your your shit's finalized. You finally kind of told people your story, so. I had like a couple comments of people going, oh, like Cecil made it years without ever like blabbing, like, and he's been belligerently drunk and he's never spilled the beans. So I think that's no, why. That's why I mean, I'm so shocked. I just kind of just like let it out. Like I've been even blackout drunk. I knew to keep my story straight, my mask on. Uh, no one cares about your face. You're already proven. Now you've got to bring it again if you want to. If you want to be drunk like Nick, I've tried. I've I've drank with Nick many times, and I could swing with him. We've gotten drunk in real life. Yeah. Let me see. Somebody somebody sent me one today that was No, it was on Instagram. Oh, I was I, I'm officially down seventy pounds from where my high was today. Okay. You act like I care. I care. Okay, cool. Fuck you. I liked you better <laughs> fat, so I mean, I don't... You were more fun when you were fat and depressed. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah, you were, because when you were drunk and fat and depressed all the time, you were always worried about your own life. Now you're, like, giving me shit about my life. I'm like, fuck you, bitch, go... Eat a candy bar. Uh, Cecil does fast. Actually, yeah, I'm going to knock out my last, I'd say, 15 pounds now. And I, a saggy neck. No, 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 no. I know what to do. I just have to do, I have to just get my neck thicker, just do a workout. The other thing is I had to slow down because of that. It does suck, but. I have not um, like none, so it worked. I told Cecil if he loses weight too fast, his skin's gonna start to sag because he was so fat, and he's like, "What?" And then he's like, "Fuck, you're right." No, after I lost, after I lost like forty something pounds, I just plateaued there for a long time, and then once everything was good, like I went to the doctor for it because you don't want to get that shit. There's there's people who tell you how not to do it. Like I'm losing, I'm going to end up losing close to a hundred pounds. So you got to really do it fucking smart. Otherwise. He wasn't otherwise, like Jeremy was like in shock when he saw you. Cause he saw you when you were like your fattest. Yeah. He probably saw me at my absolute fattest. Like that's when he met me. And then he saw me, he was like, holy shit. And I'm like at least 10 pounds lighter than that now from when I met Jeremy in Houston. So I have like the last 15 pounds to go. Oh, what ne work neck out? Uh, what neck workouts do I do? I, I have an iron neck. You look like a retard in it. It's the stupidest looking contraption, but that thing makes your neck fucking thick quick. I was thinking that my neck was thick because I don't know. I just feel like it looks bad. No, you gotta, your neck isn't, isn't thick, but you have good traps. I do like your traps. Yeah, my traps are intense because I know how to do shoulder <laughs> workouts apparently. But um, I have a, one of these like sewing things that like you put it around and it tells you your, your measurements. And I like I have it for sewing and like cosplay and stuff. And the munchkin was like, what is this? And I'm like, oh, it's like, do your measurements. And then 
Peaches was needing to buy a new suit. And he's just like, oh, let me try this and like see what my neck is. So he measured his neck. And then I measured my neck. And I was like, my neck is so fat. And then the munchkin measured her neck. And her neck was bigger than mine. Your neck isn't like, fat. I've well, seen I got, it. Uh, you're your own wish critic. But I was yeah, shocked. I was like, she's tiny. How is my neck smaller than hers? And we're like, what the fuck? They were all laughing at Rhetorical me. Rhetorical Giblet says, you have retard strength traps. She does. Me? She has like, you have good traps. I do. Uh, I swam for years. I would say the best, like if I'd give it any wordy workout advice, doing traps and shoulders is the most dramatic thing for a dude. I know Nick was pointing that out, but like, even when I, when I, like when I lost 40 pounds, I was still 30 pounds overweight and people are like, yo, you look great. And it's like, I'm fucking fat as fuck. But if you can like, if you could have some kind of form with shoulders and like trap gives a guy, you'll look so much better. Even if you're carrying a lot of weight, you'll look so much better if you have like thicker shoulders and neck. So, for anybody out there losing weight, just work the shoulders and fucking neck. <laughs> Anna, you're no Anna, you're Cecil's worst critic. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta motivate him. Oh, did, you didn't watch my my She Hulk video, did you? No, why? I don't know. I feel like I've lost my mind during that one. Gonna play it? No. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm painting. No, I'll play it in the background. Why do you want to play your own video on my stream? Because I haven't watched it. I just felt like I lost my mind. I did it in one take and just was fucking irate. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. It's so wonderful. Thank you. Lord Nemesis, no one ever told you you look great, Cecil. Thank you. I had, I saw a bunch. So anyway, I, I, I was saying I, the party got moved to my friend's yacht club today, and I saw a bunch of people that I haven't seen in a long time. And fucking. Were they like stoked to see you? Yeah, I had a good time. Yeah, are you gonna elaborate or just say that? Uh, well, I was back at a yacht club, which means I was getting free drinks. Because mm. because you can't you can't use money there, so it goes on the members tab. Why can't you use money? Because there's no there's no money. It just you it just gets billed to the members tab. So even if I wanted to buy a drink, I couldn't has to go on a member's tab. Ah, so you got a bunch of free drinks, basically. Yes. Those are your favorite well, kind of drinks. And I'm going to, I got invited to join a shooting club, which I'm going to join. I'm going to start doing competitive shooting again. Huh. What? I laughed at you. Why? Fatty's going to shoot. Fuck you. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I love you are. Fatty's gonna shoot? Fuck you. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Fatty's gonna shoot you, dumb bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, you know why? Because <laughs> you can't run, so you have to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh. <laughs> you Anna got it. That was pretty fucking funny. Anna is vicious. <laughs> I don't have my moments, but I have them sometimes. I, I do have my moments. I saw the comics gate is comics great post the one of like me saying the nose thing. Oh, yeah. About Nick. That was great. 
I know. We, first, of all, first of all, it's because you send a goddamn monstrosity to me every day, and you're sending those fucking, they're getting worse, Anna. They're fucking <laughs> so fucking bad. She sends this poor girl with no fucking nose. It's like she looks like Miss Pac-Man or something. I got, and I don't know, would you follow her? No, it just comes up on my feed. But the, you got to... Those people are posting that themselves. It's not like I'm finding stuff that like they didn't want posted on the internet and I'm sharing their content. I'm supporting them and I'm helping them in the algorithm. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did. I was like, why do I? Like I see things like message from Anna and I'm just like, why am I going to click on this? It's going to be some <laughs> fucking horror. You're welcome. There was a dog with the entire snout burned off that had his own Instagram, too. I was like, oh, my God. And then there's the ones that are born, like, I don't know, like, they look like John Carpenter's The Thing. Like, the dog's face is going in, like, four different directions. <laughs> and, you know, Anna, your soul is black. I know that. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Coffin nails, you'd think you'd be desensitized by now. She's, she's ups it. She does. She is like, in, she's getting worse. Like the shit's getting worse. Now she's sending those fucking pimple ones. <laughs> those fucking pimple ones, Anna. Enough of that shit. That girl. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Fucking girl's face today was like a, oh my God. God, his, his acne was black, and she, I was just like, "Yo, no, no." <laughs> but doesn't it make you feel better about yourself? It makes me feel bad about everything. It's it's just, oh my god. Cecil is starting to shake when his notification notifications go off. <laughs> no, but the thing is, she peppers in like real conversation, and then just out of nowhere. <laughs> So, you know what I mean? So you check because it could be something normal, like a normal person message. And then it's just that. And it's just like some girls like hot, like molten lava skin fucking, ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> there would be people that would love to get those disgusting messages from me. And you know what? You get them. Oh, wow. Fucking lucky. Feel fucking special, bitch. I mean, the kids with half their heads missing is just. They're posting those themselves. I'm just sharing it. I want you to be aware. Like, because you randomly, Cecil's just like, oh, I might want to have a kid. And I'm like, you get out of like the worst divorce anyone's ever been through. And now you want to go attach yourself to some other fucking woman, like a woman that's crazy enough to spawn with you. And like, this is what it could be like. Think about it. So you're saying don't have a kid because. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it, so you're just helping me out, giving me like the worst case scenario. Yeah. Oh my God. There's that one little girl. that's like a dwarf or something with like a melted face that you keep sending. That one fucking haunts me. <laughs> okay. I'll send you more. Sometimes she's in like a jumper and it's so creepy. It looks like a fucking melted doll come to life. It's so weird. Every fucking day with that one. <laughs> she's popular. Her <sighs> account's like huge. Uh, John, Cecil, did this start after the football head kid video on the Jack show? <laughs> You know what? It yeah. might have. Yeah. You know what? I brought this on, John. Very good point. I got that. This is my fucking. No, it was him joining Instagram. Oh, when I joined Instagram, I guess it's easier to share pics there. I don't know. I don't follow a lot of people. Uh, like, I, I only message a handful of people at this point. So. She's got like a captive audience with me. Like I only talked to her, I, like Ethan. I talked to Gundam today. 
You talked to Ethan on Instagram? I thought Ethan didn't know. No, 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 no. On the only people like I communicate with is a very small group of people at this point. You talked to Gunnam to get I told that bitch to give me the link to his feet only fans. Didn't respond. His feet only fans? Yeah, he like posted something about OnlyFans and I was like, when's your feet account coming out? Oh, by the way, um, remember I was going to do a show with quarterback, quarter black Garrett? Yeah. That's back on. He hit, oh, me, he hit cool. me up today, Wednesday, the 28th on his, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do some uh, movie reviews for Halloween. Oh, cool. What uh, movies? The first one's Return of the Living Dead. Oh, your favorite movie. Yeah. You're just excited about trash. Yeah. She had a big impact on my life. Was that the first time you saw boobs or something? Um, I, well, no, it wasn't the first, but... Something, there was something special about that Something time. special about that scene for, for, a, young, Jason for a young Cecil. Mm. All right, here, here's a deep fake. Oh, you, oh you can't, I can't fucking show you. Tara, raised from youth by a band of mercenaries called the Ravagers, led by Yandu. <laughs> it's weird. They, they did a, a deep fake of me as uh, <laughs> a Star Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. And it's weird. I look like. Uh, What's his name from The Office for some reason, even though I don't look like that guy at all? Michael Scott? Or no, Dwight? fucking Jim. Jim Helper? All right, here. Can you look at my screen? I mean, I can look at it. I don't it's want to show it. It's the weirdest picture. It is my face, but it doesn't look like me, but it is my face. Does this look like a werewolf? I hope so, yeah. Yeah, yay or nay? Yeah, it looks like a werewolf. What the... I don't know, I feel like it doesn't. You always, like, that's all you do, is you doubt yourself every time you draw something. You torture yourself. Well, I like the fang in the mouth. Is that what you just did? Mm-hmm. No, the chat's saying, yeah, yeah, it looks good. It looks like Chewbacca. Well, Chewbacca does look like a werewolf, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. I like this part. That part's a little much. Okay, yeah, that's better. All right, did you look at the picture? Hmm. Oh, you do look like Isn't that weird? Yeah. Oh. Jim Helper. Yeah, I don't think I look like that guy at all, but for some fucking reason, it's strange. No, it looks good. This this definitely looks like a werewolf, Anna. Don't worry. Are you actually still looking? I'm still drawing. Oh, yeah, I gotta bang all the shit out. I'm gonna probably. I, I think the Diaz brothers are gonna do fulfillment. Cool. I gotta you talk. Gonna What's that? You're actually gonna play them? Yeah, a lot. A lot. 
It ain't cheap. You're telling me. Well, you do it yourself, which is good. What, what's going on with the car, by the way? Oh, um. Well, I'm still pissed about that one place that tried to. Ah, right, you gotta get over that. Come on, let's go. No, I know I'm pissed about it, but I haven't had a chance to go look again. So I've been looking online a lot. There's one that I want. It's um from Carmax, but it uh it's in Texas, so I think I might see how much like it's gonna cost and if you I want to like, have them drive it back over here for me. I mean, there's got to be a fucking car in California. It's the, the there big, is, but I mean, it's... Like, bigger than most countries, California. It's like, you don't have to go to Texas for a fucking car. Well, no, it's just... um, Well, no, because it's like if they have it at the location, they'll they'll drive it out to you. It's just like the color I want. It's the model I want. It's, it's all of those things. Um... All right, so okay, finally so out of get... all three paintings, which one do you like the best? I've done the the skull, the crystal ball, and the moon now. Are you finished? No, 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 I'm not done. I'm just asking. This one came out like uh, surprisingly better than I thought at the beginning. I like that you brought in the uh, fur. I think it would have been too subtle just to have the eyes. Yeah, same. Dr. Coffinell's now is literally the worst time in history to buy a car. That is true. I know. My mom was like, just wait a couple months because she's like, you have Peaches' car, so you guys... And I'm like, yeah, I don't really go anywhere. That's why I'm saying, like, to buy a used car right now, you're paying top dollar. That's why I was trying to kind of push you for a new, just be um, just because even the, even if you just do it for three years, keep a lease or something, like you'll have a new car for a few years, and by the time you then after about three years, you can buy a nice used one or something. I like new cars. I know. Yeah, but I don't know. Now I'm like convinced that like maybe I should like wait a minute just because it like maybe they'll crash. It's kind of like the same thing with like the house market right now. Like buying a house right now would be a nightmare. Yeah, California is going to become unlivable in the next like ten years with all the regulations on cars and everything. You got to start. You got to start making your exit strategy with your mom. Maybe Texas is for you. I don't ever want to leave. They destroyed that place, fucking paradise. I know. Well, my mom was telling me about how now in like her county. They're like going to start charging people an extra tax if they have wells. So all the farmers are fucking pissed. Or they're going to tax everybody out of that state. Like everybody's getting the fuck out. I know. Uh, Mo Folk says it's already unlivable and I live here. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get out of New York fucking pretty soon. I'm really considering Tennessee. Tennessee's fucking awesome. But you have you're like an ocean person. I mean, I like being by the water. Dude, Nashville's so nice. It's not a county thing, Anna. It's statewide. Well, my mom was talking about it in her county. Yeah, I mean, there are like rules against like, I mean, they're just they're just regulating the state out of existence. Like, you're not going to be able to buy a gas car 
it's so fucking stupid. You're just at some point you're gonna just be like, like I'm at that point. I'm just like I just want to get the fuck out of New York. Like, and I and I really like New York, but. Uh, FP setting Cecil, did you see the guy with the axe in the McDonald's in New York? Yeah, I saw that. What happened? This guy pulled out an axe. And started, Why? Like, smashing tables. Oh, I mean, I don't know. He got into a fight with some guys, they, and he let them punch. This guy was a pretty big dude. He was pretty, like, uh, he was built. And, they, and these kids were punching him in the face. He's just standing there, and then he just opens his, you know, backpack and pulls out a fucking hatchet. Starts destroying the whole fucking McDonald's. Like, what did the McDonald's do? Nothing. There's a fucking maniac with a fucking axe. You just kind of like step back and let him do his thing. Well, no, I mean, like, why was he attacking the McDonald's instead of the people that were beating him? I, I don't think he wanted to kill them. He could have. Mm. But it's like New York is New York has become so fucking unlivable. Like it's just there's no repercussions. They've made like attempted murder a, a, a fucking misdemeanor. Armed robbery is a misdemeanor. Ima can you fucking imagine that? That's not even a felony anymore. Armed That's robbery. Crazy. They did the same thing in L.A. It's, that's why it's getting fucking out of control there. I don't live in LA. No, but it, you, you like, right. Like, so how far is LA from you? If you're driving. An hour. Okay. So, like, I'm going to Manhattan tomorrow. It'll take me maybe 45 minutes to get there. I just jump on the train and I'll be under lets me off at Madison Square Garden and Chrissy's studio is like a block away. Just walk. Mm -hmm. How is uh oh wait, you did Simpcast tonight? Yeah. You have the weirdest fucking hours too. I know. And I didn't phone it in. I talked a lot. The one time I miss it, you're actually talking. Yeah, we talked about, like, is it okay to beat your child? <laughs> and? What was um, it? What was the I didn't get, really give my stance on it. I just basically said if your parent beats you, that doesn't mean you turn into a bad person because my mom beat the shit out of me. And you don't think you're a bad person? No, I think I'm a different type of person, but I don't think I'm a bad person. I'll do another walking stream through Manhattan when I'm walking to the studio tomorrow. I did that last time. Christy gave me an open invite. She's like, you can come on any time to the wet spot. Oh, only to the wet spot? Um, I don't know. She usually, hit, she usually hits me up for her morning show, but I'm usually asleep. Mm. Like, I'll get, I'll get an invite, but I'll wake up and her show's already off. Uh-uh. What should I name this werewolf chick? Poochie. Poochie? Uh, would you have in mind? Mm -hmm. Usually let the chat pick. Holochrome Library. You've become the Kelsey of the Simcast, you know? Me? Yeah. No, she's there pretty much. You're pretty much always there. You're there a lot more than Kelsey's here. I know. Uh, name her Tulip, says Steve Giblin. No. That's um, my dog's name. 
<laughs> they were lassie. <laughs> That's good. Pensive mm -hmm. Raven. Bowie. Beverly. I lassie. She does look like a lassie. She's an Irish. I like Lassie. Okay, her name's Lassie. <laughs> well, you know Lassie's a dog, right? Yes. Okay. I don't know. I I did get the joke, Cecil. I don't know if like that's common knowledge anymore. Why would that not be common knowledge? Because it's from a fucking TV show from the fifties. So? I'm guessing there are people your age that have never heard of fucking Lassie. Have you not heard of Lassie? Oh, McShort says it's an Anna before and after hair removal. <laughs> oh, yeah, kind of. Actually, it's pretty close. Cecil is 80, confirmed. Is what? 80. Oh, yeah. Hey, were you alive when uh, Elvis was still alive? Elvis? Like, do, you, do you remember when Elvis died? Um, I remember when John Lennon died. How old were you? Probably like six months old. Sure. You do remember? Oh, well, it happened in New York. Was it like a big deal? It was a big deal all over the world when a beetle gets fucking assassinated. Was he your favorite beetle? I know Paulus. You ever met him? No, have you? Yes. <laughs> I knew you were going to work that into the conversation. He's tall. <laughs> uh... My brother was born the same day Elvis died. John, with the divorce, Cecil lost half his weight. Yeah. yeah. He's probably pissed. I'm down 70 pounds now, but if you add her in there, I'm down like 195. That's a lot of weight loss. Okay. Would you rather be in like the best shape of your life and all of a sudden overnight look like Brad Pitt? Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather that. Yeah. No, no, but you had to stay <laughs> married to her for the rest oh, of your life. Oh, fuck that No, no, no. <laughs> or would you rather be the fattest you ever were for the rest of your life and free of her? Oh. But there's no chance of you ever losing weight. Oh, man. Damn, man. <laughs> that's fucking harsh. Being that sh in that shape was like... <sighs> no, the only reason I was like even got in that shape is I was just so fucking depressed. Fucking, you know, undiagnosed, I guess. It was just fucking... Like a lot of my weight loss was just like once I got a divorce, I just wasn't stressed out and started dropping weight really quickly. Like without even trying really stress was gone um that was probably the best wood i don't know yeah i mean shit i mean i was i was fucking 260 i mean that's enormous <laughs> oh my neck and foot Oof, oof, oof. I don't know. Damn. That was good. I think I'm... Oh, I think I would stay with her and look like Brad Pitt. I think that would be a funner existence than being like... Because I couldn't live like that for long. Like, fucking that... Like... I had topped out, you know? It was like... Hmm. 
<laughs> that yellow spider eye. Hey, I'm 260. Well, get a divorce, man. You'll feel fucking great. He's probably tall, though. John, 260 when you met Jeremy in New York? Yep. Yep. Have you gotten any ladies hitting you up now that you've done a face reveal? Um, no, but people were very kind. <laughs> Unlike you, you bitch. <laughs> but uh, I'm honest. They're just being nice to you because they feel bad for you. Uh, Cecil, you were headed for the grave, man. Yeah, I was like just killing myself. Drinking, eating, just like fucking... Believe it or not, I don't drink that much anymore. I mean, I'm, I know when I'm on stream, I drink, but when I'm off, I almost never drink. I mean, tonight was an exception because I was doing celebrating, but. Yeah, I'm not killing myself anymore. Should have got the nose job. You did get the nose job. Kind of yeah, why didn't you tell the doctor to make you look like Brad Pitt? I know. I, well, he just said I'll fix it. Yeah, my nose was fucked up. Like, it was broken so many times. I know. And you could have said, yo, make me look like Brad. <laughs> and he would have said, I'm just a doctor, not a fucking miracle worker. <laughs> Yeah, now that I'm still looking at this picture of me as Star Lord, I do have a big nose. Damn. You could have had him made you look like Brad, but. How did you break your nose? Uh, all from. One time playing racquetball, but mostly from fist fights or hockey fights. I was a retard in my 20s. I was fighting in bars every fucking other weekend like a dummy. Real dumb. Real dumb. Multiple arrests. Stupid, stupid. It's fucking embarrassing. What did you get arrested for? Assault. On who? Your mom? <laughs> no. On my Chris Chan. Um, <laughs> no, just bar fights and just fucking... I had to drop out of a class because a person in my college got a restraining order against me because I beat him up in a bar. Why did you beat him up in a barn? I, I and mean, he was fucking with somebody who was I, I, he he was a dick. He deserved it. That was like one of the few times where I have no guilt about it. Like that guy deserved it. But I had to like drop out of classes because this guy had put a fucking restraining order on me. Couldn't you have told him to like stop being a pussy? Everybody did. Didn't work. Did that guy survive 9-11? What's that? Did he survive 9-11? That guy? Mm hmm I don't know. I, I didn't keep up with him. Which guy are you talking about? The guy that I got a restraining order on? Yeah. Why would you think he died at 9-11? Because maybe there was a purpose for that after all. No. Oh. Fucking strange. Could have been karma. Proud Roman nose, eh? No, my roommate was there and fucking... I knew two people in there who, who had very, very near-death experiences and got out. Do you know anyone that died? From, yeah. I mean, by... Uh, just from my high school, 25 people died. Oh, my gosh. Did you go to their funerals? It's fucking nonstop funerals for months. It's fucking... How bad I, did it smell in the city? 
I mean, the, that pile was burning for months. You'd look out. I know, but like, did it smell like just asphalt kind of burning, or did it smell like people? Um, no, it just smelled like burning, like it's like industrial oil. Yeah. Checkpoint, it smelt like asbestos and magma. Yeah, pretty much. And it was just like, you know, the amount of tonnage of like plastics that were burning. Yeah, I'm sure it was terrible. No, it was, you know what it was? It was the, the firefighters funerals went on forever because it was like 340 of them died. It was like one day. How many people actually served, like got out of the buildings? Well, I told you what happened. One of, one of my friends, they were, they were in the second tower. They were, they were forcing the people to stay. Yeah. And my friend was like, yo, let's get the fuck out of here. And literally had to fight past the security guard to get out of the building even though his building hadn't been hit yet and he was screaming you know telling the rest of his office like yo we can feel the heat from the other building they're like let's get the fuck out of here and they're like no you got to stay away from the uh you got to keep it clear for the responders and he's like no man let's get out of here and he was the only one who left his entire office and yeah. including and the guy who was trying to stop him died that's crazy my other friend, my roommate, was like, when he made it to the courtyard, he's like, bodies were just landing. He's like, he was more afraid of getting hit by a body. Oh, God. Did you see the plane hit? The second one? Yeah, because everybody had their eyes on the first one. So it was like, holy shit. Where were you at? Uh, I was on my way actually there, uh, but um, I watched it from Queens. Did I tell you what I was doing when it happened? You were probably in kindergarten. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, my dad came home and I thought he was coming to like take us to school or I guess just take me to school at that point. But he turned on the TV. He's like, look at this. I'm like, dad, I'm going to be late. And he's like, watch this. And I remember... I was watching it and it was like the shitty news. Cause like nobody had uh, like the cameras on it or they had cameras, but they were shitty. And I remember I told him to turn it off cause the special effects suck. And then, cause I thought it was like a movie and then like the second plane hit and I watched it and I was like, see how like bad that is. And my dad like looked at me, he's like, Hannah, this is real. I was like, no, it's not. Cause I was in that phase where like, I found out like Santa wasn't real and all of that. So I was like, that's not real. You liar. And then I got to school and everyone's freaking out. I'm like, that wasn't even real. And then I found out it was. <laughs> see, so did you actually see it or hear it? On no, you could see it from pretty much everywhere. I mean, even if you couldn't see the twin towers, you could see the smoke even from, from like pretty much every borough. So if you were in New York, most people ran inside to watch it on TV because even if you could see it, but um, yeah, you could, you could pretty much see it from anywhere because it was like just these huge pillars of smoke. Like that's what most people do. They saw it on TV and then they looked out their window towards Manhattan and you just see the smoke. <laughs> That's why I won't lie to my children about Santa. Because then they won't believe 9-11. <laughs> I think that was a very uh, particular like, like case of that. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hold on. I remember, they made us sit under like a desk all day. And like the TV was on. 
and I was so irritated. I was like, just send us home if you're going to, if you're worried that we're all going to get bombed because they thought that they were going to bomb LA and San Francisco. So they're like, you need to go into lockdown. I'm like, can we just go home? I'm like, I'd be safer on my ranch than here. Like, at least my dad's got guns. Hey guys, what time in the morning is it for me? Oh, you know, I have a fucking phone in front of me. One second. These streams are good because I'm you're forcing me to get these fucking sketches done. Yeah. These are these are each one is a family heirloom in the making. That's true. Just think about when you die how much they're going to be worth. It's, I'm more of a professional artist than you because every one of my drawings has sold. You just hoard them. That's because when I die, I want my family to have a value. No, you're just a hoarder. <laughs> you don't like it. I'm gonna. That's my next thing with you. I'm gonna get you to start selling some of your shit. Yeah. Let let people appreciate it. Make some money. You are a professional artist. That means you have to sell your work. I know. Lord Nemesis. Cecil has more simps than Anna. I don't know about that. I think he might. So somebody in my She-Hulk thing in the comments was like, yo, you should do an end of series live stream with uh, with Gundam that just reviews the whole series. So I hit him up tonight. I don't think he's going for it. You what? I hit him up today. I was like, yo, you want to do this? Somebody recommended this. I think it might be good. It would be funny. I said I would ask you to join in too since you do so much. He's like, oh. Everyone's like, where's uh, your She-Hulk videos? Because I haven't done one in a while. No, there was never a suit reveal. So the the, the entire, oh my God. I, <laughs> I get so what? mad. I got so mad doing that review. I was like fucking furious uh so the entire here's the episode a trademark 
lawsuit and buying her a new suit. That's it. No plot. No. They don't even show the goddamn suit. There's no a half hour episode. It was a longer episode than normal. Normally like 22 minutes. This is like longer. No payoff. No story. No plot. It was like what the fuck? What is this? Everybody's a moron. I can't. I, I don't know. It, it was driving me insane. It was the it was the most painful episode to watch by far. N- yeah. Nothing happened. Nothing. That's it. A superhero show about a fucking tr- trademark lawsuit. No one cares. No one fucking cares. I know. That's not high stakes drama. It's like paperwork. That and then she needs to get a suit. And then they're like, they go to that guy to get the suit, but they don't even want a super suit. They're like, we just want a regular suit. And they're like, well, why would you go to the super guy? You could go to any fucking I know. And then the, the super guy convinces them to get a super suit. We'll get one that shrinks and enlarges with her. Okay. It's like, well, if you weren't going to get that, what the fuck were you hunting him down for just to get a regular suit? I know. It, it, it Nobody put any thought into anything. It's written by retarded women that have never read it. It's so irritating. <laughs> John, I think this episode sort of broke Cecil. It really fucking did. I just know the amount of money and manpower they threw into this. And it was, it wasn't, you couldn't even call it a story. It's not. Well, they're like, oh, it's like a 30 minute sitcom. And I'm like, okay, Frasier was a 30 minute sitcom, right? And there is so much depth to that show. Right. There's levels, there's levels of jokes. There's throwbacks to other episodes. There's lore. There's so much shit going on in a simple comedy there, first of all, where are the fucking laughs? Like, what was the punchline of any joke? Well, you have to have a joke to have a punchline. There's no plot. There's no. There was no story. It was just filming. Nobody gives a fuck about those coworkers. And nothing made sense. I, I, I'm still. I feel my fucking anger building just thinking about this episode. I hate that. I hate that episode so much. No humor, devoid of any humor. And then they actually dragged back the dates to go through that horrible jokes again. Yeah, that, that was the payoff was that, oh, she used those terrible dates to win a court suit, a court lawsuit. And I'm like, couldn't she just call up any fucking superhero and have them be like, um, this isn't a thing? Like, no. and also, there would be laws in place already for that because it's not like she's the first fucking superhero. Right. This would you don't have been think a million. Iron Man didn't put like something down before. They're going to. Oh. You don't think the go- also? How come she's been a superhero for this long and the government hasn't hit her up? Like shown? Like why has Shield not already been at her fucking Nobody, door? But they thought it was so clever, like a trademark. Like it was. Who cares? Low stakes, meaningless. Who gives a shit about trademark fucking patent law? Like what? Like, you're telling me that there's a, a literal like Hulk walking around and the government isn't watching every fucking thing that she does. Well, but here, how about this? You have a literal Hulk to tell a story about and the best you could do is a trademark fight. Like you have unlimited fucking story potential. They're fucking stupid. Like they haven't even read the comics. Like they have her dad being like this mumbling idiot. I'm like, her dad was a fucking cop and her mom got killed by a fucking mobster. Like, you literally have that, and like her whole thing is taking down the fucking mob, and like all of like the crime syndicates in LA. But no, instead she's like, "Let me fight Titania, who was in." It just makes me so mad. I'm like, just what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> you guys can't tell. We don't like this show. I mean, <laughs> it's so fucking bad that I, I can't. I can't explain like how angry I got at this show today. 
There's no and story. And it's like, oh, review. we need to, I got the drip merchant. Okay. For what? Like, just go to any bigger tall star and get her a fucking, first of all, the trademark thing is the f- would be over in 10 seconds. The law firm would have been like, we hired She-Hulk. We're already making money with She-Hulk, the name. It's our trademark, if anything. And they that's it. It'd be over. They'd be like, yeah, we were making money. She was working for us on the abomination cage as She-Hulk. So money has been made with that name prior to your fucking line. It went over. That's it. That's all you have to prove is that you were using that name to make money. It doesn't even have to be her. It could be the it could be the uh, the office, the law firm. The law firm would be like, no, we own that fucking that. So stupid. It just it was just mindless. It's and you know what it is like. They can't even say, oh, this is for kids. This is a, for a, made for adults. Well, yeah, they have her going on like. Yeah, she's getting racing. fucking booty calls and fucking there's cursing and stuff, and it's like this. There are plot holes that are so obvious. You, you, it really, I, I, I just the name of my video is a show by morons for morons. Like it's your brain, just turn your fucking brain off. Oh, see, so you're so smart, like a lawyer. <laughs> It's just, it doesn't make sense. Someone commented, they're like, you're not a lawyer, so you can't comment on this show. And I was like, are you fucking retarded? There's nothing. She's the worst lawyer in the world. She really is. She could have said, I'm making money as She-Hulk, as uh, as a lawyer. I'm booked. I am literally have to be in that form, and I'm billed as She-Hulk. Done. Your lawsuit's over. I'm making. I'm already making money. At, at but see, the, they don't know that because they don't actually know how the law works. But also, who thought like who who greenlit that and thought, yeah, this is a fun storyline, uh, a trademark battle. Like they thought that was clever. Were they laughing? Like, oh my god, people will love this. Like, it, well, that's the thing. When you watch them, they they don't talk about actually reading the comments. Comics. They will reference. Or they're like. Oh, John Byrne. I'm like, congratulations. You know one person that wrote a She-Hulk run. Like, one fucking person. And you don't even get any of the shit from his run. Correct. There, there's no... You know what it is? There's no cleverness. There's no thought. Like, there's no... It's just talentless. Like, you, there's well, no there's talent. The that's there. writing it... The only her only claim to fame is that she uses the fact that she's Asian, and she like, I guess she. Also, Dana, remember Dana Schwartz was also the writer. There's two writers, yeah. and she sucks too. Dana's insane, but um, no, it's just it's so fucking stupid. These people have never read a fucking she hole comment. They don't even know how real life works. The one lady who's like the executive producer, she's doing it so that way her husband, who's like a failed actor, can be ghostwriter. I'm like, oh, how convenient. You got your husband a job. <laughs> He's going to be ghostwriter? Yeah. Oh, I just, this is what I meant to talk to you about. Um, there was that picture where they said where they showed uh, Henry Cavill as Doctor Doom. Is that real? Yeah. So Seth Rogen is going to be the thing. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that. Just wait. He's going to be in the show. Oh my god! Wow, I can't believe how far fucking how. Far Fast Marvel is falling apart. So you're going to, first of all, they're going to go back to the Black Johnny Storm. So they're going to use John Boyega Mm -hmm. as Johnny Storm. I don't know why they did that. Like, just make Sue Storm black then too. Like, don't, what's with the adopted? I don't understand that storyline. Well, and it's you want to know Logan how we know thing? if it's true or not is if the actors say it's not. So if John Boyega would have immediately came out and said no, it's not true. 
Um, I don't know. I, I mean, the only good casting there is uh, what's his name, John Krakowski. Him, he's he could be a good Reed Richard, and uh, I think Henry could be a good Doctor Doom. Although it's kind of a waste on him because he's gonna have his face. Waste. What? He said it's one hundred percent a waste. Because he's gonna be wearing a fucking mask the whole time. So. I know. Seth Rogen has the thing. I hope that's fake. I hope that's a fake. I'm going to have to wait until this is dry to fix the rest of it. But Are you happy with it? I'm not really. I'm not too happy with the fur. But I have to wait until it's dry a little bit more before I fix it. But here... It looks good. What do you guys think? Yay? Yay. Yeah, it's good. A werewolf in the moon. Okay, so this is one. Here's... Oh, shit, I touched it. Here's this one. Oh, shit, you can't even see. Let me zoom out. It's so fucking cold in here now because I have all these fans, but I haven't gotten well, bit by a mosquito in a while. Yeah, if you keep it like the air con on you, you're good. Oh, you, did you get the candy corn? Yes, thank you. Looks good. So you wait, you're entering the that one. What was the first one? The uh, mask. Was the okay, so. This one I have to finish, and I just touched it, so I kind of fucked it up. But so, let me move her out of the way. So, here's my eye in the crystal ball. I have to add the details to this. Um, where did my shoes go? And I went to my mailbox. I didn't see my uh, birthday present in there. Something. No, I haven't cool. been able to go to the post office because I don't have a car. What? That is actually a legit excuse. Cecil, your face reveal. Jedi Knight says, Cecil, your face reveal was like the Kramer painting. Was the what? Kramer painting. Like when they did the painting of Kramer on, uh, I don't know. The one art chick that he dated? You could buy that picture. They, they sell prints of that. Of Kramer's the, painting? Yeah, it's a painting of Kramer. Okay, well, here's the crystal ball. Get the skeleton. <clears throat> the skeleton I added varnish to. There's the skeleton. And then here's the moon. Which one's your guys' favorite? I'm going to put a... I have to pee really bad. I need to go grab a jacket. So I'm going to put a poll up in the chat. I want to know everyone's favorite one. I like the skeleton. Uh, okay, I just put a poll up. Just, I'm gonna go pee, and I will be right back. You can keep talking to them. Are you guys willing to buy this in the chat? This girl's gotta start selling stuff. She needs her truck. Skeleton's my favorite. The Cosmo, yeah, that's what it's called. The Moon, Steve Giblin, The Moon, Douglas Dallas, The Moon. Moon one is good. Skeleton. Yeah, I think I think it's between the moon and the skeleton. Crucible is okay, but those are those are the best. Coffin nails moon. I don't know. She doesn't paint. She doesn't sell anything. Anna's a fucking hoarder. 
She has a fan base. People would like it. Hell, I tried to buy that goddamn Frank the Bunny picture from her for fucking years. I'm like, I'll pay. I don't want a gift. Steve Gilbert, if I could afford them, I'll buy them. <laughs> Chris Boytano, no, I don't want to make her less of a hoarder. Le Radmuel says, I would buy the skeleton. She will have Anna start hosting the auction. She'll have to sell some things. She had a bad experience once. She sold one thing and it sold for nothing. And she, she never wants to do it again. But she just got to put a, a, a minimum. Okay, let's hold running. Um, Zed says Anna can make hundreds of thousands a year making cosplay and art, but she's a professional artist. <laughs> she's making oh, money. Yeah, your cos her cosplay is paying fucking very well. Okay. The skull and the crystal ball are tied, but the moon is winning. Wow. Yeah, it's between those two for sure. Yeah. But the the moon one's not done. What are you gonna do with it? I have to fix it up for a little bit. I have to add like highlights and stuff. But it's too wet. Oh. <laughs> you're not a professional artist, you're a professional autist. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the joke. Sorry, sir. Mm. Yes, she is. She she would be making tons of money selling her stuff. I was saying you had one bad experience auctioning. Mm. But, but you've also had some very good experiences auctioning. I'm already getting like $2,000 for one. Yeah. Just put in a minimum. Start giving this, you know, start selling. Mm. Take the pictures. You can make prints. Someone said even more if she had an OnlyFans. No, thank you, man. Mm, one yeah. of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to add it back to the skeleton because I don't like that you can see the eyes or, but like it's clear. I just have to wait. But, uh, yeah, okay, so the skull. Jesus fucking Christ, man. What? Your phone vibrated. Mm. Maybe I do have time to do the fairy in the bottle. Here. I think you I think you're good, Anna. I know, but I want to. Minimum 180. Are you kidding me? You think that it's only worth $180? See, that's why I don't want to sell things. <laughs> All right, if you were selling the uh, skull, what would be your minimum? Probably 500. It's not, it's not big. It's not a big piece though. It's bigger than my normal paintings. Oh, yeah, my normal is. paintings are usually eight by 11. This is pretty big. And then I'm going to add a back and it's going to have like gold and stuff around it. So, I mean, The, uh, one so you'd rather I, have you'd rather have that in a draw for the next ten years or four hundred dollars. Um, probably that in a drawer. See, that's why you're insane. <laughs> that's, that's like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna take it out and admire it. You're just gonna it's gonna just be underneath shit. Like somebody would have that hanging. At least you'd be like, oh, my art is out there. Someone's enjoying it. Plus, you got cash in hand. Mm. 
people are saying minimum six. I would say start bidding at four. You'll get. Draw for 10 years, build a reputation, and then sell it for 400000 says rhetorical gambling. <laughs> Uh, Anna is going to be the highest paid artist after she dies and they find all her paintings. <laughs> I know, right? Dr. Coffinell says, yeah, start at 400. Yeah. I mean, like if you start at 400, you got minimum 1200 bucks sitting here. That's nice. Anna. That's minimum. Mm. You know, what's nice. Having things in drawers yeah. and closets. Exactly. Hoarding. Hoarding is nice. You don't think I'm emotionally attached to every drawing I'm doing right now, but I know they have to go into somebody's hands who will stare at it every day and appreciate it. Somebody will take this picture and love it. Maybe even make love to it. <laughs> what would you do if you found out like your number one fan was like a serial killer and like kidnapped people and like did the whole Jeffrey Dahmer thing where like they like raped them and then wanted, instead of like cooking them, they dressed them up like you and then oh, they played your live stream? <laughs> oh my God, I don't know. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm thinking about like Halloween. <laughs> no, but how you're saying like it's a family heirloom, and I'm just thinking like, what if like there's a serial killer out there that's obsessed with you, and <laughs> they just kidnap people and dress them up like Cecil. Say like, say hello, hello. <laughs> no, like this. Hello. What? Stop hurting me. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a possibility. I mean, yeah, if you're a fucking psychopath. Oh, how are you? I don't, I don't even understand how you came up with that scenario. <laughs> what the tired. fuck is going on with you? I'm tired. Okay, so I uploaded a video of like me reading tweets, and I uploaded it uh, a couple times. One of them got age restricted. So you have to be 18 or over to watch the video. Another one just got like limited. And then uh, For the what? other one is still under review. Oh, wow. That's really because because they're, they're flagging it. Yeah. They're flagging it. They're flagging it for like targeted harassment. They're men She's mentioning me. Probably. I'm surprised Disney hasn't hit me. Yeah, because you've been actually showing. Well, Disney's pretty good about fair use, actually. Like one thing I will say about them. I'm pretty. I'm pretty shocked they haven't told me to take shit down. Jedi Knight says I realized I started to hoard comics like Cecil, so I had to stop. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna sell Daredevil. My Daredevil collection, which I never thought I would, but that's a nice big long box gone. I just want to get rid of everything. Did I, I sent you comics? Did I send you Wonder Woman or Catwoman? Like, I don't know, Wonder couple, Woman a couple of years ago. You want Catwoman? Sure. <laughs> Fuck off. You, have it. you can send me that Daredevil. Is who, who's Daredevil? It's the good one. I got Frank Miller and the Senti. Here. You want to send me more Faust? <laughs> got, the, got the death of Electra right here. That's one I want to cosplay as. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. Electro would be easy. Can you see her? Did they introduce her on the Daredevil show? I didn't watch all of it. Yeah, yeah, they did. Which did they get a hot chick to play her or no? Yeah, she looked good to me. Was she hot enough to be Electra? Yeah. Did you like the what's his face movie? Which one? Ben Affleck. No. What'd you think of Electra though? Jennifer Gardner? I'm not I'm not into her. Don't know why. Not into her. Am I holding this up for a reason? Are you going to share this? Oh, I didn't know that you were sharing something. I'll have my stream yards up. I optioned off a better run. Oh, that, of your mask is on, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, um, I auctioned off a really good run of Daredevil that I picked up at like a... Uh, uh, like a garage sale, mm -hmm. and it, it, like I just did it badly on eBay. I didn't like I don't know. I just didn't get any traction. Um, maybe it seemed too good to be true, but I sold like an entire Frank Miller run for seventy five bucks. And the dude who won was like, I I I don't know what to say. Like I can't believe I fuck when I when I he, he's like I honestly didn't think it was gonna show up. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man, you win. Worst bit of the Daredevil movie, that bit where Evanescence sung where Jennifer Garner is using those weird knives to cut a ton of fallen training bags from the ceiling. I don't know. That part where they were on the the seesaw drives me insane. Why? I don't I, I hated it so much. <laughs> I don't know. Did you like that? I don't even remember the movie. I know I've seen it. But I must have blocked it out. I remember the part where he like sees her because the rain is falling on her. My boy was in that movie. Yeah, who? Colin Farrell. Oh yeah, yeah. He was the only good part about it, I thought. I know. I I watched it for him. I had a crush on him when I was a little girl. Nice going, dummy. I Cecil, it irks my soul every fucking day. Like, uh, John, I'm like the same he could be I... the father of my unborn children right now. What? Does that like, mean? like, I mean, there's a world where you had kids with him. Yes. No. That one night I could have gotten pregnant because I'm super fertile, and I could have Colin Farrell's baby, but I didn't. Just kind of like how Ethan's mad that I didn't have Sean. <coughs> and Does Colin Farrell have kids in real life? Somebody Google that for me. I think I'd sleep with Colin Farrell. <laughs> Dude, he smelled really good, too. Of course he did. Like, that's how close I was to him. I could fucking smell him, and I still was like, I don't think it's him. You dope. It's how drunk I was. Like, you've seen me drunk. Just imagine how drunk I was if I didn't recognize or completely believe somebody was calling for him. I've never hooked up with anybody famous. I hooked up with a girl right after she was dating Vin Diesel. That's the closest. <laughs> yeah. Who disappointed her more, him or you? I think we both disappointed her pretty badly. <laughs> there we go. Put some silver metallic leafing around the edges make it look pretty what time is it where you are it is 8 28 
Mm. I'm up to stay. You gotta go to sleep. No, I still have to film videos. I'm awake though. I slept all day today. Which I wanted to do. I wanted to be on my night schedule again. Yeah, me passing out like after like an early party was weird. Now I'm like I've never been What do you think of it like with the can you see? Shine. Yeah, yeah, I see it. It sucks that it's like not a full moon, but I mean, then it would just be a circle. So, hmm. okay, why, don't you so paint, why don't you paint the blue part yellow like the moon with craters? I was thinking of that, but I like the blue because it contrasts with her red hair. And I would have to repaint all of this fur. Also, because I did like the highlight on the, the whatchamacallit, on the skull yellow. So I was like, I kind of want something different. And this was like a mix of the, the purple and the pinks from the crystal ball with the, the yellow from the skull. Douglas Dollar says uh, half moon, half werewolf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good point. Okay, so should, should I change it to yellow? Would it look better? Um, yeah, but you just said it's going to be a shit ton of work. Oh, yeah, because I'd have to redo this whole section. It it, it would look better, and it, I, I think, but don't fucking. Uh, what do you guys think? Should she make it like a moon with like a little craters and stuff in the background? It would, it would fit it better because it's like, it looks like daylight she's transforming. It doesn't make sense. That's not even like a dark blue. Wow, you just went in. <laughs> You're like, all right, you've said enough. No, it's an easy fix. Well, I wasn't, I don't know. I just, I, the reference I was using was light. So I was like, I'll just do it. But no, it's fine. If it's going to make it better, I'd rather have it be better. Dylan, Smithy, Anna, sell Cecil a Donnie Darko painting. No. All right, there you got it. <laughs> that's honestly, guys, that's the only reason he actually wants me to sell is my work. So that way he can have my Donnie Darko painting. I don't have it. I will I will pay for it. I understand it took hours. See, so you uh, just got divorced. You have no money. No, I have half my money. Uh <laughs> Doesn't that suck? Like everything you saved up for your entire life. You just got just yeah. went to that bitch. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're getting a kick out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you said like like some like something that you like forgot you invested in, like was doing well and now she gets half of it. Yep. One of my I remember that was funny. Yeah. Laugh a minute. It could be worse. She could have given you like syphilis or something. That's true. Like, could you imagine if like she gave you herpes oh, and then Lord. you'd be fucked for like the rest of your life? Like she'd be like, ha ha. No, the rest of your life you're like you're well, I, I guess I have to look on the bright side. I did not get an S T D during my marriage. <laughs> Like, I feel like that's something that she would have done. Like, she would have gone and, like, gotten gonorrhea or something and then slept with you right before, like, you guys broke up. And then, like, haha, you have an STD. Deal with it now, bitch. You're a glass is half full kind of gal. <laughs> I am. I'm looking at, like, you could have gotten a, a hardcore STD and you didn't. So, yeah, man. Well, I feel much better now. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> You're welcome. Your money might be gone, but I mean, you don't have syphilis. You don't have blisters on your dick, so you got that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like your Anna's words of like fucking encouragement, deep thoughts. Hey, if you're having a bad day, just remember, you don't have blisters on your dick. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. You, still, you have a nose. You have all of your limbs. 
Oh my god, that acne girl you sent today fucking that broke my <laughs> fucking head, man. Stop. <laughs> Holy shit. Good. It was black. The acne was black. And it was, oh. You could be like that, dude, but you're not. Did you watch the whole video? It gets better. She's showing her process of being on Accutane. I watched just like a few seconds of it and I tapped out. I was like, I got it. That's my thing. Like you actually click on these videos. Like if you know I'm sending them to you, why do you even watch them? Well, sometimes you don't even have to see it. Like because the picture is there and it's too late. But I have to say, yeah, the 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 the, the, the pus ones are what about which ones are worse? Those ones or the toe? Oh God! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You're fucking a psychopath. You know that. Like it's really, really, really strange. Who's who's contacting me? That's her that hits you. Have to give you an STD, man. Don't fall for it. Uh, no, somebody from the party. Yo, checking in on you. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, does that yellow part look better already or no? I feel like it messes, like it clashes too much with her hair. Maybe I'll make her outfit blue. No, the yellow looks good. Improve. People are saying improved. I'll just make her outfit blue because I want blue in there somewhere. Steve Goodman, that's nice that they care about you. Like, I literally got thrown on my couch and passed out. Like, I got fucking hot. Somebody just threw you on a couch? Yeah, I remember being outside and having a hard time. Like, these, these guys smoke like this fucking nuclear fucking weed and i'm not i don't really i'm not into it you know and i and i was smoking like a lot and then i could i couldn't walk you know it was like i remember Were being at mont surrey high yeah like that oh shit you're fucked up yeah i was i passed out so i like yeah I, when i woke up like my house was a wreck and the DMs brothers were there. No. Uh, <laughs> I was, uh, my house is a wreck and I was just on the couch and I was like, oh man. Oh shit, I'm not recording this. All right, chat is saying yellow looks better. John says, I like the yellow red contrast, looks good. Yeah, it makes it, it also makes it more apparent that it's a moon. Like, mm. it just, the, it's thematically better. Nobody told me this while I was painting it. No one asked. You guys waited until I was done to be like, hey, maybe that should have been yellow. I blame all of you. I'm just shocked you are taking my suggestion. Well, that's part of this is that I take people's suggestions. You notice how I didn't paint Hannibal Lecter's mask and I painted the Phantom of the Opera instead? Well, I was telling you to paint Hannibal Lecter. Well, I wanted to paint Hannibal too, but the chat's like, no, paint Phantom of the Opera. And I'm like, God damn it, you bitches. I don't want to paint the Phantom of the Opera. The mask is a pain in the ass to paint. Cecil can't handle his liquor or his trees. No, I can handle my liquor fine, but... I was drinking really heavy, and then, and then, uh, then just getting like that that level of weed thrown on top. I was out. How was the gay sex? I don't know. Hopefully, they videotaped it so I can see it because I, I can't remember anything. <laughs> Hannibal 
Hey, since you've like lost weight, how bad are your stretch marks? Uh, not bad. I feel like you're lying to me. Uh, no, not, not bad. I have like stretch work on my shoulders and arms, but I had that from when I was a kid from from working out, like from uh, putting on muscle. Those are the most evident ones. Like as far as my stomach and stuff, it didn't get, I don't know how. I just have, I think it's, I have good, good skin. Thank God. Did you decide you had good skin? Did somebody tell you? No, I have a friend who's a dermatologist who told me. Like, yeah, I have like high, high collagen and high. Is your friend blind? I mean, not legally, yeah. Mm -hmm. She could see shadows. You should show her that video that I showed you. Uh oh my god. Thank God. I'm just glad you didn't put your head through that glass door. What the fuck did I do last night? Uh oh. Did you put your head through a glass door? I don't know. I, I was I I I got knocked out. All right, wow. Shit, yeah. Yeah, I'm done with the weed. Like, uh, I'm going to bring the uh, candy next time I go, but I'm just giving it away. I don't want to take it anymore. I got to, like... I gotta start getting my shit together. I can't just go meet up with people and get fucking become a burden where people are carrying me home. <laughs> it's not. I think I'm done with that. Yeah, but I mean, you had a really good reason to right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm and I've been getting I've been getting fucked up for the last year because. Well, I mean, you've been miserable and having your life destroyed by a psycho person, like. I think you're fine right now. If you're still doing it in like a year from now, I'd worry about you. But I mean. Yeah, I've been kind of like fucking let put you through fucking hell. Go have fun. You think she's still stalking you? I don't know. I don't know. She's going to hear it from a lot of people because the place I was at today, I saw a lot of her friends. Mm. And some of them were like, holy shit. They're like, you look great. <laughs> I haven't seen me in a while. So she's going to hear some shit and it's going to piss her off. Anna the enabler. Yeah, she likes, she's like, don't stop getting fucked up. <laughs> Like it's fun. It's fun for her. I think I gotta slow it down. No, I mean you've still like been kind of censored on what you've said and whatnot. I mean, she literally put you through hell. Like just have fun. Like go get high. Go party with your friends in real life that you want us to believe that you actually have. What do you think I'm doing? Think I'm like J-Doll. I got a bunch of fucking mannequins over my house. No, I, I think that you are going like out on a limb saying that the hookers are like your friends because I mean you're cleaning them, but you are retarded, so... Are Maybe my you friends. actually believe that they're your friends. All right. So I said, he, this guy's saying you almost put your head through a window. I said, wow, that weed really fucked me up, huh? Yeah. All of a sudden, it hit you like a ton of bricks. 
Oh shit. Yeah. That's all I'm saying for them to say about your weight. I can't wait to I, I'm going to be a, I'm a few months from being in perfect shape and you're a few months from the wall. And not happening, man. Jay Darklight is Cecil. I'll get my own casino with blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the casino and the blackjack. Uh, she hasn't seen me in a while. No, she sees me, but like very in passing. We're in, we're in the same neighborhood. Uh Good old Bender. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to probably, like, I, I'm really, uh, Thursday nights are like the only night I'm getting really fucked up nowadays. You're going to become a boring lightweight and you're not going to be able to keep up with me and John. Keep up with you guys? If you went drink for drink with me, I wouldn't even let you actually. You would die. Well, I'm not fat. You're not that fat. I'm not fat at all. First thing Cecil says when he sees me in Texas, he's like, wow, you look good. I was like, no fucking shit. I'm not fat and, you know, pathetic like you. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? It's funny. <laughs> you got it. That was a good one. Yeah, great. <laughs> well, here's the thing: when you're actually in good shape, you'll know because I'll actually give you a compliment. Oh, I'll, I'm waiting for the day. Well, then, stop being fat. I'm on it. I'm on it. Did you get a cat or something? Why? It's like squealing noises. No, it's the marker on the paper I'm drawing. Mm. No, I'm not getting a cat. What if I you take one of our? Would, would you sell me that Donnie Darko if if I get if I take one of your cats? No, because you would kill them. And that would bother you. Yes, I like them. They don't like you. I know that. They're just not into you, Anna. Story of my life. It's like the one guy that told me I was too ugly to talk to him. Oh, my God. Uh, boo fucking who? One story. You would die if you had to be a man. Die. Yeah, I know. I'm glad I'm not a guy. I, that would be miserable. I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. Like just the fact of like being a guy must suck sometimes. Like you have to go to war. Uh, you have to pay for everything. Unappreciated. You have to worry about like getting psycho bitches pregnant. You have, like no control over the next time you're gonna get laid. Like, really, being a guy must suck. Like, it makes you understand, like, the my struggle thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> Make you understand Hitler? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't think you meant my struggle. What's wrong with your struggle? I don't have a struggle. It's a struggle to get my pants on. By the way, it's the craziest thing. I had pants because I was like, I, I actually kept my clothes from when I was fucking thin. And uh, I went to go throw, throw on some pants because I'm like, oh, I think I can fit in them now. And, uh, and, yeah, they're, too big, too and they're too big on me. 
I, was, I don't I believe like, you. No. No, I'm still plenty fat. Like I'm fat, but it's like I know you're fat. You do. Yeah, I've seen you. Yeah, whenever I put up a picture, she's like, he doesn't really look like that. He's still fat. <laughs> Shut up, Anna. <laughs> He's lying. There's one person I really want to show you that, like, she's hitting the wall so hard right now. And I want to show you so you can feel better, but, like, Everyone knows who she is, so I can't like say it because then I'll sound like a bitch. Uh, you have to tell me off there. Oh, I will. You'll probably know who it is, too. Well, I mean, I know you know who it is, but you probably already noticed. Bitchy Anna, I love it. This one's hitting the wall. Okay, does it look better with the yellow? Uh, Steve Gilbert, do you have a belly, Cecil? I want to lose one. That's all I have left right now. Do you have a what? Belly. It's not. A, it's nowhere near as bad as it was, but. Why aren't you doing abs? I do. Every day. I have Breathing abs. Doesn't count. What? Breathing doesn't count. Wow, you've been on here for seven hours? Holy shit. This is to putting an entire day's work. I'm fucking dedicated, you fat fuck. Why? why? <laughs> <laughs> the more I'm tired, the more my insults get. What the fuck? I'm sorry. That one was a little mean for me. Okay. We're going to look at these. Uh, you got to do an auction for these before Halloween so you can send them out. You got to auction these this month after. Okay, so for Lassie, I just changed the entire fucking composition for you bitches. It looks better. It really does. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not lying. It, it, it knocked it up, like, multiplied it. It looks much better. It just didn't fit to have a daylight background. Okay. Now you can notice that it's a moon much like. Well, it wasn't a daylight. It was just a pretty color. Yeah, I know. The, a, a color that's associated with a blue sky in daytime. Your mom's a blue sky. Good one. Start at 400. Start at whatever prize, but at least sell them. Yeah, you got to sell these three. I have chocolate. I have chocolate. Okay. We're going to look at these next to each other. Why is everyone fucking texting me right now? I think they just want to make sure I'm alive. That's what I'm getting. I'm going to tell you, nobody cares. I'm telling you that as your friend. Just want to let you know, no one cares about you. And I'm saying that as a friend. <laughs> Stingray says, I don't like the yellow at all. Oh, come on. That fucking letter looks better. I was last night. That one was funny. Why didn't you laugh at that one? What'd you say? I miss it. I said, that's not what your dad said last night. And he said, I don't like the yellow at all. Those were funny, you fuckers. Not what my okay. dad said last night? No, that's not what your dad said last night. That I don't like the yellow at all? Yeah. <laughs> what, I'm, I'm missing, <laughs> am I missing okay. a joke? Yeah, she retarded. Which one do you guys like better? Can you add some some white craters on the moon? Bitch. <laughs> no, I like the yellow better. Cat. 
I don't know what that means. What is your dad like yellow last night? <laughs> what does that mean? Like, I don't even understand the fucking joke. Uh, everybody's saying yellow. Yellow for sure. Slick Rick, yellow makes more sense. Le Radmuel says yellow for sure. Yellow, yellow fellow, Lord Nemesis. Douglas says the blue shirt is better. Yeah, the blue shirt is better. The yellow, I like. Yeah, it's it. It was good on the left, but the but the one this is just better. Holocron says I actually like the blue better. Blue, I prefer the blue. Well, I'm not changing it again. You know There's what? You're right. The blue, the blue was better. Now people are fucking with you, Anna. The the yellow is better. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I can't finish it tonight because. It's um, what you call it? It's still too wet. I need to, I need to fix her shirt, and then I need to finish like the highlights on the fur. The only problem is the fur is uh, too wet right now for me to add that. But look at it, it's Lassie. Hi, Lassie. I guess she's Irish. Could be Scottish. Okay, I guess she's Scottish. Well, she's on the Moors, probably Irish. What do you guys want her to be? Scottish or Irish? Irish. I'm more towards Scottish, but that's just me. Wet fur. People prefer the blue shirt. She's definitely Irish. That looks good. She has no soul. I know, and that's why she's a werewolf. Actually, do werewolves have souls, or is it just vampires? I think they're cursed with no soul as long as if, if they, unless they can get killed by a silver. I don't know. There's something, something to that. I think you lose your soul when you become a uh, werewolf. Did you like that Ben Helsing movie with uh You Jackman? Yeah. Not particularly. Well, the girl's name in that movie is Anna. And so I get to hear Hugh Jackman say my name. So I think it's great. Except bitch dies. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, maybe I'll go back. I only watched it once, and I just remember not liking it. Maybe I'll give it another. Oh no, it's it's not very good. But I mean, Hugh Jackman says my name. <laughs> Same with the Batman versus Superman movie. Superman's looking for like a reporter chick or something named Anna, so he's got to go to Gotham. And I was like, I would live in Gotham. But Henry says my name. You gonna? I'm surprised you haven't sat at home and edited Van Helsing and Henry arguing over you. Fighting. <laughs> Anna, Anna, Anna. Both of them trying to get your attention. Anna. Mm -hmm. Martha's Vineyard. Why did you say that name? Uh, what do, I got? I got. I should make a video today too. About what? Mm -mm -mm, I don't know. Already did She Hulk. I'll be on a wet spot tonight. They gotta start putting those on YouTube. They probably wouldn't be allowed to be on YouTube. Hmm. We could edit it. But it's Oh, the last one I was on there was so much fun. Like we were like she had a studio audience and everything. I mean it's just a handful of people, but do um how many subs does it have? I don't know. Do you know how many views it gets? Nope. Hmm. 
Because it's like a subscription-based thing, right? Yeah. You get like the whole network. There's comedians on all day. Hmm. No one even knows where to watch to watch. You got to go to Compound Media. You could get like a free trial for seven days. Hmm. She hit me up today. She's like, did you did you do a face reveal? I'm like, yeah, accidental. She just left. Yeah, it got brought up on Simcast. Oh, it did? Mm-hmm. Nina was like, what? I think I think the the, the uh really the the reviews are in and handsome seems to be the uh consensus very you know, handsome they, they're being nice and they don't want you to kill yourself i don't know it just seems that way good the reviews are in five stars well look at the guys that they're all the people are used to like looking at look at these reviews five stars would sit on and that's from carmen electra come on these are great reviews. <laughs> Ew. Have you seen Carmen Electra now? No. It's, don't don't tell me it's bad. Don't. Just don't look at it, you know? Why? Were you into Carmen Electra? Well, she's good looking. Yeah. No? I've seen another woman that you say are good looking. I like what I like. I ain't got to fucking explain it to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, what's the one chick that you're into that was in, uh, like, Happy Gilmore and the crap? Oh, Feruza Balk? Mm -hmm. I don't want to see what she looks like now either, but she looks she crazy. She's a weird looking woman of her. Like, she's, like, one of those people that, like, looks like they were, like, they just look like a villain. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. Seen? Have we seen D Bridget Fonda? Yeah, we, we, we looked at her on Jack Show a while ago, man. And yikes. Fruza Balk was in Waterboy, right? She was in American, oh, Waterboy. American, American History X also. Oh, yeah. Well, she looked like one of those people. Yeah, she looked crazy in that. I liked it. Uh, Chris Boytana, Cecil, honestly, your face looks pretty typical Italian guy in their 50s. <laughs> <laughs> I don't dare you. Ugh, scrubbing, like, paint off of me is, like, the worst thing ever. This is the one problem when I paint is my skin breaks out like crazy because the paint's toxic. And you're probably just eating chocolate the entire time? No. What were you eating? Just now? Yeah. Or earlier. I had linguiça. Pizza? Linguiça. It's Portuguese sausage. Oh. Huh. Made it. Tulip fucking loves it. She's going crazy. Mm. And problem is I touch my face sometimes when I'm painting. Uh. And the paint gets in my skin, so I have to like scrub it off. Uh Okay, people are saying Fruza Balk's hot. I agree. She looks crazy hot, though, you know? Get out of athletic and toned for the swimsuit calendar, Cecil. Oh, I would, yeah. I would work her out. Like, Anna's got, you know, I break her balls, but she's got good genetics to be, like, an athlete. Oh, I get in shape super fast. Like, she could be, like... You, I, you could see results on her. Get put. She could put on muscle pretty quick, I could tell. Yeah. All the chicks I follow are like Brazilian and they have that Portuguese blood too and they get fucking built.
I don't see Anna actually doing that, but she could. I could. I don't really want to because I don't like looking like a man. But I could. The only thing is, like, I've always had somebody tell me, like, what kind of workouts to do. So, But obviously I don't remember. So I have no idea what to do when I actually go to the gym. So I always just do the, the elliptical. Tell me what you want to look like and I can put together something for you. I actually know about this shit. Um... I want my legs to be toned. Okay. Without doing squats. Uh, uh, what about light squats or what about like um, dumbbell squats where you don't need to put a barbell? A lot of people don't like the barbell on the back. They don't like that. Um, anything that doesn't require me to squat. There's like a machine I can use. I like those. But guys come and talk to me, and I don't like that. So anything where I'm using the machine and I don't have to talk to people. Guys talk to you in the gym? Like, that's like a fucking no-no. Well, they usually see I need help. And so I make Pete just stand right next to me the whole time. But no, they, like, avidly stare, and it's creepy. Wow. Um... Yeah, you gotta you gotta do some variation of squat or hack squats. Uh, yeah, leg curls are good. Uh, I do that one where you sit down and like you push extension, and... leg extensions. Yeah, and you put a lot of weight on it. Leg press. But They're... you know what? That always works out like your upper legs. How do you work out your lower legs? There's a uh, uh, there's a calf machine. Oh, there is. Yeah, there should be a couple calf machines. Those are simple. You just get in there and you tone your tone your calves. That makes a big difference when girls do that. Like it changes the the, the whole look of your leg. Yeah, I want to do that one. You just have to find which machine that is. Yeah, you gotta do calf raises, but there's there's two machines. There's one where you can just sit down. Oh, like that one's. A... It's a sitting a sitting calf machine, and basically you put your toes on this thing and you and you push forward with your toes. Oh fuck that! No, it's it's not hard at all. It's it, and, it, and you get it's it's not. It doesn't beat the shit out of you, and you get results really quick once you start doing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone just called you a lazy bum. You're like, ah, I don't want to do that. It's mm -hmm. simple. It's it's simple and it uh it the results are good. Yeah, you have like you, you have good genetics to get in shape for sure. I have great fucking genetics. You're a fucking goddamn mutant. What I'm just saying your muscle tone is good, but you're you have no kidney, your fucking web feet you have terrible genetics. Peaches just found out about the one kidney thing, and he's like, "Are you serious?" And I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "I thought that was just your brother." I'm like, "It's me too." He's like, "They were fucking with you at the hospital." I was like, "No." Yeah, you gotta, you gotta like. There's certain things you should be doing to ensure your kidney stays healthy. Have you ever looked into that? Mm, I don't really want to. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to hope that it's okay. And if I start dying, then it was meant to be. Okay. That seems like a good philosophy. Yeah. I guess I'll find out if I ever go to have a kid. Because I hear you need both kidneys for that. No, you don't. Well, I mean, it helps. Dude, I love that whole plot twist in the boys, how they gave him, like, the heart of that guy that killed, or, like, crippled his brother. In the boys? Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. Uh, drink plenty of water, for starters. Yeah, you know. You, that is, like, the number one thing for kidney health is water. Well, I mean, I drink my, uh... Mio juice, which is water. It says Mio in it. 
finished a lot of sketches tonight. Get on my level, bitch. I am on your level. My stuff sells. I'm not afraid to put it out there. Mm. Not a chicken. No, you probably should be there. <laughs> You're like, stop being so confident. You don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Stop. a fat chick on Tinder. Way too confident for your own good. I don't have a Tinder. I never. I don't do that. I know. I said that's why you're like a fat girl on Tinder. I know you don't have a Tinder, but you definitely have a grinder. Mm. My life would be so much easier if I was fucking gay for real. Not really. You're a fat loser. Uh, aspartame. Yeah, she lives on that shit. It's bad for your kidneys. What is? Like the artificial sweeteners. Oh. Uh. Stingray. Cecil's way past Anna's level. I, I don't know if you're talking about looks or art, but either way, yes. Hmm. Deal with it. Well, I have one more before I finish out this entire sketchbook. Hmm. I'm getting things done. Congratulations. That's, that's weird. What are you working on right now? I'm tweezing my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I was scrubbing all the paint off my face, and then I was like, oh, my God, hair. Fuck <laughs> I told someone recently that didn't know about my grooming habits and I was like, I got to go. They're like, why? And I was like, I have to tweeze or I think I was still tweezing my mustache at that point. I was like, I have to tweeze my mustache. And they're like, what? And I was like, Oh, sorry. You don't know me very well. <laughs> you don't ease people into that shit. You're just like, Yeah, when we first met, you were sending me pictures of you narrowing your face. And I'm like, I don't need to know this much information about you. I'm very, like, honest. It keeps things uh, straightforward. It keeps it interesting. <laughs> and it has a 5 a.m. shadow, yes. I really do, though. Are you not going back for the laser? They No, them bitches never called me back to reschedule my appointment. And uh, the burning hair scares the the smell of burning hair is scaring our other customers. It doesn't even work very well. I think they do get annoyed at how furry I am, but I'm like, isn't that your job? It's to like do that. Yeah, like they're they're supposed to fucking, like, they need hairy bitches. That's how they stay in business. Mm -hmm. It makes my skin, like, nicer, too. <laughs> Anna broke their laser. I usually, think so. <laughs> usually it just, um, also, you're a bitch. You're making them do it at the lowest setting. They're like, we got to get this over with. <laughs> It hurts. <laughs> Stingray. We don't perform miracles here, ma'am. That's kind of what they told me. Did they send you to a vet? They referral? That would be great. I feel like it would be half the cost and it would actually work. What if, like, body hair becomes the big thing as soon as you get it all removed? That's my fear. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's not going to happen. All right. Are you, in a, are you staying on air or what are you doing? Yeah, I might do another painting. I'm just trying to get these hairs. I'm going to grab another note, notebook. I'll... I'm getting shit done. I gotta get out of here in a little while. I'm gonna go to the gym, but I'll 
I'll fucking knock out more sketches. Seen the latest episode of the House of the Dragon. I want to. You know, the one thing that the laser did do to my hair was it made it so thin that it's hard to tweeze now, but it's all still there. It's just harder to grab on with these tweezers, which is kind of annoying. We can hear that. Oh my goodness. I'm like hairier than this chick in the freaking painting. Tired all of a sudden. Maybe I need to go to bed. Let's check on that poll. Let's see what you guys picked. Let's see. Where is it? Here it is. All right, the moon has with. 85 votes. There's 102 people in here. The skull has 29%. The crystal ball has 32%. And the moon has 39%. Mm. Anna needs a team of <laughs> specialists to see to her daily. Yeah, no shit. It's ridiculous, man. Like, when I was shopping with Sav, like, the salesperson, like, tried to sell me something. Or, like, it was, like, a backless dress. And I was, like, I can't. And I was, like, I don't have anyone to shave my back. And the lady, like, <laughs> she, like, visibly paused. Like, her like her body paused. And she's, like, <laughs> like, she didn't know if I was joking or being serious. And, like, she was obviously not expecting that answer. I know I can't buy that dress because nobody can shave my back. I'll tell Cecil this when he gets back. I had to clean my front porch. Oh, gross. No, like, my that's not a metaphor. That's at my actual porch. I know. You probably puked all over it. No, no. There's just lots of glasses all over the tables, like whiskey glasses and shit. Cigars. 
So I was selling the chat the other day when I was shopping with Sav. The sales lady tried selling me like this backless dress and I said, no, I can't. And she's like, oh, why not? I would like totally like work on you. And I was like, no, you don't understand. Like I have nobody to shave my back. I can't wear a backless dress. <laughs> <laughs> and she like visibly paused to like process what I had oh, just said. Oh. <laughs> I remember like, uh, he just doesn't want to shave my back anymore or something. And I just started laughing so fucking hard. I'm like, yeah, kind of, kind of takes the mystery out. <laughs> I'm getting the shit done. I got to put up my post on Indiegogo today to explain. I think I'm going to clip from the uh, Jack show where I tell the story and then just put that. Now I'm talking about. Yeah. Like the part where I explain the whole fucking divorce thing. I'm just going to clip that and then put that in the post. I'm pretty sure people know already. Yeah, but I mean, there's going to be, there's got to be a lot of people who haven't heard. Uh, when you're rich and famous, you'll have to hire a personal groomer. Yeah, Anna. I mean, I wish I could hire one now. Get rich. Get that money. Well, when are you finishing the calendar? How much? How many more shoots? One. Is it scheduled yet? Um, no, not yet. I'm waiting for a piece of the costume to come in. And then that's it. And what about the other ones? Anything come back yet? No, my uh, my photographer, his computer died. So he had to take it in. So he like can't, he said he was almost done with a lot of them. And he's like, he just had a few things to, like fix, but his computer's in the shop. Uh, Ray, Ray, Ray Rad Muel says, also put the part with the hot downs chick. That really will sell it. <laughs> <laughs> the Jack show was wild this week. You've had a couple good run on your, when you've been hosting lately. Yeah. Uh, Cecil, how much would you charge for a sketch like what you're doing now? Like, what is it? Twenty? I don't know. Twenty-five bucks. No, I don't know. I don't know what I did on the campaign. But these are these are beautiful. These are head sketches. Does it ever blow your mind that people pay money for your stuff? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like you're one of the top selling CG artists. There have been times on those auctions where I was absolutely embarrassed that some of my shit was outselling pros. And I just like, I was like, I don't even want to do this. Like this, it's got to be demoralizing. Yeah. You have that birthday one where I have candles on my nipples. That's a special one. You might want to. You might want to have that one appraised. What are you talking about? I sent you one for your birthday. The baby Yoda. No. With the Faust shit. Oh, you did. Remember, what did it get you? It's like Mego dolls or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, there was a picture in there. You didn't really look at it, but it's really gross. Oh, okay. I'll look at it. If I can find it. Probably throw it in the garbage. <laughs> the, one oh. thing you, the one thing you won't hoard. Like, this goes in the garbage. This I can part with. 
Uh, Slick Rick, can you say one of the Dugs caused the divorce so it's more interesting? <laughs> Excuse me. So, all right. That what? That one of the Dugs, like Doug, Doug uh, Tenaple caused the divorce. Yes, my wife was having an affair with. Oh, that's a great story. You're right. But I think I could get sued for that. So I'm not going to. You could say it was Doug Ernst. Doug Ernst stole my wife. And Joke's now on. she wants you back. Joke's on him. No fucking backsies infinity. <laughs> Are you still tweezing your mustache? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, shouldn't it, shouldn't it have just been a couple of plucks? This has been going on for a while. <laughs> nah, man. If there was, um, like, I could donate this hair to a bald, like, a couple bald dudes. From your lip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's intense. That's like if me and Peaches ever have a kid. That kid's got no fucking chance. It's going to be a straight up monkey person. Yeah. You're a hairy bitch. I know. Forty percent Zeg said I had assumed it was a legal matter, but I didn't have divorce in my bingo card. Yeah. I wonder if like the fact that I'm like that I've accidentally doxed my face was was because I'm so fucking relaxed now that everything's I over. I fucking said that an hour ago. Oh, you said that? I think you might have been onto something. I think you're right. I feel so fucking good these days. I feel like running. <laughs> like I'm I'm mad that my fucking Achilles tendon is fucked up. I actually just feel like running. I feel fucking great. Maybe I'll start running again once again. Yeah. <laughs> Jedi Knight, I could not fathom Cecil being married. Well, he's not anymore. He's free. I'll be getting married again real soon. Oh, God. <laughs> you have no self control. No, I don't think you so. You know what? Wear that one cologne that's disgusting. First of all, when I said what the cologne was, the entire fucking chat was like, that's just the bomb. You're just all fucked up. I still won't wear it because that's like the worst thing you could hear. That was literally the, I just got that as a gift and I was fucking wearing it for the first time. I was like, hey, are you wearing cologne? It's disgusting. <laughs> no, I waited for you to say yeah, at least. It was fucking Burberry. Uh, fucking nice cologne. You smell like an old man. Sheila is hot for you, dude. Yeah, but she's in fucking California. I'm in New York. It's like the other side of the planet. Yeah, well, at least you don't have to worry about, like, running into her. The clone was Burberry. It was fine. I will not ever wear it around Anna, though. I mean, to, to, for somebody to come over and say it's disgusting is, like, damn. Well, you were standing right next to me, so I had to throw it. And I was drunk enough to, I'm like, you know what? I'm this guy's friend. I'm going to tell him the truth. You smell fucking terrible. <laughs> and you're like, thank you. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, I it, I I just applied it like 20 minutes earlier. It's like I'm out. I'm like now I'm self conscious. I'm like, did it? No, it's fine. You're just all fucked up. But I, when you do get a review like that, you do stop wearing that cologne. So I have a better one. I mean, that's a strong word. You smell disgusting. Is like. <laughs> you did. It was so horrid. 
Jesus. It was so bad. You were like all happy, like, oh, somebody noticed. And then I, I crushed your soul. I saw it happen in real time. You're like, what? Uh, Holocron, Holocron said, if you ever meet Sheila, Sheila don't visit Vegas together. Just don't. Like, uh, I don't think we'll get married. I've done it before. It was the most expensive mistake of your life. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Like, it just feels good, like, that I don't have a hall monitor watching every word I say. Like, just being monitored was a fucking nightmare. Mm. And being, like, report, being told on, like, oh, he made this and he said that. Just, just sitting there transcribing all my fucking shit like a wacko. He made a misogynistic joke. This is uh, uh, like. Uh. See, so find a nice Jewish girl. Uh, what was her name in chat? I'm not going to fucking tell you that. Uh, Cecil meets Choke out and decides he wants a bit of the fun stuff and marries him in Vegas. I'd marry fucking Choke out. That'd be funny. Oh my God. Do you know, like, that's what I mean. It'd be so, life would be easy if I was gay. Me and Choco just running around the planet having fun. Mm. That'd be fun. Uh, guys, I think I'm going to go inside and, like, see Peaches before he's got to go to work. So I'm going to end this stream. But uh, I have to finish this ginger bitch sometime. So um, I'll be back later tonight probably to paint again when I wake up. We'll see how that goes, but uh, Cecil, you gonna stream? You wanna promote anything? I then I'll be on Compound Media tonight with Chrissy. Uh, no, I'm not gonna have no plugs. I'm okay. good. Bye, good uh, bye, Anna's calendar. There you go. Yes, thank you. Good night, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, everybody.